Welcome to the Cultaholic Wrestling Podcast. If you like a lot of wrestling on your YouTube, join our cult. Hello and welcome. Yeah. Oh, you're the background noise. Sorry. I, like I forgot I had to join in in 2024. Mm. My mind's still in 23. Great times. Well, wake up. <laughs> Remember what year it is. Stop typing 2023 on your little keyboard, you, and embrace the fact. Not only is it a new year, it's the Cult of Hike Wrestling Podcast. Yeah. yeah. Jack's here. Hello. Ross is here. Hey. Matthew's here. But more hey. importantly, oh. Joel is here. Hello. More importantly. The most important. Oh. Last. <laughs> last in the Hall of Fame poll. Oh. Last. I thought I was last. Don't bring it up. No, him. When he was in it. Oh, he, right. Oh. A few him. weeks ago. Oh. Yeah. Don't, don't listen, Ali. He's the biggest lady killer since OJ Simpson himself. <laughs> How are you, Joel? Allegedly. <laughs> I don't like these comparisons. <laughs> Any gloves Dangerous. on you, Joel? <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> Now he's bashful and embarrassed, so <laughs> that worked well. Jack, how are you feeling this week, mate? I'm not too bad. It's a it's a classic post pay per view week, isn't it? Where I'm still falling asleep too late at night, but I'm getting I'm powering on powering on through. How are you? Fantastic. <laughs> Staying up till nine p.m. Well done, you. Uh, uh, Ross, what have you got for us? Uh, I built a bed yesterday. Jesus, wow. super king. It's a we know you are, but how is that? <laughs> yeah, just we had a, a small double, me and Kayla. Now we've graduated with Super King. Mm. The difference is unbelievable. So if you do want to, I don't even know what I'm saying now, but there is a big difference between a, a small double and a Super King. That's all I've got to say. Were you about to offer to go around and build people's beds? <laughs> it sounded like for you were fee, good, yeah, yeah. Oh, right. it sounded like fifty yeah. quid. I'll take for per bed because it's not too yeah. bad. It just takes a bit of time. Yeah. <laughs> we're not saying we're doing badly here at Call the Holic, but Ross will for a fee. <laughs> Do your bed. Mm. It's been a weird week. We need to address the elephant in the yeah, room. Yeah, we do. But first of all, how are you, Matthew? <laughs> I thought I was just... <laughs> I'm doing all right. Now with the allegations. Right. Aye. Well, that, it was last week's podcast. We oh. literally stopped oh. recording, didn't we? And then then it all happened. It yeah. all came out. So. A- again, it's uh, we saw some people in London. We'll get to that, obviously, when we get to the rumble in a few minutes. But I swear, people were very nice. And all I thought about was, it should say on this magnificent video screen we have in the background... Recorded Thursday yeah. around 1 p.m. to 5 ish, depending on how long it goes. Because obviously, last week started off with me making from the fact by at that point it had been, quote, an amazing week in terms of news. Oh my God, did you start by going to the week? The big, the big news this week is, of course, Vincent Mann shaves his mustache. No, 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 uh, of course, <laughs> which drops at Friday p.m. So by that point, it was like, you're not making fun. I'm like, no. So thankfully, no. people seem to understand the fact that time yeah. is a construct of human perception. Uh, but yeah, for the people who didn't get it, I, yeah. Jeez. What a week. Uh, yeah. yeah. And obviously, this is a Western podcast. It's very, very newsworthy. Uh, we're not going to be flipping about it. There's been many videos about this already. It's still ongoing. And also, we are going to try and keep this podcast light. It's always mm. a bit awkward having to go through the rest of the rest of news. We've got stuff like pleb banter and pictures of dogs and whatnot. But at the same time, we couldn't not ignore it. Uh, yes, after the crazy week of Netflix, $5 billion, uh, the, the Rock, Rock yeah. TKO, Kevin Patrick getting released, it just came out that, yeah, Wall Street Journal, the three initials that strike fear in the heart of many three employees, I'm sure at this point, had more accusations about Vince. And they were bloody horrible, mm. uh, to put it nicely. And... Vince has said, I deny all these things. Then Slim Jim uh, said, well, we're not bloody sponsoring the Rumble. If this is going to be the, if this bloody guy is going to be here. Yeah, what are we supposed to say? Yes, yeah, Slim Jim endorses this. So seeing what looked like maybe the start of a domino effect, uh, Vince and I went, oh, I'm, I'm going. I resign, as I'm sure those his words as he'd been thrown over his head out of the bloody office. And Slim Jim says, all right, we'll back on them. However, it's not quite an episode of Scooby-Doo where they go, ah, it was that one crazy old man, wasn't it? There we go, mystery solved, everyone can move on. This is a big story that's getting mainstream attention about the culture of uh, WWE for now, but obviously it's not just one could be doing this type of thing, and what people knew and when and what's going to be done about it. So, yeah, all that being said, any thoughts, Dad, Ross, or Jack, or should we well, I, get out of I mean, it, it, the point you made about it being mainstream news, I went home last weekend for my mum's birthday, and even she, she was like, oh, wow, I've, I've heard about this. And I was like, yeah, yeah, it's been a, it's been a, a heavy one. Um, but I think the, the telling thing, and obviously we've got to preface it by saying, like, these are all um, allegations in the lawsuit, nothing's been yet confirmed and all that sort of stuff. But everybody non-wrestling who's asked me about this has been like, oh, my God, everyone in wrestling or a fan of wrestling 
I think it's quite telling that no one's like, everyone's horrified and disgusted by it, but no one's that surprised. Like, no one's like, not him. Do you know what I mean? Like, it makes, which, you, it right. makes you wonder, doesn't it? Because we had obviously Rita chatted in the 80s. Mm-hmm. There's yeah. a couple of examples, at least in the noughties and one at the start of the 10s. Yeah. So how deep does this iceberg go yeah. as you've, you've thought about all of this? And I, I want to say credit to the lads at the press conference who asked about it. Because I saw some people yeah. online saying, oh, it wasn't the time or the place. They should be on a high after their fantastic Royal Rumble PLE. Bollocks. If it was any other sport. Yeah, exactly. Would, yeah, Triple H the is thing. the only executive we had access to in the days coming out of that. To not ask yeah. him would have been wrong. So yeah. to get it asked out there, fair play yeah. to them. Yeah. Well done for getting a question in this. Triple H tried to filibuster his way through the entirety of his... Uh, right. Cody Rhodes gave a better answer than yeah. Triple H. That was the thing. We've all taken shots at Tony Khan and going, look at him. Like, what's he doing? Like, yeah. Putting on the wig and stuff like that when accusations ring wild and all this sort of stuff there. And at least he had a PR guy who come along and go, get, get that off me. Yeah. No, no, it's not a good look. You'd think that Triple H would have had a prepared, at least a prepared right. statement or something. You go, ah, oh, Triple H, he wears <clears> a suit. Got a beard. He wears glasses for this one to yeah. see how professional he is. And oh my god, did he poo the bed? He yeah. lied, didn't he? I didn't read it. Come on now. Oh, That's it. So you're saying it, yeah. the number one thing that everyone's talking <clears throat> about right now? You haven't read. Mm. And he like. And again, it's the words that should never come out of someone at that level's uh, mouth at that point. It's been an amazing week. Uh, fact, it had been, but that should never be coming out of someone at that level's no. thing. And you said about like people going, "This is disgusting." This after we did the podcast, I'm like, "Oh, cool." Time stream on a Thursday, like I always do. I needed like a good like hour and a bit just to go, whoa, mm. from the backlash of being like, oh, I'm a good friends, Jack and Ross and obviously Joe's there too. <laughs> and uh, again, we're trying to keep it light, but just be like, God, I feel really bad because I had to look at some of these things and just be like, oh. Whew. Wait, it was paragraph, like, it was just, paragraph, paragraph, wasn't it? It's like you got the, the punch in paragraph one, and then it just kept going and there was another one and yeah. another one. And by the time you were finished it, you were like, I don't even know what the word is. Yeah. Yeah. And, and obviously like, People have, you know, that some of the more graphic details and everything, everyone's kind of recoiled from and gone, oh, my God. But I think the most sinister part for me was, like, the the whole stuff about how she was in a really bad position in life at the time and she was in a vulnerable place. It was just a proper, yeah. like, classic, like, vulnerable person being exploited, allegedly, which is yeah, what yeah, it's supposed to be. We have to say it. We yes. Say it. But, um, nah, man. Uh, yeah, heavy one. Really heavy. And I wonder where, where how WWE goes forward from here because this is, like, Assuming that it's all found to be, it's found to be true and stuff. This is like, this is like, obviously like the Benoit stuff's the immediate point of comparison because he had to be wiped from the history of WWE. But Vince is it like, in is he is the W like he was for you can't decades. Remove decades. him from yeah. history, and like, even as a character in yeah. the most like famous period of wrestling ever and all that sort of stuff. And he was front and center, mm. and, and he has been for, well our lifetimes and it's just it's, yeah. it's like what what are they going to I mean they'll and probably now, just carry on without mentioning it I was going to say and now <clears throat> normal people like CNN and other newspapers are going so we had all these accusations a few years ago he resigned or left or whatever you want to say it um, and then he was brought back well Triple H when he, they knew it about that why was that and then they just like, last time I checked again by the time this comes out probably two other things that's happened so mm-hmm. we apologise if someone's killed him but if uh, <laughs> one thing that came out was just like yeah um What's the name? Ari of the TKO just saying, I'll do anything. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Yeah. Emmanuel. And you're like, so you saw, you saw all that stuff. You still brought him back. That was that mad. That's what? one of these things that more people are going, that's bad. And I believe at the time they said, uh, CNN uh, said they approached TKO or WWE and said, what about this then? And they went, no comment. Well, yeah. there was a group of them at the ah, time right. when he was brought back that vetoed him coming back to him. Like, well, we don't agree with this. Mm. Yeah. One of which was Triple H. So that oh. makes your, your mind go again. Like, mm-hmm. who knew what, when, and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. So, yeah. It's all bloody terrible. Yeah. So we appreciate you listening and probably going, can you talk about something else now? Oh, all right then. Uh, hello, diddlers. Please see attached. Thought, given the VKM allegations, a picture of my dog, Bear, okay. giving me the Kurt Angle stare for watching your podcast might bring some levity to the next recording. I always enjoy the video podcast to watch at the weekends whilst cleaning or working on my latest croquet pro- project. Can't get croquet and project at the same time. You want to say cro- crotchet project. However, my dog, Bear... <laughs> Clearly thinks otherwise. However, don't pay attention to him. He's two years old and hasn't learned to lie down or sit properly. So his <laughs> legs poke out. I was going to say, click a bit higher on that, Julie. Would have got a perfect zoom in hey. there. His legs poke out at a proper spatch cock nonce. Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. So I, I Googled what that meant. And it means to like, like if you butterfly a chicken, you've spatchcocked it. 
It just sounds oh, okay. It yeah. sounds yeah. like a made up Monty Python swear word though. Yeah. It doesn't sound like a real one, but it's not you spatchcock nonce. Yeah. <laughs> well no, that, that bit at the end's that's not. What, <laughs> that's what my gran used to say when I was a kid. Hey. <laughs> also, regarding female takeaways, I prefer Indian to Chinese. Oh. Sorry, Jack, but they say XXX. Oh, well, oh thank my you. God, speaking of food. Not your name wasn't included in this, but we appreciate it. Oh yeah, what was the name? Oh god. Uh, that's my bad. Oh. Uh, Thank you, so. Bear the Dog, Thank for bear, sending this. Bear's owner. Yeah. <laughs> Can you click on in it? The dog, so it zooms dog, in. Though. Bear's a yeah. very nice dog. Mm. What, do you know what Enhance, kind of dog there is? Yes. That is a Labrador. Right. A black Labrador. Oh. Silence on the podcast. Yeah, sorry, we're just, <laughs> we're just taking him <laughs> We don't stare at a dog rather than like do um, a wrestling podcast. Speaking of food, someone tagged me in a... Sorry, I can't remember your Twitter handle, but someone tagged me in a tweet that was like... Um, Oh, laptops about to be banned from restaurants. I was like, yes! What a day! I hope they are. Well, you better get in there quick before <laughs> yeah. going. No, you should be going, no, I can't oh, believe it. That no. bet that I haven't Oh, the up. memory of Norm. What would he think? <laughs> <laughs> he would, he would. He'd, he'd roast He'd be alive. loving this, yeah. Yes. Uh, the other our news, friend Norm that we Our know. friend Norm. <laughs> dear lost friend. Uh, other things that happened this week that aren't that. Hogan unable to pass to be physical. Um, what? He actually had one. Apparently. No, no, that's a that's a slightly misleading headline, unfortunately. Oh, <laughs> oh, well, it's from think, Andrew Kelly. I know so. it's a cultaholic one. I noticed this the other day. Oh. Um, so, I think Bischoff or someone, I think it was Bischoff, said if he had a physical, he wouldn't be able to pass it. Oh, oh, cheers, Bible Eric. Select, <laughs> Bible select when asked to be officials joked that the Hulkster would not be able to. Oh, oh, oh that was it. Sorry, it wasn't. Oh, God, man. I've, I've dragged oh. Bischoff's name. The good name of Eric Bischoff. Yeah, <laughs> the very good name of Eric Bischoff. Sorry, our friend Eric, who I'm hangs sure, out with Norm. I'm sure he wouldn't. I'm sure he'd hate being made the center of attention when it doesn't concern him. Sorry about that, Eric Bischoff. <laughs> yeah, Eric Bischoff shoots Jack the Jobber. Uh, I was quite intimidated by Bischoff when I met him. You know, because like, he was back and he was bigger than ever. Yeah, he was one of the one of the few people in. American wrestling that I was taller than. And even despite that, I remember thinking, oh, he doesn't like me very much, him. Yeah. <laughs> I was quite scared. Black belt, isn't he? Hmm? He could take your head off at a... It would no, it would oh, yeah, anyway, it's it karate, would. yeah, of course. <laughs> that was a sentence that came out of your mouth. Oh, but, uh, oh, sorry. Sorry, I was going to just say, like, I was thinking Hogan was going to be in the match the way those... Yeah, it's several. They went hard on him, on the several. raw building up to rumble. You're like, oh, no. Oh, no. Mm-hmm. He's getting pushed more than Otis. This is not a good <laughs> sign. And it was just the intro. Which I can say now, uh, watching at the box park, anytime Hogan appeared, he was booed yeah, <laughs> up the box park. Mm. Um, other things that weren't to do with the things that we'll be covering later on, as this wonderful podcast goes on. When ahead. do you want to talk about the box park? When we get to the room? Yeah, probably get okay. there. Okay. Uh, House of Black reject claim they don't do jobs in AE Dub. Oh. Uh, main event collision. They would say escape the cage elimination match. And people are like, oh, hang on. This was originally promoted as just a steel cage match. Now the graphics change to say it's an escape the cage leading to criticism from Dave Meltzer, who you may have heard of, who expressed his opinion that House of Black never do jobs, and that Malachi Black and Buddy Matthews simply want to go back to WWE. Oh. And I thought he didn't really say that, and obviously there's a giant quote that I'm not going to read out because it'll put you to sleep. Um, but yeah, he did say, yeah, well, they're going back to WWE. Yeah, but and they're under contract two. until 2027. Well, oh. After that, they'll go back to WWE. Which feels like it's like eight years in the future, but it's not that far away, but mm. it is still a fair yeah. bit away. Yeah. <laughs> and he won't lose any time before then. Um Buddy Matthews replied, going, for a boy, there's no much of any research, lol, and just showed his win-loss record, and he has lost this year. Well, he's the one who takes the fall. I was going to say, Buddy, <laughs> keep me out of it. Funny how someone's opinion just becomes fact because they've been watching wrestling a long time. The format stipulation of the cage match was always what it was going to be. It's not our fault the wording on the graphic changed. And then I did have a look, though, just out of interest. Malachi Black hasn't lost a singles match since 23rd of... October 2021 against Cody Rhodes. <laughs> I think it was since he was born. He's never been pinned. Since ever. Um, so I was like, oh, maybe, but the, he's only been doing bloody six man and tag matches for the last oh, year. Oh, why? Bit, so why I mean, that be? So Buddy it's Matthews could take that. Of course, that's clearly what's being said. I, I think and not the, that they're being protected and like any other AEW team, like not losing means that they're a big deal. Yeah. I, so. I, think, I think part of it is that. Um, what what's at least how I read it was like Meltzer had kind of focused on the wrong thing and said the House of Black don't do jobs generally, but Which really is not right. It, but he does get pinned and stuff. Yeah. Brody probably shouldn't get pinned that much because he's mm-hmm. a big burly man. He's very good, but and, and, and they're all really good, obviously. But it would be weird if Brody was the one taking the pins all the time. Malachi Black doesn't get it. It couldn't. It might not be him. Like. Yeah, it could just be, backstage. again, good booking. Like, well, it could be a big deal. Why would but, he lose? But he does get very touchy whenever it's brought up. Yeah. I was going to say, Jericho complained that he tried to pin him once and he wasn't able to. (laughs) 
<laughs> it's a very forced <laughs> oh, joke right, at Jericho's okay, expense. Right. I apologize. That was, oh. that was harrowing watching scenes from the Jericho crew. Oh, just like, oh. I just saw was a picture of David Bowie and I went, well, that's enough. Is that what he's meant to be dressed as? <laughs> that Isn't was Christopher in a yeah. something relating to a David Bowie costume while singing The Weekend as yeah. a clip I saw. Yeah. Wolf oh, dressed in Bowie dread. Oh. No, there's out. There's like, do you remember my performance at the karaoke in the, sub, the summer park? How yes. could I forget? Because it I was, was, I was at the urinal and I couldn't wee because you were distracting me in the background. Was that? <laughs> don't know. let the sun. <laughs> that level of bad. Imagine, come on, come on. <laughs> no, don't sell yourself short. You were better than Jerry. No <laughs> way. That level of bad for the the, the ooh of the weekend's like blinded by the yeah. lights chorus. Oh. Mm. I'd rather have a cat scream in my ear. He was um. Well, just listen to Fozzie. <laughs> He's, uh, he was a bit gassed. Yeah. And then Jerry Show made that comeback. Do you see that as well? No. He had his little tights on again, yeah. like it was oh. 2008. That's Walking nice. down the ramp of the cruise ship, slapping hands. I'm happy for them. Oh, so I didn't see, I didn't, the only reason I know that is because people sent me messages saying, if I saw Jerry Show show up, I'd jump off the boat. <laughs> <laughs> what? Remember when the Jericho cruise was like, Quite cool and new, and like, ooh. I remember the seagull attacked, Col I think, Colt Cabana. Or one of the Briscoes, <laughs> I believe. I remember when. It was good. Like it was when Hangman and Kenny won a, the tag belt, and Hangman like Sir Crowd surfed away, didn't he? Wasn't that at the cruise? That what was that about Jericho Cruise or not? I'm not sure. What that yeah, was it was about. on the on the boat. Mm. It was on a boat, and they yeah. threw MJF in the pool. And that went, was hey. a good episode. That yeah. was a good episode. They should do more wrestling shows in weird places. Yes, mm. they yeah. do. They do them in really dark, empty arenas nowadays. Yeah, or um, St. <sighs> Petersburg, Florida. Ooh. You're such a bitch, you. <laughs> yeah, I Wait, mean, really, your dark, empty arenas ah, comment there. I see you. But I saw footage of Daniel Garcia getting carried down a corridor of the Jericho cruise on the hands and shoulders of fans, just like he was some sort of king. Oh, it, was, yeah. it looked it looked like a right rootin' tootin' time, so it did. Was he thrusting mid? No, he was oh. just like he was struggling to keep hold of his phone by the looks of things. But they were chatting <laughs> like, oh, <coughs> Daniel Garcia to the tune of Seven Nation oh, Army. Stealing the shoes. Yeah. Probably I. You would, wouldn't you? I'd probably would, expensive. Yes. Yeah. Sell them on eBay. Exactly. <laughs> Make not, the money back. Not Depop, though. They'll try and charge you now, apparently. Mm. Try, yeah. Careful now. Mm. Uh, where were we going with that conversation? Uh, that was <laughs> the news, because everything else we're going to be talking about that's relevant is going to come up in conversation. Let's try and not make this six hours. Yeah, right. Let's make it seven. Oh, oh. Shut up, you. Everybody get excited for the Cultaholic Hall of Fame. Ah, now the prestigious Hall of Fame. In condescending order from last week, the traitors. 15%. I'm quite shocked that that came last. Are you really? Yes. You can't yeah. rely on traitors. No. That needs to be on American TV. More, I would suggest, if that's the result. Cause yeah. The, the finale last week. Oh. Ross was. Ross mentioned a video that I later saw of them. Or I'd seen it before. I, I think we've both seen the same video anyway. That, of them watching it like the football in the pub, watching the final of the traitors. So one person would go, I'm kind of suspecting you. And everyone in the pub went, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's unreal. <laughs> Uh, second place professional wrestling icon and prospective 2024 Royal Rumble winner Michael Thomas oh, 34% it's a, it's money a, well spent Ross a poo house win on your part this week I can't believe it's happened professional wrestling icon Fatty McNasty How's that 52% one? that's so funny that, that one that was like a last minute like, the audacity that was like a it, panic selection do you remember David Nugent's one and only goal for England I do <laughs> that's what's happened there have you seen that <laughs> the ball's on the line going anyway and you're David Nugent just to kick it in <laughs> take By the, the way, goal away from us I have never judged David Nugent for that <laughs> oh well you would do it oh, you? 100%. as you would do in the Hall of Fame the <laughs> cutthroat <laughs> business so that just to give you a brief recap last week Ross spent good money, well, whatever. Well, on company's uh, money. That's right, good, money. <laughs> good company's money on uh, for, for what the, the lovely mystic Mark predicted, <laughs> Michael Thomas. Mm -hmm. uh, was it Florida? Were, were they arrested for Chicago? Well, so the Rumble was in Florida, yeah. No, no, yeah Michael, no, Michael Thomas. Thomas. Well, Michael Thomas played, played for Liverpool in the 80s. <laughs> oh, no, the yeah. wrestler we spoke yeah. about, I can't remember. Yeah, <laughs> some, some place in America. So when look at his cage match, because obviously mystic Mark knows what's up, and... Uh, we're like, all right, yeah, that that Michael Thomas, only one in cage match showing up. And we had a look at the people he'd wrestled, and it just came up the McNasties, fatty, filthy. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for remembering. So I went, well, oh, uh, hell yeah, I fatty remember, McNasty. I remember their feud. Oh, right. They, they I, lit up the Southern Territories <laughs> in the mid 2000s. You'd see the smell. <laughs> and I went, wow, I might win this because people might just see the name and go, wow, fatty McNasty. And that's exactly what happened. Fair. fair Have fair. we seen a picture of fatty McNasty yet? No, we googled Fatty McNasty <laughs> and it brought up some oh. yes. other people that you might. No, Joe, no, God, Quite no, no. 
a dominatrixy looking lady, actually, I seem to remember. Yeah, let's go with that. Yeah. Ooh. So, Ooh. oh no, it wasn't good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was more, more the Matrix Three. The uh, uh, pop myself, uh, Matthew. Oh, is that a good yeah. joke, Joe? Yeah. Film yeah, joke. I'm sure I've seen it. Dill <laughs> said it's not that bad. Yeah, Dom seen... Dom Dominatrix Matrix. Is that what oh, you're going for? Yeah, yeah. Kind of, yeah. Okay, mm, pathetic, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's all that leather. So, I won. Hooray! Hey. A well, Frick. a well fought victory. It's shocking that, isn't it? <laughs> so, speaking of amazing podcasters, we love OSW Review, don't we? Hmm. And by that, we mean we're like Jay. Oh? So, What's I'd like to clarify, like? I have on. no opinion on the other lads. No, this, is, this is going somewhere. It's never... not supposed to be like, I'm not doing a statement. Anyway, I've so... never met any of them, but I am a fan, yeah. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Mr. V1 was streaming, I don't know why, a Polish wrestling event, of course. First thing you go to Poland is uh, check out the wrestling events. And apparently, Mrs. V1... Was he there live? No, he was watching Oh, right, 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 right. I don't know, some, some fan must have said, can you watch this? Or, I don't know, somebody paid him some money. Oh, no. And the referee was there, as there tends to be at wrestling events, believe it or not. And apparently, Mrs. V1, who obviously loves me, said, oh, my God, that referee is the spitting image of Mafu. <laughs> and his chat were like, oh, it's here, yeah, 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 it is. So when I went to Twitch, I had a stream of people saying, Matthew... Having a good time in Poland. I'm like, what the hell are you on about? Oh, don't you watch V1 streams? No, I don't. <laughs> oh, don't worry. We'll send you the clip. And uh, I found the, the photo of the guy. Joel, can you click on this one Polish referee? <laughs> <laughs> I mean... <laughs> <laughs> it, uh, so have you, seen, have you not... seen No Country for Old Men? <laughs> yeah, it's like yeah. if you and him had a kid. Oh, I think, uh, yeah. <laughs> No country for old Mafu. Huh. He just uh, looks yeah. dead Polish. He just look. He look. It's twenty year old Matthew after a night <laughs> hour uni. That's what <laughs> specific era Matthew. Matthew in the prime of his life. <laughs> so yeah, that's I know really not, hot. That's a real boy. <laughs> I don't know why he's not smiling, but yeah, it's yeah. If I had to have someone play me in a film, I'd probably approach him first. He's got a good expression for a referee. Like he's he's not going to be amused by these heels, aren't they? And I respect that. Yeah, most referees should be up for three nights straight. Huh? Oh, bless so, it. It's me. Real, it's real me. I'm going to make fun of him. I'm making fun of myself. <laughs> real no, boy. That's a real man. <laughs> it's a real boy. Try and say his name, Matthew, please. Polish Matthew. Oh, no. oh, oh, oh. Um, Christian. Oh, there we go. Ejekaj. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to guess. Zekaj. Czechai. Yeah, 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 they all sound good. Christian like, Czech guy. Yeah, Czech guy. From Poland. Czech guy. Czech guy. Obviously a big fan of the podcast, or he was until three seconds ago. So uh, thank you very much. Yes, this is uh, Polish referee looks like Mafu. Yeah, fair. <laughs> there you go. See I the think worst a bit, he, looks a bit, he looks a bit like you, but not. Love you, Jay. <laughs> and the other two. Oof. That's a joke. Don't oof me. Ooh, noy, noy, no. Get Andrew Kelly on the type board. Type mm. board? Keyboard. The type, type board. The type <laughs> machine. <laughs> the typing right. device. Make him type on the machine right. of typing. Rust Get him on the slate. <laughs> Rust did a journalism degree. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. The type board. Uh, so, Ross. What was uni like before computers? Impossible. Yeah. yeah. I just blagged it. I, I just had to walk to the library and actually pick up oh. the books. And not just go on to go here's a tip for your students, go on to Google <laughs> and type in a phrase that you're looking for and then find the source, like reverse searching it. That's how you do it. I, I used to get books out of the library actually, to be fair. Yeah. This oh. is Ross with his to yellow cite, journalism degree. Had to cite them and all that in the, nah. Fantastic. Ross, well, uh Peter Parker, what have you got for us? Peter Parker. So oh, famous, he's a journalist, most famous I... journalist I could think of. Ah, yes, he at the moment. Yes, yes. I have two webs. Uh, go on, Finn Martin. Latex at night, saving innocent people from evil men. We're not talking about the Matrix. Uh, right. <laughs> Solo Sokoa's Twitter got discovered this week because he made the mistake of not creating a new one when he became a world-famous professional oh, wrestler. Oh, okay. Tweets dating back as far as the 12th of April 2013 have surfaced. I'm really worried about that. Where he says, lovely sayings like, I can't say the word, but F math with like, no, like <laughs> things come out of his nose. Yeah. History and math with emojis. Damn, S word. I hate math. <laughs> hate math. I hate math. <laughs> How old so is he when he's doing this? Around about 19 or 20. Year old solo Sakura. What? Wait a minute. <laughs> That's what makes it even better. I was thinking, he must have been about 12 or 13 around yeah, this right, point. Right. But no, he's 30 years of age now, going on 31. Is he? So I, this was 20, uh, 19 or 20 year old solo Sakura at college or whatever over in, in, in the Americas. Oh. Um, really struggling with math. I can oh. guess what's happened here. Is he just had a big meal with mates and you have to divide the check? <laughs> That's why he loves the bloodline because they're just the ones. <laughs> um, I think I can tell what's happened here, though. 
I reckon he's probably on one of those football scholarships where you've got to do a bit of studying as well. Ah, yeah. Mm. Just to prove your worth. Oh, he's mm. trying to do the bits with Carl Vorderman on Countdown. <laughs> <laughs> Just at home, in his student house. <laughs> <laughs> but obviously this getting unearthed is sort of going right against the character that is Solo Sokoa in the wrestling. Oh. So Solo deactivated his Twitter yeah. over Sensible. this. So a new Solo Sokoa Twitter account coming to an ex near you soon. But also it's great that he just was tweeting like a 12-year-old when he was 20. Damn, mm. I hate math. Mm. So I'm going to all the stuff people tend to find on wrestlers Twitter from back in the day. It's like that, that had a nice happy ending. I mean, God knows what else was there. I just saw the, the math-related tweets. Um, yeah, yeah. So hopefully it wasn't anything else. I assume that wasn't. He seems like a nice fella. <laughs> Famous last words. <laughs> uh, yep. Oh. <laughs> so Solo versus Math, what have you got for his Jack? Corey Graves. Go on. Because you won't have heard this being at the box park. I I got really annoyed by Cole and McAfee oh. throughout the Royal Rumble because Cole just, you know when you're with your pal, but then he sees one of his mates from a different social circle and tries to be really cool around them. You know, like, <laughs> this isn't you. That's what Cole does when Pat shows up. Yeah. And Pat obviously has been away from wrestling for a bit, doing his college football stuff. And... Didn't really know the ins and outs of what was going on and was just going like... He was really excitable, as he always is. But they were also just laughing a lot and just taking the mickey. And I was like, this isn't what I want from my Royal, from my serious Royal Rumble commentary. Um, and, it, and, it, and you know what? That's what Pat is. You know what you're getting with Pat. I'm disappointed in Michael, right? Because he's a good boy, usually. <laughs> um, Corey, I thought, who when he could get a word in edgeways, deserved a bit more praise. And, I, and, I, and I've... Obviously, opinion of Corey's commentary fluctuates over the years quite a lot, depending on how heelish he is, I guess, or how much he's trying to... It seems like he's trying to get himself over. But it's just been announced that he's going to be the play-by-play -play guy, I think, on SmackDown with mm. Barrett. And I think he might actually be really, really good because he won't be healing it up and he'll just have to commentate normally. And I think he might actually be very good. So for plowing through the rumble and trying his best and... Because I'm optimistic about his new job as well, I'll go for Corey Graves. There we go. Nice. Sensible one. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Wrestling pick. Aye. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to add to that. I know, yeah, I don't know what to do. I don't <laughs> agree with everything you said. What there. do you think of Corey? Yeah, I, I agree with you. Um, Did you. I was watching it with Joel. Yeah, 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 yeah. They were talking about themselves a lot more than what was going on in the ring. The other two. Uh, yeah. 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 Selfish. Yeah. Silly boys. <laughs> yeah, they were a bit wow. silly. <laughs> Like and he's full time now again, uh, Pat McAfee. Yeah, he's him, him yeah. on Raw, yeah. and SmackDown's about to become the number one show once again, thanks to Corey and Wade. Well, the comment that's an amazing commentary team, surely. Yeah, it'd be good that. Yeah, I like Corey. I like Corey. I like Corey. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Corey. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Enough, enough. <laughs> <laughs> he's basically Newcastle adjacent, isn't he? Because he was Pac's tag partner. Yeah, Ooh, that's Finn Balor after this week. You see his tweet? No. Family. And there's just Benjamin went over. Oh. Benjamin Slatley, as we like to call him. It's <laughs> <laughs> his, real, his real, real name. I'll never forget that because his wife's called Natalie, so it's Natalie Satley. <laughs> Brilliant. Fantastic. <laughs> <coughs> wow. <laughs> Three amazing selections this week. We've got uh, Jack's love of Corey Graves. My love of Corey Graves. That's right. Solo Sokoa's teenage Twitter. No, we're not going to call it that. Solo Sokoa's adolescent social media tweets that resurfaced this past week. <laughs> that sounds way spicier than what it was. avoid any doubt. Yeah. <laughs> Is there a character limit on Patreon? Okay, well, that'll... Oh, okay. I reckon that'll fit. Yeah, I've, I've never reached, oh, I've never reached the limit before. Ooh. Should we try and reach the limit this week? <laughs> oh, ho, ho. Ross is going to win with a filibuster. <laughs> and my pick of me... I guess. What? Um, Matthew, the Polish referee. Yes. It's about hot OSW circle jerk. Thank you very much for those jerk, fantastic man. picks, you too. And if you want to vote for any of those, please go to patreon.com forward slash cultaholic. That says this week in the wrestling. It's this bloody week in the wrestling. Ha! <sighs> the long week of wrestling. It's not that long. <laughs> Famous last week. Three hours later. Smackdown. Recording artist Eladio Carrion opens the show and introduces his close personal friend, Randy Orton. He Randy's also has a song called Randy Orton. Mm -hmm. he, I was about to say yes, by, from the, the song of the same name. But they're really, they go away about That's just coincidence. Of course, he was yes. Evolution. He was the fourth guy who got removed before Orton was That's put right. in. Sorry, Batista was put in. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Randy says nobody could possibly end Roman Reigns' title reign except himself. 
He's interrupted by AJ Styles, who tells Orton he's getting a receipt on Saturday. He also says he asked Nick Aldis for a match against Solo, but Aldis gave his bout to LA Knight instead. Mm. Knight interrupts and tells AJ to quit whining. He says it's really convenient that he's the only one of the Fatal 4-Way competitors having a match tonight, implying that Heyman lobbied for it to soften up the biggest threat the Roman's title. He leaves while AJ ambushes Orton with a Pele kick. Mm. Yes. Well, yeah. It, it was an opening segment. I, I don't know what to make of it, really. I'd go as far to say that he turned off SmackDown because of Randy Orton's entrance. <laughs> that far oh, to right. start. I'd sound Randy Orton en- entrance. It lasted one hour and 34 minutes <laughs> getting to the ring, but it was all about the music guy this segment yeah. because he timed up the LA night of LA Night's theme mm. with AJ Styles' a set and saying those exact words. Mm. It was cinema. It was yeah. art, as the kids like to say. Um, and Dummy has also made a return because he said to one of the latter, I said AJ Styles, quit your crying, Dummy. Yeah. yeah. I get the buzzer. Remember the buzzer with mm-hmm. dummy? Yep. Dummy. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> and then, of course, he hits the line, he'll hit Solo so hard he'll start doing his dad's dance moves. Mm. He starts doing Which old... he did on the, the old X. Yeah, yeah. On the old X. Yeah, There's... before the other things we talked about, there was a video of Solo that got retweeted a while, like a month ago, where he was like, it's young Solo dancing. Yeah. <laughs> and he went, delete, delete, delete. delete. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, Ellen Knight stole the segment along with the music man. Yep. I've just put the same segment, so SmackDown as always, except with the rapper and LA Knight being ungodly over. Lario uh, kind of got it. He gets the wrestling. You can tell which ones get it because they're not afraid to make the wrestlers look good. So yeah. later on, he was a bit scared backstage, and I thought, he's a good lad. AJ's role in the storyline is confusing me a bit. I can't work out his heel or face. Yeah. Because he's, mm. he's just been a fanny. Right. Whereas, yeah, Carrion was the best guy on the show with the name Carrion. Ooh! <sighs> Saw the joke, and he Ooh! took it. Sonos Escobar beats Carlito with help from Electra Lopez. Hey, what are you doing here? Who makes her debut main roster appearance and takes out Zelina Vega. She told us all along. She kept saying, didn't she, that she's caught the attentions of Santos Escobar and Lesnar of Um <laughs> She said it so many times on NXT recently that I thought it was a bit strange looking back now watching her debut on the main roster. But uh, the two got the tone right, I thought, just about, because they didn't yep. start with a collar and elbow. They went straight in, thwacking each other. Depsy. Yeah. There was, there was a shoot neck breaker from Carlito. <laughs> That's all I've got. Um, it was fine. That's the thing. Carlito's matches aren't spot, spot, spot. He's just so big and popular and over. He doesn't do a hell of a lot, and I'm, I'm all right with that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The yeah. only thing I don't like is the fact that he doesn't have his theme. Yeah. 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 He needs, he's the one that needs to turn heel. Get him heel. Poof, I spit in the face. Mm. Poof. It would be, I'm yeah. I, I, I was just quite surprised to see Electra Lopez called up so fast. Mm. I know she's been with Santos's group before and everything, but... I just found it quite surprising when you've got your bronze, your Carmelo's, your Tiffany's. Well, you're, yeah, the NXT call-ups happening already. Mm, maybe she's Dabbling. one of your Elias's. Mm, better on the main roster. Better on the main and she because she's done next to nothing in NXT. It feels like yeah. she's been there for a while. She was part of the original Rainbow 2.0 as far as I remember. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. And she's not done too much since then in terms of being like a featured part of the show. So maybe she will be an Elias. This is maybe on the main so. roster. This mm. is. Backstage, Jimmy Uso has a proposition for AJ Styles. He wants AJ to help the bloodline take out LA Knight. The OC are suspicious hmm, and ask AJ what all that was about. He tells them, sod off. Go back to go back to catering. I didn't say that. Oh, so he <laughs> did, <on> though. <laughs> Need to let go, don't it, the good brothers? It's over. It's over. He's gone. He's moved on. Hmm. They don't even wrestle anymore. I don't know what they do. They just hang around backstage. Just keep me a yim company, don't they? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> was it Ernie Ladd when he talked about King Kong Bundy? He goes, Bundy, every time you cash a paycheck, you're stealing from the company, Bundy. <laughs> I think that quote every time what? you see these guys. Ernie Ladd said that? Yeah, yeah. That's a WrestleMania main event, uh, King Kong Bundy. Was this before? No, no it was, yeah. Oh, it was right. the days. <laughs> Fair enough. He was, prin- was just Prince Kong at that should have thanked him for the house and all that. Uh, Nick Aldis congratulates Ava on being the youngest GM in WWE history. Thank you, Nick. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Nick. I am here to pick up some tips from you. Her Bye. dad is The Rock. Her dad's The Rock. Shameless. The most charismatic wrestler ever. To be fair, though, on NXT after this SmackDown, she was a lot more... You all right? You going to pass yeah, out? Yeah, sorry, my contact lenses is trying to pop out. Okay. Oh! oh no. I'm all right. Carry on. You all right? I'm a professional. Have you got your case with you? No. Are they, Carry on. Are they dailies? Are they no, four, about the four contact nightlies? You're giving they... them strength. Sorry. Pretend they're not there. It's all right. You ever seen that video of the woman who was like about six no, years no, old? No, no, no. 
and they plucked out. It must have been. Oh, no, no, you've 12, told the story before. 12 Shut contact up. lenses Shut from each up. eye. <laughs> Oh, They've just been God. stuck in there for decades. Anyway, on oh. NXT, Ava was a lot more emotive. You like that story. I really do, just because I don't wear them. Um, but yeah, she was a lot more emotive and uh, peppy on NXT, I thought. Yeah, she was a bit better on yeah. NXT. But here she was. She was classic Ava. Yeah. Classic Ava. But Whoa. at least the big gold tombola came back. Yay. <sighs> it's been years. How long has it been? Oh, quite a while. Yeah. I can't remember last time I, I saw it. I ran the tombola segments together in one. So Good. Or oh, did I? Maybe. We'll find out. Bobby and Santos turn up to draw their numbers and have a tense stare down. Ooh. Mm. Later, R-Truth draws his number and gets annoyed, asking if it means he needs to quarantine. He thinks all this is Adam Pierce and compliments him on how fast his hair grows. Fantastic line, that. Fantastic. Yeah. I like the way he was spinning the tombola both ways and was really impressed with himself. Uh, uh. He started doing Classic. a little rhyme, didn't he, about daddies or something? Daddy makes something go around. Yeah, it was weird, actually. I thought he was flirting with Ava for a second, but he's just, you know, he was just being silly. I thought he was flirting with a tombola. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then we like to see Bailey and Jimmy draw their numbers. Neither seem happy. Oh. Mm. Yeah, but yeah, obviously Ava said, oh, also NXT will be repping at the Rumble too. And I put, well, yeah, about NXT the Women's Rumble will be 20 people, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. More on that later on. Damn right, yeah. And then, <laughs> when you're thinking, God, this is a bit of a filler smackdown, isn't it, before the Rumble? The Kabuki Warriors beat the Cowie Girls to become the new women's tag team champions in what is maybe the best NXT... No, start again, Matthew. The best women's tag team title match. Ever? Ever. Ever. Was oh. the one where the Iconics shockingly won quite good? I can't remember. The I Iconics were never... No, work rate. No, but that so. match was like a multi, like, four-team at WrestleMania when they beat Bailey and Sasha. Uh, you know what? I can't remember can't anything remember. about the match itself, just the, the reports from yeah. people. Sasha cries at the back. That's when Satan got all wrong, didn't he? Satan himself. Satan. Boo. Sasha is still crying to this day at WrestleMania. <laughs> people drowning in her tears. It was a good match. I right, both sets of lasses got their stuff in. I yep. thought Caden, Caden Carr did this boot up reversal to the insane elbow that looked really gnarly. Yep. I'm happy the double drop wasn't kicked out of just yet. <laughs> Carrie was in there to break it up instead. But there are levels to this game. And that's what I realized during this match because the crowd reactions just haven't built at all with the Cowies being the tag team champions. Um, so the fact that Asuka and Kyrie come in getting loud crowd reactions, the change made sense. Mm -hmm. And um, I was glad, right, this is going to sound harsh because she was really good in, in NXT and in stardom and that. I don't know if Kyrie's been that good recently. Do you remember the, the, she didn't look very good in the War Games match and stuff. She keeps getting lost in the middle of spots. But she looked good again here. I think she wasn't bad in the women's uh, war games match. I think she's trying to avoid Charlotte Flair. <laughs> <laughs> when they are near each other, they both forget how to wrestle. Yeah, that is true. Hmm. She but... was there backstage putting all the rumors to bed. She was oiling up her husband. Oh, yeah. Who people have been saying. Well, Kyrie just... Sane. <laughs> <laughs> That's why Charlotte hates her so much. <laughs> I'll just leave that story there. That's a better thing to yeah, think yeah. of. Um, but yeah, there was a nice variation on the insane elbow as well. Because I was thinking, yeah. how do you make that a tag team manoeuvre? Mm. How you do that is by doing the big shows. 2002 finisher, but with the elbow the instead. The final cut. Yeah, that's ah, the one. Yes. <laughs> I thought, yeah, I wasn't expecting much from this, which shows that I'm a wrong person who is dumb. Uh, kickstand <laughs> again, getting the, oh, whoa, whoa, what is this reaction from the crowd every time? It that's the double drop, out. Matthew, to give it its real mm. name. Okay, no. Uh, and oh my God, that slam at the announce table, Jesus God, insane elbow gives us new champs. Mm. And as I was trying to think of a better women's title match than this. Um, they're yeah. always short aren't they it's hard to say what's best without looking back at cage match yes <laughs> <laughs> so well done yes there was a reason to watch this show backstage Paul Heyman tells Solo to fix the problem of LA Knight Solo leaves to get his calculator presumably and Heyman tells Jimmy that if he wins the Rumble he can beat an injured Seth at Wrestlemania Ooh. good strategy and anyone can win the Rumble of yeah, course that's how it works but I, we learned that Solo is actually a good mathematician here because Paul was saying there's a difference between solved and fixed. And Solo solved the problem, but he didn't fix it. So he did the sums right. Oh, he yeah. showed his work in, yeah. but the answer at the bottom was wrong. He would have got a, a 20 out of 40 on the AQA exam. Mm. Um, <laughs> do you remember that? We had I to show you work. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> in the ring, Bobby and the Street Profits talk about their accomplishments, but they came here to fight. The final testament, a bunch of lads in shirts, arrive, but only send Scarlet in the ring. Lashley and the Street Profits accuse the group of being scared. Cross says that the faces are just desperate and frustrated because they're not in control anymore, but they won't be fighting tonight. Lashley dis disagrees and they attack. But Scarlet jumps on his back and claws his eyes. Cross to the AOP beat everyone down. Oh, 
I had to, I let out a massive cringe for Paul <laughs> Ellerin's first like words back on the main roster. Behold, <laughs> there is no fear in Carrion Cross. This is not the eighties anymore. <laughs> That's not going to cut the cut the mustard this day and age, buddy. Yeah, you take that old. That's pal. good. You're doing it like um, Paul Ellerin. Yeah, uh, I definitely meant that. Yes, uh, yeah, um, it's good. I'm helping you. To be fair, Karen Cross got louder reactions. The segment went on as more the segment went on. It was yeah, people yelling, "Oh God, not him!" <laughs> <laughs> it was dead silent. It was his promo about them being frustrated and whatever was a load of crap until they started throwing hands and it was quite good. So maybe that's the way to go. No talking, just fighting. Yeah, because the stuff he's saying is like that. Like, oh, I can. We're sick of this from wrestling. Well, we, we're being held down and we're not in control and blah, blah, blah. Like, oh, shut up. You suck. You're bad. You're on your shirt and you've combed your hair slightly. And you've sent you've your last... You've your hair? You've sent your last to, uh, <laughs> to attack the lads and then we're going to get you. You're like, yeah, that's it. They're done. I'm confused. Done already. I'm confused what his heel character is. Because <clears throat> is he mystical spooky man? Or is he... Because at one point the, the fans are like heckling him so he goes, shut up, in like a classic heel way. <laughs> Also, he's got shades of the I've got a really fit girlfriend heel as well because he said that at one point. Yeah. What's he doing? That worked on Bobby, to be fair. Bobby quivered when Scarlett stood in front of him. Do you see? He went, Ooh. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> he did. Well, somebody had to do something. <laughs> God bless Bobby. <laughs> no! But I, but I don't want to just criticize the final... Testament. Uh, testament. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to criticize the name of the group. Um... I'm sick of pretending for you lads on this podcast that the Street Profits are really good when they're with Bobby Lashley. Yeah. Nah. What? Do you remember how fun they were before they were serious? Now the grown-up Jack. I don't know. Who are who are the Street Profits? Ah, oh, come on. What do you mean? Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> no, of course they were amazing, but yes, they were that for a while. They don't wrestle anymore. They were spinning their wheels. So now it's time to do something better. And now they look snazzier, mm. and the feud were carrying cross. Oh my god, you're right. <laughs> you're right. Oh no. Well, they might lose this feud, unfortunately. Uh, no. Surely not. No. Yeah, yeah. Have you yeah. seen the AEW? Cross is going to be. Karen cross is going to be like lucky if he gets booked on WrestleMania, and it's uh, two days. He'll win the battle royal. Oh, <laughs> oh, he might. Oh, he might. <laughs> we see footage of Logan Paul and Kevin Owens shoot fight. At the performance center, hashtag, <laughs> hashtag Pride FC, hashtag Gracie family, hashtag Pancreas, hashtag Fry Takiyama. Yeah, Pancreas. 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 No, I say no, Pancreas. Pancreas. <laughs> That's what it says, Pancreas. <clears throat> uh, thanks for the distraction from Grayson Waller and a handful of oh, tights. Did you like the performance center? Um, no. Oh. It was all right. Yeah, that was it's fine. Just, it, it was, was clear just... why they were both there at the same time, reversing the match. Spot for spot all the way through. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. <laughs> that was a good dig. That was a good dig. <laughs> oh, no. What are you doing? That's gone a bit too far. Oh, no. Jack's got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay. That's a shoot can oh. over in that. Do you hear that? Oh, that was like a... Fantastic. That was like it was added in post. Thanks to attraction from Grayson Waller and a handful of tights. Austin Theory beats Carmelo Hayes, the bastard. The heels beat Melo down afterwards, but... Trick Willy, what are you doing here? Whoop that trick! Whoop! Whoop! Trick. I thought that was a <clears throat> CD recording of yeah. the NXT crowd initially, and then apparently it was real. Was it? Apparently so. No, not that many people watch NXT. All right. Well, clearly they do. It's the big time. Was this in a similar sort of area to the Rumble? Because the crowd at the Rumble, Surely, yeah. it seemed like a lot of them weren't clued up on who people were and stuff. Mm. Which isn't their fault. It's well, the I, wrestling. I was going to say, the crowd, I put, crowd really liked Hayes' cool moves, even though Theory didn't seem to know how to take half of them. And then Trick showed up and the crowd loved him. And I put, yeah, they're good friends. Oh, wait, no, they're not. Well, I'm glad <laughs> they established that. No, but Trick trusts Mello as with Satya now. It's just Mello who's a bit wary of Trick. That's the story, so it makes mm. sense. It's, it's linear. But I'm glad they've finally had that happen after, like, weeks of, oh, Mello, he's a good guy. You're like, what? He's the, is it, is it the Simpsons where Homer mentions a dog with shifty eyes? He goes, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Yes, it is. That's what my, that, Carmelo Hayes is that. <laughs> It's like a dog who looks side to side and the evil music oh, plays so in the background. Oh, so why is he shifty? Well, because of how he acts on NXT. Yeah. <laughs> and he always does weird expressions when he knows the camera's still on him. He goes, hmm. He's a good lad. Yeah, yeah he is a good lad. He's very good at springboarding. Is he the best springboarder currently in WWE? Cowabunga. Yeah, absolutely. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> Tim Assault, Rugger, hmm. surely. Or Bronson. Bronson's good. Yeah, Bronson Reed. is good. Springboarding? I remember 
Or just jumping off stuff. Oh, okay. I remember he had a cage match once against someone on NXT. Maybe Grayson. I can't remember who. But he was. Yeah, I went against. Uh, he Stribben. was springing. He was springing. What was it? Bronson Reed died for the wow. NWA. Can't North even American. remember any of like the hit row times really. Yeah. <laughs> Why would you? <laughs> I've got one for Botchmania, Matthew. There was a spot earlier in this match here where Melo does a backflip off Theory. He lands, but then falls on his ass and starts doing like a little la- dead lady book thing, mm-hmm. expecting Theory to come run towards him, but Theory does not. So Melo's just there for like two or three seconds, like a dead lady book on the floor. I think that's fine because he's like, Do you want to come in the. Because you see that in real fights? He wasn't saying, Do you want to come? He was just going like that. He was kicking his legs like a dead lady book. Lady no, Bird. No, he was doing. He bloody <laughs> was. No he held by falling. It's literally what he went like. He's that like, come on then. He went like that. No, he went like that. It's like Sakuabra. Go on. Hands and legs were going like a dead like. ladybug, right? And Theory didn't come over, so he had to just awkwardly stand back up. It is no, mad. He, he realised. Like, mania. He realised he's not <laughs> taking the bait. What move was Theory supposed to go over and do? The next one they had planned, but they went <laughs> off the script, didn't they? Well, that's, what theory, that's why Theory's poo. So he lands on the bloody head. <laughs> It I don't is. know what to do here. <laughs> Duh, <laughs> I'm expecting spot C. <laughs> it is You're mad. on spot F. <laughs> it is mad that we call them ladybirds and Americans call them ladybugs, isn't it? They must think we're the crazy. Americans call them ladybirds. Bugs. Ladybugs. Lady ladybugs. Oh, it's a ladybug. I think we do both, don't we, over here? Do we? Yeah, I guess so. But aren't always... they more right because they're not a lady I know, that's what I mean. and isn't they're it, not a bird? Isn't it weird that we call them ladybirds? We're like blue tits, Some of them blue will be ladies. What's your point? <laughs> why, why, why was that name invented? You know? <laughs> Oh, it's a ladybird. Why? Anyway, interesting. Oh, this Joel, is more can interesting you Google the theory. etymology? Oh, <laughs> no, to be fair, though, Theory, he did a new move that we haven't seen. Ataxia! Exactly. I've seen it because I used to watch Evolve because I'm a nerd. Well, I didn't. No, fair enough. <laughs> that was his problem. I saw that one match that he had against um, JD Bowler McBowley face, yeah. JD, M- JD Drake. <laughs> 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 Forgot his name there for a second. The name Ladybird comes from the Middle Ages. The Beatles were called the Beetle of Our Lady because at that time the Virgin Mary was often depicted in paintings wearing red clothing. No. Oh. oh. Right. That's not as exciting as a. Thank you, though. Guys, you're taking the wind out of the podcast. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> well, we did ask. <laughs> Backstage, Randy's close personal friend, Eladio, predicts that the Viper will become champ at the Rumble. Well, he would say that, wouldn't he? The bloodline arrived and intimidate him, so he backs down. He did just say Roman wouldn't win in front of Roman's pals. Yeah, he can't yeah. be doing that. Yeah. Uh, in the in the mainy waney says it. What was I thinking? Right, LA so. Knight beats Solo via DQ after being attacked by AJ Styles. The bloodline gives Styles a chair, but he uses it to beat them down as well. Oh, the silly billies. Randy Orton joins the brawl and hits AJ with an RKO, but LA Knight blindsides Randy with the BFT to end the show. Hmm. What's our favourite new mascot that we've got here? Is it Ron the Seal? It is Ron the Seal. Arf, arf, arf. Still waiting for a loyal viewer of the podcast to oh, send one in and do our jobs for us. I'm sure <laughs> I saw... I'm How sure dare saw, they not do it? I'm sure I saw a tweet or something. Ah. It was a picture. Ah. Yes, I remember the picture. Mm. I'm looking for moving graphics. Oh, God. Moving graphics? What? Jesus. It's happened before. God. Oh, maybe we should just make one. No, 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 I'll have a a little PNG show. Joel, can you do the moving graphics work, or is that just a sad thing? Dan Dan Uh, seems pretty good at that. Yeah, I'll get one of them to do it. (laughs) Oh, you're the the, the, the the boss now, right? Hey, son, you you can play Call of Duty. Can you fix me PC? (laughs) (laughs) I've heard that, um, I know that Owen's now a film watcher. Yeah, he's got a lot of stuff on no, Joel is. Because I think that he just watches what Joel says is good. Oh. And then gives it like five stars. Because oh, they're best friends, aren't they? Yeah, but it's like a weird dynamic. <laughs> it's not. What was the last thing that you watched and gave five stars to then? They watched Me? Moneyball, I think. No, Moneyball. I wouldn't watch that on his own. We, oh. we watched Almost Famous together. Almost Famous is Almost such a famous. you film, not an Owen yeah, film. Yeah, That's a proper famous. you film. Me and Some Dan. Some good dating films. You and Dan. And Owen watched it. Oh. Oh, it was nice. Do you all sing Tiny Dancer together? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> good film. It's great. I love it's been it. been years since I've seen it, but yeah. This is why he didn't follow up with those messages, that woman on the DMs. Bollocks. Why? The match was you're too busy. Oh, yeah. What do you think of the match, Ross? <laughs> I thought there was lots to like in the match, Matthew. The Rock going for the hand straight away because Solo likes to poke his thumb in people was great. Uh, Solo's throwing Samoan drop was absolutely gnarly. He mm. threw him across the ring doing a Samoan drop. Yep. Um, AJ Styles is a bit of a tit, though, because he wanted yes, to yes. fight LA Knight when LA Knight was getting his ass handed to him, which made little to no sense in my opinion. And then it's just Roman not being on the go-home show for one of the fabled big four, come big five, if you want to put money in the bank in there. A lot of bollocks, that. It was just screaming out for him to be there at the end. I've noticed, yeah, yeah, recently. Maybe it's just since Triple H took over as head of creative. It seems like the second last week is the go-home show. 
And then the go home show is kind of just like mm. a filler. Almost. Yeah. It's weird. So yeah. I got why they wanted to send the crowd home happy, but it was just screaming for Roman to come out there and mm. do something. But yeah. he wasn't there. I wasn't the last about him not being there because he was going to be there. The Rumble I had to watch one of his lovely matches there. That was enough for me. It was like week. having a Toby Carvery, but with no meat. Mm. Oh, I'm so so not, not a Toby Carvery at all then, really. He can buy a vegetarian one. I don't know what you have instead of the meat. Is it? Is it just the trimmings then? Bread. Yeah. What do you have? A bit of, bit of, bit of tofu? <laughs> I can't imagine I Toby Carvery. The guy, so... <laughs> How's your day been? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thinking. Anyway, anyway, who cares about that SmackDown apart from the obviously the lovely women's match? The Royal Rumble. We're finally here. So, how did you guys watch the Rumble? I watched it in there with my friends Joel, Pierce, and Aiden. Oh, lovely! I watched it alone in the office next door with my thoughts. He was allowed to watch it with us. We didn't bar him. I need to room. watch on my own for your commentary and that for mm. WTF. Mm. I sit on my own with headphones on. Oh, of course. That does make sense, yes. How did you watch it, Matthew? I'm glad you asked, uh, Jack. Me, Luke, Tom, Fraser all went down. And Sam. Sam. Well, <laughs> and there was something else on my goal card, Matthew. Don't forget. Um, all went down to the box park in bloody Wembley. Mm. And it was sold bloody out. Mm. 550. And it was amazing to get there. It's just a giant stacks. So you can go there and get your food. Oh, stack, yeah. yeah. Not stacks. <laughs> hey, right Sod! Yeah. Oh, no, no, yeah. Hey! Stack's gone now in Newcastle, Sod. I know. Anyway. But yeah, so you can get the, the drinks from the bars and obviously have the food from all the lovely different places. So the first thing I saw when we got there is the Yorkshire Burrito. <laughs> oh, yes. All the lovely different places. <laughs> oh, first thing I saw was like, yeah, that one. Uh, so, yeah, you know, burrito, a wrap like that. That bloody Yorkshire pudding. Mm. With steak. Filling. With steak. And sauce. Oh. And mashed potato. Oh, I could shut my eyes in there. Anyway, because I thought, e, what do Londoners know about Yorkshire <coughs> puddings? Turns out a lot. <laughs> I'm, um, I'd be wary of eating that in public because I think I'd make a mess. Oh, the right you mess. You couldn't. Like, I mean, it was gravy yeah. dripping out of it. Going, uh, wah, wah, wah. So thankfully you could go around the back and eat it while people look at you. <laughs> in the alleyway. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Sure. It's just people shooting up yeah. at Matthews there. <laughs> 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 <You're putting> <laughs> <right>. <laughs> I was doing whippets in London. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> it sounds delicious. That's when Tugboat showed up with me, me, me gravy-covered hands. I'd also be worried about it. Did he lit them clean? Oh. <laughs> you shake my hand. I went, all right. He'd have been gravy boat then, wouldn't he? Oh. oh he's done it again. Goodness me. Wow. Lovely, mate. Um, Thank you. You big tady. <laughs> um, I can't remember what I was going to say. <laughs> oh, the Yorkshire pudding thing as well. Um... No, it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. It wasn't important. No. Really. Oh, would it? Would you not be worried about it sending you straight to sleep? I'd be worried about feeling all full and nice and then missing the rumble. No, I go, it went well with Red Bull. So ah. <laughs> I'm on the Bish diet. Yorkshire buns and Red Bull. Bloody <laughs> hell. It was an Aunt Bessie energy drink. So, yeah, Mr. Ottman arrived. It was part of the shenanigans we had going because we were trying to explain to people who were like, so why are you here? Because there was a really... Oh, I need to check who it was, but at Remy Arena, there was a popular DJ playing. So lots of really cool, well-dressed people went to Box Park before this. And so I got asked for gear twice. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody commented on my shoes. I went, that's nice. And then I went to the toilet and they didn't talk to me after that. I went, well, I'm waiting in the queue for it, so I don't even want me to say. <laughs> and then Mr. Bloody Upman's there, just being very nice, very all casual and everything else. And originally the idea was he would come through some cardboard boxes and drop the mask, but he just had ACL surgery. Oh my God. So oh, he was wow. just like, uh, how about no? And it got to the point where we couldn't even get him to walk up the stairs because there wasn't a strong enough guardrail for him. And we're like, we'll just stand by and help you up. You know, like when King Kong's tied up in the thing. And, oh. he, and he didn't like that. So he sat down with Tom on the stage, asking questions. Many people dressed up as Tugboat. Really? Yep. <laughs> Wow. A, squ- uh, a fleet of tugboats, <laughs> if you will. And he was lovely. People loved him. He said good things about Vincent Mann. He got booed. We moved oh. on. And uh, yeah, it was just lovely. Mm. And yeah, everybody we really met, just full of nice times. All of the podcast, Matthew, blah, blah, blah. You guys are great. Are the good guys here? No, no, it's just me. All right, okay, cool. Oh, come oh, on. Oh, no, I'm saying that. Shade thrown at the I'm other lads, by the way. <laughs> God. You, I meant. Fraser said that he met uh, the lad who dressed as Ross. It, it, it was a, in London. There was a lad dressed as Ross in a different life, who when oh, he used to oh, wear a certain gimmick, um, and he was a really nice lad. And um, and then Fraser saw, said he was there as well again, not dressed as Ross this time. That was just for all in. That'd be a bit creepy. Uh, if he See always just. Again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he dressed up again. Never stopped dressing up as him. <laughs> now the people dressed up as uh, they did a cosplay contest. So there was a guy who had the proper Cody jacket made, 
and he did the entrances and poses and stuff like that. We go, wow, it's, it's a nice looking jacket. Sadly, he just had normal blue jeans on the knees. So it was like, all right. Oh, it feels like all the budget would have gone on the jacket. That's though. exactly what it looked like. Yeah. 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 Uh, Hardy's, um, Edge, and Christian. Nice. So the current guy, day Christian, or like current think... Christian, because he had the you know turtle neck oh, and he yes. got the, his little custom made TNT title belt. <laughs> And uh, it was just like the guy was just like, "So, how you doing?" The guy was like, "Your dad's dead." <laughs> 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 no segue needed. No one went, "Yeah." Um, so, the reason why I'm saying all this mm. is not just to put over the lovely people from Hooked on Wrestling, the people we met, and had a fantastic big time and give our life daughters. I really bloody enjoyed this show, and then I went online afterwards and saw what people thought. Like the day afterwards, after I recovered, and was like, "Oh, this was not the overwhelming thought from people who watched it like normal people by watching it, you know, on the stream or whatever." So it would be very interesting to hear your thoughts as we go on through this. So go back and forth. Uh, the show opens with the surprise arrival of Pat McAfee. Michael Cole doesn't calm down all night. He yeah. had a Yorkshire pudding or two. Eh? Is that what they call him these days? Mm-hmm. Oh, you have to. It's <laughs> kayfabe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and again, yes, Hulk Hogan was booed. And I assume he was booed. You booed him when you were watching the stream as well. Um, we probably yeah, yeah. Ah. I made no <laughs> noise. <laughs> yes. I made no noise because I was alone. Imagine how chat going, boo. <laughs> computer screen upstairs. Yeah, you're right. Be weird talking to yourself on the computer. How's your football manager stream going? <laughs> oh, <that's funny. laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, you were different. <laughs> oh, wait, oh, what? I wanted to ask Joel to clip this so I could save it just for huh? myself because I did one of my like 10 laps up 10. <laughs> we talk about like oh, I've moved in a place by myself I'm talking to myself because you know, I'm like what do I come in this room for oh yeah the washing stuff oh, like that get a that. cat get a wee cat so I'm getting, yeah people are saying that as well mm. people are saying oh don't worry it's normal and I said do you ever talk to yourself and Ross just said only when I'm playing FIFA FIFA oh FIFA not chat oh, I beg your pardon then and when is it that you talk to yourself, Ross? It's during the matches, and I pretend I'm the manager in the post-match press conference getting asked about the game I'm playing. Wait, what? <laughs> so I make up questions in Wait. my head, and then I ask in my head, and then I give the answer no. like a football manager would do. Well, it was a tough game today, but we had a lot of injuries in the squad heading into the day. Wait. Luckily, we're in the middle of the transfer window, and we'll be add reinforcements to the squad going forward. This is when you're alone? Yep. Oh. <laughs> That's the only time I ever talk to myself. I never walk around the flat going like, oh, it's time to make a cup of tea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that would be yeah. bad. <laughs> well, that's why. No, I it's do. just that you need to concentrate on defense. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, living the dream. I, I was, I, I fell off my chair nearly here another first time. Mm. I labeled it oh. the, the Tweddle Recliner, didn't I? <laughs> it made you go fully horizontal. <laughs> yeah. That's mad, that. I mean, I'm not judging. Well, I am apparently. I, yeah, I Again, I'm, I, I'm not judging you. I've been died laughing. Wow. Anyway, so the women's rumble starts. Uh, 90 second intervals. Uh, World Cup's a big breakthrough of everything. Natalia is entrant number one. All right, pipe applause. Followed by the returning Naomi. Oh, and she yeah. lasted bloody ages, she so she did. did. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> oh, that's not what she does. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing. I'm sorry for the beat to drop. It's never dropped. <laughs> Bring it. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Again, massive pop there from the, the bloody uh, box park. Well, I pop bigger for Natalia, but yes. Oh, she's number one. She's the goat. Yeah, I couldn't believe when Natalia came out as number one. So we were. Pierce was watching it on his screen behind it. Like you can't see Pierce's screen from where we were sat. So he was a bit ahead. Yeah. On his um, network, and it was like, don't make any noise. If anything big happens, Pierce, please don't spoil. Don't go like, ooh. And then it was like number one, and he went, ooh. And we were like Pierce, mm-hmm. and he went, it's not that exciting. And it, and yeah, it was, it was Natalia. But you know, I'll watch the rest of them, but don't get excited. Yeah, okay. Oh. It's only the rumble. News, the dairy milk does actually get made in Ireland, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I need to show my working out here. Will make you wait. Piers, so, Ross's page is just refreshed. Piers <laughs> is Irish. And that, made me, <laughs> and that made me think about last week's um, discussion about oh. Irish, Irish chocolate. Mm. I see. That, okay, now I'll get you. And, uh, yeah, the, apparently there is a dairy milk factory in Ireland that makes the Irish chocolate. Right. As well as the one in Birmingham down here that makes the English chocolate. Mm. Uh, so, yeah, that that's, yeah. So is it different? <laughs> do, you think? Do, you think do you think they're identical or do you think they use different process sides? I reckon it depends on the cows. What kind of Irish cows do you get? And that's true. Smoother milk, potentially? I don't know. Who yeah. knows? No. Maybe. But I just thought I'd put that on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Big news on the podcast. Thank you, thank you Ross. <laughs> and then the, no, the, no, we'll talk about the chocolate milk, not the news of the reigning TNA Knockouts world champion, Jordan Grace, entering at number five. Looking jacked. 
and no looking time. a lot a better wrestler than most of the ladies who were in there. <laughs> I noticed on a few occasions that she had to slow herself down so right. others could keep up with her. Uh, I thought her elimination at the hands of Bianca was probably the best one of the match where she got the KOD on the apron. Absolutely. She, she looked the part. She got the reaction. She hinted at more stuff happening with TNA in the future. I think mm-hmm. then Bianca Belair, they had a little ba- bit of back and forth and Jordan Grace has mentioned doing something on her home turf. Mm-hmm. So could Bianca Belair have a match in TNA? Mm-hmm. And also the massive pop when uh, here in Naomi gave a big old hug. Mm. They started wrestling and people were like, oh, we get that. TNA, TNA. Mm-hmm. And this has happened before with Mickey James a few years ago. And it was like, what the hell? And I think people get ahead of themselves going, oh, maybe Jordan Alexander and then the, the other rumble. I'm like, no, nah, they need to pad out the women's rumble. Oh, let's um, not get ourselves. Moose is the current champion, actually. Not Josh Alexander. I just like Josh Alexander more. Sorry. Oh, right. <laughs> fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I am. Yeah. <laughs> I'm aware. I watched Hard to Kill. <laughs> but, uh, but thank you for that. Uh, right. Number three, Edwin Bailey is conflicted without seeing Asuka and Kyrie Saint enter the match. Yeah, did she, know, did she even know they were going to be in the match? Because she was like, oh. Mm-hmm. And again, you're thinking, isn't Bailey supposed to be a bad person? She's being a bit of a you know mean person. Crowd didn't care. And I was at the box park. They were chanted all the Bailey chants and everything else like She's that. She's on the slow turn. She, mm. yeah, yes, she was. She is. Uh, when Valerie Haller enters at number <laughs> oh, 24. Oh, sorry, wait. I don't think I mentioned it specifically, but Kyrie's elimination was weird. It, it was, was It was crazy because people thought, oh, they're doing the Kofi thing. And it's like, no, she's just trying to not get eliminated. It, it did all, look crazy, Do you though. think it was all deliberate? Oh, yeah. Fair yeah, enough. Yeah, because then Asuka got eliminated shortly afterwards, and that's the story of the match. Bailey going, yeah. oh, no, I haven't got my friends. So, But people like... Was she supposed to? Because everyone went, whoa, how is she doing that? But the Oscar basically, let's go over. I don't... Feel like a look at it. So it's not like, oh no, how did she do that? It was just, it just looked cool. Mm, yeah, well, I, I, I labeled it the most significant cross spot since our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> it was really, um, the course strength it looked that crazy. That off, it was like, unbelievable. Also, uh, I've drank so many drinks. Sorry, bless I'm, you, mate. I'm God, really, I, I know I've, you're on uh, a drink yeah, tonight. I'm, I know what's going on. Fanta and coffee. But yeah, actually, we was put a picture of uh, her doing the Spider Man. Thing with Spider-Man on 2 the, the train. Oh, uh, yeah. yes. <laughs> I'd laugh. Don't tell anyone I'm the Spider-Man. We won't, Peter. That's what happens That's after what that do. scene. Yeah, yeah. They say it just like that. So then Bailey goes, well, I can't possibly win now without my friends. Uh, when Valerie Haller enters at number 24, well, first off, before the thing happens, Michael Cole just jumps up and down and Little glee. What's that about the antlers? It's just he's been, because he can't say, oh, she, he's been focusing on the antlers for some reason. Then she stopped wearing them. He couldn't say antlerless. Antlerless. Oh, yes, yes. So Barrett's mocked him for being old. So right. then he came up with the antlers. So it meant that Cole wouldn't have to say the word wrong a time. And he lost his mind. And it also means she's going to win the match. That's what he kept ah, saying. Yeah. He's like, yes! She's going to win the match because she's wearing the antlers. <laughs> if I was Valhalla, I would have waited until after the show and I would have punched him in the car park because he made her sound like a loser. <laughs> Well, it's funny you say that because our truth runs out as well, thinking it's the men's rumble, also as music plays. Nia Jax throws him out after Truth goes, Where's all the where's all the men? <laughs> and Alan Pierce cracks him on the ramp, and while that's happening in the background, she just gets dumped. <laughs> Not even the focus of the spot. Nah. Yeah, Poor and Cole, and Cole just goes, Oh, maybe she's left an antlers at home then. Eh? <laughs> Amazing. Uh Jade Cargill makes her WWE in-ring debut number 28. Big Scotty! Sorry. Good good theme about big jack women here in this rumble. All for it. And eliminates (laughs) Nia Jax, Mm. um, who's been just wrecking people the entire time and gets to do, again, one of my favorite silly things in wrestling is when there's like 10 people like, let's all eliminate this person. Let's all crowd this person. And the one person goes, and then just fly (laughs) off like that. I love that. It's classic 80s wrestling. It really is. I'd even go as far as to say Nia's run recently has been worth it just for that Jade moment. Well said. Because mm. uh, the way she picked her up as well, it was with ease. Because yeah, we had previously uh, Piper Niven, and well done on Pat not like shooting his load up the end on that like he did last year. What? Well, last year he just went, Piper Niven, Piper Niven, because he had no idea who she was. Oh, <laughs> I see. This year he just went, oh, Piper Niven once. Well, okay. There's another one for Botchmania, Michael Cole, during the, that there was two people trying to get Piper out, and he's like, we've never had two winners of a, a Rumble match uh, before. I think he corrected himself. Remember that? We've never had it. Uh, Another one for Botchamania. I don't know if you noticed this. I'm glad you've got... Do, do but um, they kept accidentally running into Chelsea Green. Friend or foe. God, I couldn't believe how many times. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, poor Chelsea. I thought Chelsea was unreal in that match. Yeah, she was. It was, was a gimmicky good. display. Chelsea mm. Green. Yeah. 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 I just get flat. Well. And then five was gone. You all right? <laughs> it's classic Laurel you and Hardy. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Very entertaining. And because Piper hadn't be, been unable to pick up Naya, and not so Naya being able to pick up Piper... <laughs> I don't want that little video series. Uh, then Jay comes along. Yeah, out you go. She lifts her up, and there's a picture on Reddit of her mid lifting Naya, yeah. smiling like nothing. She's like, "Wait, there you go." Eh? Yeah. Oh my! Oh, oh, oh baby! 
Yep, she dumps her out. Massive giant pop, almost as big as Jade herself. She also makes one of the favorites, Becky Lynch, by swinging Naomi into her. Bit of a surprise there. Yeah. Mm. On Wikipedia, I checked this. That goes down as elimination for both Jade and Naomi. Oh, that's important, that is. Mm. Oh. Mm. Roxanne Perez and Tiff Pratt. Oh. Roxanne Perez and Tiff Strat the NXT entrance. Tiff ends up eliminating Roxanne, but Tiff looks very good in the process. Yeah. Well, my pop for Roxanne was ruined by the production team, who, the little bit at the start where they show Randy Orton walking in, they had Roxanne's bleed time. Oh, yes, they did, yes. Practicing the bastards, but yeah, mm. Tiffy Strats looked astonishing in that match, yeah. I thought. Astonishing. Mm -hmm. astonishing. She's destined for the main roster soon, I'd imagine. Yeah. If I was happy because I was asking people during the night, like, who do you think is going to be in the Rumble? And I said Tiff Strats, and look, I was like, mm. it's going to be great. Because these people don't watch NXT, no, so we've seen it getting written off. So like, ah, oh, Tiff St yeah. Uh, From the New Japan, aye, yeah. We'll get to it, but um, I was the Big Fallon fan, and now I'm, I don't know if I am. Yeah. She, uh, she, st she steals human friends. She does. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had a temper my sentence there. Made that was a good sound. Worse yeah. than it was. Uh, Maxine Dupree was in the match, but we'll move on. Uh, Liv oh, Morgan. She was, she was rubbish. It's not her fault. She was she, I don't know why they booked her for this. No. She was paying tribute to Kelly Kelly. <laughs> 2018 Rumble when she yeah. Was yeah, she was. Runs Ma in with the shoot Hurricane Rana, but replaced the double O with an I. Maxine's At one point, <laughs> Bailey just stopped rotating. And I don't know if that was deliberate or not, or it was just mm. like, this is bad, this, isn't it? Then they did it again. They did it again. Maxine's good at being like a yeah. silly manager type character. Like, she's really good at, she, to be fair, yeah. she is good at that. So, but don't chuck her in these situations that she's clearly not ready for yet. It's lucky that she, she posed afterwards in a catchphrase as shush because it almost sounded like it was guys in the booze. <laughs> <laughs> she was rubbish. Do you particularly remember Tom's reaction when Maxine Dupree was botching everywhere? I was too busy laughing. Damn it. <laughs> and people going, Matthew, Matthew, uh, ma I just, ma <laughs> ma 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 we did a round table and with Ross, me and Tom and Tom started to talk about Maxine Dupree and I sort of talked over him and went like, oh, no, nah, she's not she's not that good at the minute. like, yeah, And he yeah. disagreed. And then I remember thinking, uh, I think I've been a bit too blunt there, like trying to shut down Tom's opinion. So I'd have liked to have been vindicated by uh, him having seen Maxine Dupree. But I don't know. Yeah. He was just lying, though. <laughs> he was going, oh, she's really, really good. Yeah. Like, he's been right. camp, uh, point, camp point, obviously. So mm. he's yeah. more interesting that way. Other than three people going, God, she was crap. No, uh, no. I like her. Here she was. No, but I like I hope she does well, you know. Well, me too. Yeah. But, you know. Liv Morgan returns from injury at number 30, paying tribute to Christina Aguilera. Was she? Yeah. Right? She was yeah. dirty. Was that the... With two <laughs> R's. Dorty. I should have probably Dorty. 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 Yeah. 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 scrub. Um, I'm, I realised that I'd missed Liv Morgan. I was like, oh. Mm. <laughs> no, what? Why are you laughing at that? <laughs> I realised I missed Liv like Morgan. A lo like a long lost friend. <laughs> oh. mm. It's when she eliminated someone and went like, bye-bye. <laughs> I was like, oh, she, uh, she's weird, isn't she? Good. I did the final three, Bailey and Jade. That got tense because it was like, oh, come on. Any of these three would be all right by me. She makes Jade by hitting Oblivion on the apron. I think Whoa. that was it. Yeah, she does. And Bailey immediately kicks her off to win the match. Giant prop in the box park. Yay. <laughs> Bailey did it without her friends. Yeah. Mm. More importantly, the two women's champions are seen watching Bailey's celebration from backstage. Eo Sky doesn't seem happy, but Rhea does. Yeah. Fantastic. I love this. This was very fun. I saw this criticism online, and they are very valid. There's so little going on in terms of feuds with the women on WWE. It was mostly just women attacking each other just for that. There wasn't a lot of rivalries apart from the Jack stuff and the stuff with TNA. It was just, oh, we've got no beef here, mm. mostly. We're just here on the roster. But despite that, I thought it was the far superior Rumble match on the night. I thought yeah. there was a, a better structure to the match with the building of the bits with Jade and other people like that, Jordan Grace. I thought there was more like performances that stood out from other people, if you make... Because there was a lot of like filler entrances uh, during the night, and it just the, the likes of Bailey, Naomi, Jade, and Tiffy Strats, Chelsea Green and Jordan Grace, I thought stood out as well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I just thought it was the, the far superior Rumble match on the night. Yep. Personally. Well said. Um, I think from obviously you you saw the box park and when you watch it live and everyone's having a great time and stuff. But I think I was slightly higher on this show than most people seem to be online, where there was like a wave of negativity about it. But I still didn't enjoy it very much. So I, I think my problem with the rumbles was they were too similar, which we'll talk we can talk about the men's one in a bit, but like they both they weren't uh, I don't know how to describe it. There was a lot of people entering, hitting a few moves, and then just 
standing in the corner and punching someone and just fading into the background. Mm. Even people who you'd think would get a few eliminations and stuff, like Jordan Grace. But then from Jade Cargill onwards, I really enjoyed like, the last third of the Rumble. So, you know, I, I think I'm... I think I'm lower than you two on it, but higher than Gen Pop. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Gen Pop, <Yeah>. nice. <laughs> I'll tell you what, though, we need new music, people, because in yes. both Rumble matches, there's not that... They've tried, it. obviously, the classic wrestling thing, putting a sting at the start and then having the theme play after that. Mm -hmm. They have them, but they're not very good, and they're not recognizable, mm -hmm. and there's too many... Too many themes sound the same, and it really, really gets hammered home during a Royal Rumble match, and it happened on both the women's and the men's. Seth Rollins watching. I was going to say there's the clip. Carrying Cross's entrance, he's like, "Who?" And he has to wait for the Tron to flash up, whatever it flashes. Yeah, up. Oh yeah, it's Carrying Cross. Like... <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Popcorn. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, but yeah, we need new music, people. It's it's harsh to sh harsh to say, but fair there. Do I put I've got a on? good sting. Go. At the start of Becky Lynch's, it should just be Irish chocolate. Whoa! Oh! <laughs> Bubbly Irish chocolate. <laughs> chocolate has more than one royal family. <laughs> chocolate has more than one domestic factory. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> uh. But I would eat new music, people. <laughs> She's ready to milk this moment, Cole. <laughs> Roman Reigns successfully defends the Uwu title against Orton, Knight, and Styles. He's saved from a pinfall attempt by Solo before getting the win with a spear on AJ. Um, any thoughts? Well, it's a difficult one to comment on because we knew what the result was going to be. Yeah. But I thought that there's a change in tone of Roman's victory because Solo wiped himself out so that the finish was going to be different. He wasn't going to directly lead into Roman getting the win. Roman's getting luckier the more matches happen mm. now because there was numerous points Ellie Knight hit the BFT on him Nelly got pinned the other lads in the match were nearly pinning each other but then Roman just sort of the way the, the cards tumble in the match he then gets the, the pinfall and I think that's what they're going for now until Wrestlemania him getting luckier until he's not lucky anymore yeah very well said yeah. um, the box park treated this like uh, a rest match after right. the Rumble which is what it was very lengthy very well put together, solid as always, but you know what you're going to get from these matches. Mm. Um, there was a bit where they were both covered. Bot, bot, and Corey pin. was talking bollocks there. He's like, oh, you can't count the pinfall of both shoulders on the mat at the same time. I think he was having to cover for the yeah. rest. I'm just going to step <laughs> in just to vent yeah. my Hall of Fame pick, Corey Graves, who I've just also, talked Also, yeah, he's like, well, who's going to win the title then if they both win? And it's just like, yeah. It was either fine. a sick backslide by Randy Orton or LA Knight had a very tired cover on Randy yeah. Orton. Mm. Yeah. Also, also, the ref was down, which is another oh. reason why it wasn't being counted. Right. <laughs> no, he was stood up. The ref said, no, he was down. He was stood up next to them. No, nah, I thought you, I didn't hear what you said the first time. <laughs> they said he was stood erect. <laughs> His Which torso so. was erect. Mm. Stiff. That is technically... Oh, well. Core strength. <laughs> it wasn't that you said that. He's doing a DDP yoga. Uh, so apart from that and the thing with, oh, I went through the barricade, blah. The one time where it got a reaction out of the box park was the one, two, and the, the very good camera work this time when you're like, oh, because you couldn't see anything the way it was shot. And then it was just whoop, pulled out. Mm. And it was, oh, it's solo. Yeah. And he, he did the thing where he's just like, Oh, it's solo! <laughs> like, who else is it going to be? We have never seen this before. Mm. Damn it! Yeah. The referee yeah. just lets, lets him in if they got his hood up. I like the stuff about Roman being lucky. Yeah. But obviously, it, it was very similar to a lot of his other wins in the past year or year and a half or whatever. Mm -hmm. But I'm not the first person to mention this. I've seen it mentioned quite a lot on Twitter and stuff by people. But the thing that annoyed me was Roman's entrance. You might not have heard this. Michael Cole's going like, he's like shooting oh, on the Oh, no, we, we heard this because again, people were quiet, people were going for a refill. So it was so funny. Cole defending the heel champion. Well, people say he doesn't defend the title uh, that often. To which he says, and we say, well, beat him then. Yeah. Book like, him more then. But he, <laughs> so he doesn't defend his title he, once every three Yeah, months. and you're like, wait, Cole, why are you saying that? Yeah, he cheats to win. The company should what, be furious at him. I guess commentator Heyman should be saying this or something. Yeah. You, you shouldn't be saying this. It was it was like Triple H had said, right, you better put yeah. him over now. Michael, uh, Cole, Michael Cole does, shut up, bitch. Right. <laughs> like, all right, uh, th thanks, Cole. I'm glad you fired up because Pat's next to you. Uh, well, it was really weird. And and like you say, the the play-by-play Babyface commentator should be the voice of reason now, you know? And, and yeah. then I'm sure that after the match, that he probably, I can't remember, but I mean, he was probably like, oh, he's stolen one again, which doesn't match up at all. Oh, well, see you in September for the next one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Very weird. But, but really weird. And the other title match, Logan Paul. 
tries to get one of his entourage to pass it, that's his name, to pass him a set of brass knucks. The ref spots this, but Austin Theory and Grayson Waller run out, and Theory slips Logan the weapon instead. Owens gets control of the brass knucks, use them to knock Logan out. Referee spots him, what, not on the one, not on the two. Uh, hey, what are they? And gives Logan the win via DQ. It's disgusting. <laughs> the first referee in the history of professional wrestling to develop not only 2020 vision, but also peripheral awareness. <laughs> yeah. In reality, I'm quite happy it happened because I don't like seeing referees look like complete mugs. Mm. They have to look like mug to a certain extent, but not like Rick Knox, yeah. which is what they all do from time to time. So it was good to see, but also like, why now? Must always happen if, if yeah. you know, we're going to do that sort of thing. Because yeah. I thought, well, it doesn't make any sense for Logan to lose here. It also doesn't make any sense for uh, Kevin to lose as well. Like what we're saying here. So what they're going to do, and I thought it was a very good finish considering, and once again, annoyingly, I wouldn't piss on Logan Paul if he was allergic to piss, but again, he had a Wait, good showing in the that's ring. that's very kind of you. <laughs> I was going to say, yeah, that's, the, that's a nice thing to do to him. I like that expression. I'm going to keep on using it. Joel so, liked it. So what would you do? So he's not allergic to piss, so he wouldn't piss on them. No, if he was allergic to piss, so he wouldn't, wouldn't piss. piss on him. Right. So you're what being would, nice to him. That's yeah. lovely. He's sparing him. What would you do to him? Big fan. Set him on fire. He might be allergic to that, so I might not want to do that as well. I'm not a monster, unlike Logan Paul. So, so you're a big fan of Logan Paul, we've learned that. <laughs> yeah. I love that you if he was, Well, yeah, because if he was allergic to piss, you would respect that and not piss on him. Yeah, it comes with the tunnel. I thank you for not pissing on Logan Paul. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like we're... <laughs> we both understand what you said. I've not put <laughs> that much thought into this. And now it's, it's crumbled. <laughs> Like a sandcastle, like the first sign of like anything. So, yeah, all right. So what you've yeah. you've said, Logan Paul is not allergic to cake. He's not sorry, he to is. Cake. A, he, so sorry, Logan Paul. You're on the dairy milk, bloody Irish. Is back, allergic to cake, but you wouldn't feed him cake because he is allergic. You're right. That's cake and he's... piss are the same thing. In no, the no, Ross but I'm trying, I'm trying to make you understand what you said here. You said he wouldn't piss on Logan Paul. Well, that's I a, did that's say a that. Nice yes, thing. that's a <laughs> that's cultaholic. The... That's doubly Little nice. Little Kelly quotes Matthew saying, "I would not piss on Logan Paul." That's nice. That's doubly nice because you've not pissed on him, which would be quite mean unless he was into that. And um, and also, he's allergic to it. Yeah, you don't want to see an allergic reaction from you Logan don't. Paul, especially not before this hard hitting match. <laughs> the brass looks to slip up his piss filled. <laughs> hand. Would it stay on because it will be swollen, wouldn't it? For Matthew loves oh, that's right. He wouldn't be able to take them off. Yeah. It'd be very painful for him. So yeah. you love Logan Paul. He respects and loves Logan Paul. No, no, no Joel joining. You're <laughs> Logan Paul. Yeah, yeah, yes, Joel. <laughs> so just to clarify, you're Logan Paul's biggest fan. You're delighted that he escaped with the belt here. I love Logan Paul. <laughs> <laughs> and I wouldn't piss on him for love nor money. Yeah, fair enough. I thought he was. I've been using that for so long now. <laughs> I can't use it now. I wouldn't piss on him. I wouldn't piss on him if he was allergic to piss. What? What does that mean? I thought that was good until now. Did you invent that? <laughs> Uh, yeah, because everyone says I want to piss on my video it was it was on fire. fire. Yeah, to continue the burning. Mm. Yeah, ah, ah, help, Matthew, mm. help! And I'm like, yeah. no, let's piss on a tree instead. I right wouldn't piss on him if he was allergic to not being pissed on. If every day, which so is constantly every day when, when no he's not covered in piss, he's every just every day in when no one's weighing on him, he's in pain. God, that's a good. He's constantly hard, being stung by a jellyfish. <laughs> yeah, all <laughs> yeah, the time. He's asking me, look, I'm really sorry. That's what he's done. Excuse me, love. I'm really sorry to interrupt you as you're trying to shop Morrison's. Have you got any piss? That's what I'm he's done. I'm out. I thought I had another pack. He's done the jellyfish thing, but he's he's left out the jellyfish yeah. bit of the equation. So yes. you would sting him with jellyfish, but then he wouldn't piss on him to take away the effects of I the wouldn't jellyfish. S- that's right. Help, Matthew. You're my only need. It's like, what, what, what do you need for me, Logan Paul? I need to piss on us. I kind of... There we go. Because of this match. Jellyfish. I thought he was <laughs> astonishing during the match of Logan Paul. Again... I mean, we come to expect this now, but he the serious is. transition talking about the match. <laughs> he does just do all of his moves perfectly. The stuff with the hand at the start just made complete sense. The finish then means we need to run it back so Kevin can lock him in a cage or something and beat him up. Yep. Um, but the main thing was, is you see his interview after the show with little, I think it was little Jackie Redmond. No, I didn't. <laughs> he's either 100% concussed or he's a fantastic actor. Because he's gone. His face oh. is just, he's not there. The, the lights are on, but nobody's home. And he's just like, yeah, yeah, you can go come get me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he just. Well, he said he was sorry about the crypto thing, so we know he's a good actor. <laughs> but I was either a very good actor, acting performance, or he was really concussed by Kev at the end there. Hmm. Good. Let us know what you believe is the true story of Logan Paul in the comments down below. A lot of people said this was the best match of the night. Um, I imagine that wasn't in the box park. But it was it was well received, but it was just like okay, cool, this is here, and we're all going, oh sweet, only four matches. Oh, get in, mm. that's so great. Mm. Two of them are rumbles. It's like fine, fantastic. Yeah, I so fair. we're only ending at five a.m. Great. Um, what I was going to say was, 
it, it seemed not as predictable as Roman keeping the belt, but it does seem like they'll want him to take that title into WrestleMania, Logan Paul. I was so, going to say, that's why it's just like, this is just a match. Okay, so fine. who's he going to, will it be a rematch against Kev? I've seen some people suggesting LA Knight, yeah. Surely it's got to be mm. Elimination Chamber for them to Kevin and Logan again. Just because oh. Rollins is not going to be there. Gun- oh, Gunter okay. can't be there. Why not? You can't travel or something. Uh, visa. Yeah, stuff. Visa issues. And it's in Australia. Yes. Other Wait, people- wait a He's from Australia. <laughs> e- <laughs> classic <laughs> Dumb and Dumber. Reminds me of Dumb and Dumber. The classic Dumb. joke from that. <laughs> uh, Austria. <laughs> Other people, Roman's not going to be there. That was the other one. Of course not. So yeah, you've got Cody. You've got, well, Punk's not going to be there now as well. Good God, who is going to be on this bloody thing? <laughs> yeah. So yeah, they're going to... People, people, hello, TNA. <laughs> so I think maybe Logan and Kev might be the... Well, God, I might be a real Another match. main event yeah. match alongside Rhea and fellow Australian yeah. Nia Jax. Yes. Yeah, piss in every corner match. Did I? you know that? What? Nia was born in Australia. I did not know that, no. Mm. Mm-hmm. Fantastic. Yeah. Uh, the main event now is the Men's Royal Rumble. Jay Uso enters number one while Jimmy Uso is number two. While Jay's making his entrance, everyone's going, It'd be great for Jimmy. It's great for Jimmy. Oh. It's Jimmy! I can't believe Doing the cock dance like Pachini. <laughs> uh, and yeah, everyone in the crowd doing that. The crowd of the box park, obviously. It's fantastic. Everyone visuals. was doing that in the box park. Absolutely, well. yeah. Oh, yeah Were you getting down as well? I'll probably get some uh, bonus fries. <laughs> 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 Made to eat drinks from the lovely Adam Pearson. Thank you very much, pal. Uh, Andrade makes his return from AE Dub at number four. Looking amazing with the mask and everything. And his theme's yeah. astonishing. They've got the Repo oh, Man. Oh, yes. Repo, Repo, Repo <laughs> Man. It's Andrade. Oh, no, El Idolo. That mm. same man. Astonishing. Yep. <laughs> um, Still going. Aiden was underwhelmed by his performance. He it's did Andrade. Just, God, he, he always underwhelms in these big matches. No. Sorry, I, no, that's AEW. Big pardon. Oh, you're yeah, such a bitch. <laughs> I'm going to get a T-shirt with this. You're such a bitch. <laughs> could, have, could have run the seal saying you're such a bitch. <laughs> but no, it's after the stuff with Santos at the start, we're like, yeah, we're both Mexican. Let's fight together. And he's like, no. After that, he just sort of blended in completely. Didn't really <laughs> stand out much. You know the people yelling, La Familia. <laughs> <laughs> I was just, I just took umbrage with Aiden's, because he kept on mentioning like, God, Andrade was underwhelming, wasn't he? And then Pacini came in from the stream and went, how did you guys enjoy it? And it was, Andrade was underwhelming. I was like, Aiden. Well, what do you, it's the rumble. What do you, it's I don't an, think what we expect them to do. He missed his elimination. He was typing. He was, I didn't even see his elimination. Oh, I was like, well, you can't. okay. The elimination was pretty good from what I remember. It wasn't very good because I wasn't watching it. Well, <laughs> Fantastic. Good review. Mm, just saying. Aiden loved the uh, R-Truth Aiden stuff. Aiden loved for <laughs> the R-Truth spots, yeah. That was a fantastic <laughs> hot tag, though, in the it midst w- of the rumble. Yeah, that was very good. Cool. Never stop typing, though. Get he made history there, R-Truth. We've never seen a hot tag in a rumble before. Yeah. I've just and, realized... And again, <laughs> crowd, crowd box part went, uh, go on, go on, make the tag. Yeah, he's in! <laughs> I've just realized I've been... I was criticizing Aiden there for doing his job. He was too busy working <laughs> to watch the bloody rumble. <laughs> We're all workers. Yeah. Uh, while NXT superstar Kamala Hayes is number five. Yes, he is. Uh, Bobby Lashley eliminates Karrion Cross and pulls him out. Who pulls him out in revenge, right? Which shouldn't have counted, but it at the same time. Yeah. They brawl at ringside and are joined by the AOP and the Street Profits. Storylines. Yeah. That was a feature Everyone. of this rumble, I thought. Cody and Shinsuke were going at it again for a prolonged period, as were Kofi and Ludwig. Mm-hmm. That's the other storylines I've noted mm-hmm. down. Yes. Storylines. Sammy Sexy Ludwig Sammy comes and out Drew. and is disgusted by the brawl. Sammy and Drew. Sammy and Drew. Although Drew's feeding with everyone. Shows. Uh, mm. And some others as we get along. We should have nominated him for the Hall of Fame this week, Drew. You seen him on social media? Oh, I, I was thinking as I did this, oh. I should have put Drew in. But anyway, we'll the, latest, the, the Wednesday night video that went live then, no? where he's in the gym at home, and he's like, let's tear up our triceps. And he winks at the camera and starts doing his little his, li- his little pull ups and stuff. Oh, <laughs> oh the little hater cutie. of the year. Well, why is that? <laughs> well, we'll tell you in a second. NXT's Brom Breaker and is a number 20. And if reports uh, from the hard hitting uh, little Kelly are to be blamed, he, this was Brock's spot. Yeah. Little Kelly. Little Andrew Kelly has got a new name apparently now. Yeah. Why? <laughs> Just, what we, he's a journalist here. I've never met Andrew Kelly. I've never met him personally. He works for him. I hope he's seven foot tall. Yeah, me too. It's an ironic name. Like Little <laughs> um, John. I don't believe this story though. Because it was Dave Melcher, I think, coming out saying that. Oh, we already don't like 100%. Because yeah. surely Pats is the one that was just called on the night. Like. Well, guys, oh, oh, I've gotten sorry, to the bottom of this. I was first of the same opinion as Ross, thinking, well, the part thing seems so weird and unplanned and like last minute. In cave baby says that, and some people mm. have thought that's true. I'm like, no, he's always working. But you can tell. The thing that tipped me back into believing Melter's story is that they were apparently setting up for Brock versus Dom. 
And Dom eliminated Bron Breaker. Brock versus Dom? Yep. And Elimination Chamber, yeah. It would have been good, come on. Um, and then, but then, and I thought it was a bit random that Why? Bron just got eliminated by Dom and it wasn't made a big deal or anything. And uh, I think that makes okay. sense. Yeah. But, but Brock presume, versus Dom? Eh. Tell me you don't want to see that. I mean, I do, like you said. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it just took a few seconds for me to go, wow, ri- oh, yeah, you know what? That would be funny. Mm. The promos leading up to it would be amazing. Yeah. But I'm assuming if, if Brock Bonny had Bonny. been in it and Dom had eliminated him, it wouldn't have been treated the same as him just going, bye, Bron. It would have been like a big Maven yes. Undertaker thing. Yeah. Because Pat's a wrestler. Yeah, he beat Adam Cole, or did he? He jumped off high. Th- yeah, yeah, I think so. He definitely took him to the limit. Jumps off yeah. high things. He beat Austin Theory at WrestleMania, he by God. Yep. By God, he'd be Baron Corbin. By God, he did. That's one of the the assholes. Yeah. But Why had, is he so scared? I don't know. But he had prep for that. He was not pre- prepared for this. Mm. So that's why it was rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> it was crap, wasn't it? Complete waste of a space. Yep. Uh, Bron gets the big elimination on Omos. Who was here? The big anime fan, the big nerd, and is later eliminated by Tom. Okay. Oh, that's Bron Breaker, not almost. That's very badly said. I apologize. But Bron was fantastic here yeah. in his appearances. He's putting the stank back in the spear. He, absolutely. He's just flattening folk now. Poor Ivar. I poor Ivar. Nathan Fraser on the NXT yeah. before the Rumble as well. Oh, God. Oh. I... Oh. Bang. Oh. He might have been my favorite bit of this Rumble. Oh. <laughs> Bron. Oh, my God. <laughs> Logan when he sees piss. <laughs> No, he's allergic. That's you when you see Logan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Logan, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm from Australia now as well, am I? <laughs> Punk has his first televised WWE match since the 2014 Rumble. Entering at number 27. Lucky for some. Sami Zayn gets lucky number Hide 30. Hide your glee there, Matthew. <laughs> Tone that Dude, down a little I, bit there, friend. Again, I'm, not, like, I'm, not, for some. I'm not happy about that, but I, I didn't realise it was number 27 until uh, then, so I'm like, oh, wait, that's supposed to be that. Oh, well, whatever. Oh, there's 30, uh, and I, I think is overtaken yeah, 27. Over I was going to say, yeah. Sami Zayn gets lucky, lucky number 30, and God, I saw a lot of people being annoyed at this. We were happy as hell. We were all scar dancing really badly at four in the morning um, and being happy with Sami, but because the rumble, it's the rumour mill season, I think Kenny Maker's been you know, promised or uh, rumoured for years. Uh, and we never get that type of thing that people, oh, we wouldn't be great with this. So people were convinced MJF and Okada, bloody Andrew WK. The Rock was, was another be, name. The Rock and all this. Mm. And it didn't happen. And it wasn't teased or anything else like that. So because it wasn't that, people like, oh, boo. And people thought, I saw some people comparing it to Rey Mysterio at the 2015 Rumble. I'm like, no, come on, man. You know who we're going to blame? And it may, it may seem silly, but to say Triple H, but we've got to blame Triple H because he cut that promo at the start of the show where he's, it felt like he was calling out someone who wasn't in Dorit to come and be in the Rumble. Like, if yeah. you're, I forget what the actual quote he said was that that awkward promo with Kayla Braxton right at the start of the show. It was a bit weird. Like, where, did you see this? It it's clearly, a pre show. Right, no, no, no right, right before. Was it at the start of the main show? At the start of the main show. Just oh, I was, we had like a few, like maybe like 30 seconds or whatever of it not being on. So like, ah. It just felt like they just gone, we've run a bit short on the kickoff show. We need to fill a minute. Paul? Oh, uh, because we had the BT Sports one rather than networks. So that's yeah. why we would he was see there it. So, oh, so he said some stuff. He was like in Gorilla, but, uh, you, but he was on a live mic. You could hear the crowd reacting to him. Oh, okay. So <clears> it was so bit, what did he say? Uh, it was quite rambly. Quote, but it, it felt like he was calling out someone who wasn't in Dory to come and... But if you want to have a rumble, come and have a rumble or something like that. Yeah. Um, and uh, just, looking too turns out he was addressing us, the universe. Yeah. He also at one point went, and I've only got three words. I've got one question. You know, he goes, well, one question for you, WWE Universe. Are you ready? No, say it with me, Kayla, or whoever it was, Kelly Clan said. And he went, <laughs> Oh, and she went, Are you ready? Just like <laughs> 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 it was really Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, again, it's just I think that's just it's just words. Just say something to fill her. So mm. people thought that and thought, oh well, Okada's coming. Well, it's rumble season, it's fever. I know, pitch. but like some people lose their minds over these things. Yeah, but that's what was missing from this, yes, was a like, you know, return from the past that we get yeah. most years, not all the years, but most years. They're a dying seen, breed, aren't they? I would say that. in recent years, Yeah, actually. they have been. Yeah. See, I would say that, but we've just had CM Punk and Randy Orton at Survivor Series. And, and, our, and our truth. That was and November? Like, I'm like, yeah, I'd be like, oh, that was that was two months ago, you're on about. I'm like, what the, f- uh, I was happy. Whoa, and it was I nearly, I nearly, it was close. <laughs> but like, the cut. I would say that would matter at other rumbles where there wasn't like, oh, it could be this crazy person that they could win. No, this was all about the potential people that could win. And there were loads this time of the men's rumble. It was more about like the lack of surprise. But I don't think there was enough story going on between those main candidates to win. You don't think? I think think Gunther, Punk, Drew, Now they all just punched each other in the corner. Like there was no showcase little moment. Well, there, there were, there were. Cody and Punk like, there was, but the, yes. rest of them, the rest of them there wasn't. I think this rumble had a really, really high bar, the men's one specifically. 
because it, because it's been built up to really really well. And I just think it didn't quite live up to it. Again, I'm being at the box park, yeah. loud Cody chants, loud punk chants, me going, Gunther. You know, it was it <laughs> was think, a, a thing. I think because in the lulls in the action, of which it felt like there was quite a lot when we were all sat in there, but in the lulls in the action where you were, everyone's congering around and... I know, like, that's yeah. it. It's I, I, I feel bad for people that had to watch this. You've like, got your WrestleMania 32. Me uh-huh. and Jack always go, WrestleMania 32 was that's bat-sai. That's really it. good. Unbelievable event. But we were there in the stadium drinking Sprite. <laughs> <laughs> and it had all the like, it was like going to like a greatest hit show. It had like Austin yeah, Rock. Yeah, yeah. Like, it was ridiculous. Yeah. And then main event wasn't very good, obviously, but people were walking out mid main event. Absolutely. Like Triple H and Roman are beating each other up slowly. And people are walking out going, ah, oh, this is bull crap. <laughs> I'm thinking, hang on, you've, how much have you paid? There might be something. There wasn't. There wasn't. No, there wasn't. But I, uh, so I thought that the ending stretch was fantastic. Final four being Punk, Cody, Drew, and Gunther. The two baby faces eliminate the bigger men who have an extended final stretch between themselves. Punk says he isn't going to lose to Dusty's kid, but does just that as Cody throws him out to win a second consecutive Royal Rumble. And then Cody points to the sign and reigns and raises the belt, all that stuff. I'll tell you, the last bit between Punk and Cody, at the time, obviously, I don't know what I knew about saying a few seconds I thought that bit was doing me nothing because I was really tired I'm like can you end now and it, they kept on looking at the sign like to the point of ridiculous like it's the hey guys the sign once okay maybe twice alright it was like five times they did that but and I'm Cody like can you end yeah. and people I saw people it's their destinies <laughs> so great CM Punk returned to main event Wrestlemania Matthew the sign's there and yet Cody is, I can, he's also uh, here yeah I saw something <laughs> uh, before we renew the, the news uh, people say like, oh, Punk looks really tired during the last bit. I was like, well, first of all, he's older than he's ever been, as we all are. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's how time works. But it, he's selling. Like, he's supposed to be fatigued. Sorry he's not Cardio King. Sorry he's not Logan Paul. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but I saw someone I saw someone say, I'm so great that he said this. I was like, I'm checking the live updates in the news to see the status of Punk like after Kimbo Slice versus Dada 5000. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hang on, mate. The, wor- he's not, he's the worst MMA fight of all time. you sell fatigue, <laughs> you freak of nature. <laughs> I thought uh, a lot of people did say he looked quite tired. But yeah, th- I think the injury changes There's a that. big reason for yeah, it. And then yeah. we find out that he's bloody injured. And he couldn't. taking the double arm DD. Not double arm DD. No, the future shock. Yeah, 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 future yeah, shock, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But you couldn't tell his arm was hanging off, could yeah. you? I thought he did remark knowing the news, I thought he did remarkably well. But yeah, exactly. when he first got in the ring and he was throwing hands on everybody, I thought he looked all right. Because yeah. a lot of people were going, as soon as he got in, 30 seconds later, he was breathing out his arse. And I was just like, well, he's just running around the ring a bit, so he's going to be a little bit breathy. <laughs> I know it's. I love this. It's, yeah. it's like he set a hard, a hard standard for himself because Punk was like a cardio guy, wasn't he? Like hour long yeah. matches with Joe and that sort of stuff yeah. when he was when he was twenty. <laughs> like, right. Yeah. And it's his first match back in a long time. Yeah. As well. Oh, sorry, first televised. No, you had that little thing with Dom. But that's okay. But one match to get ready for the Rumble. That seems harsh. Yeah. I, mean, I don't know couple, why he didn't have yeah. more. Aye. Uh, anyway, he took a very again not not wrestler. Don't pretend to be. But he took what appears to be a safe bump and ended up. Mm-hmm. He's old, isn't he? I think that's a lot of people. Old, yeah. A lot of people commenting are really young, aren't they? Like we're all in our thirties. We've all got all this to come. We're walking down the stairs one day and our leg will snap in half. <laughs> it happens when you get a bit <laughs> older. Not to me because I'm doing the DDP yoga. <laughs> I, saw, I see that guy's giant smiling <laughs> thing on my. Was, right, was it Bix and Sparn? Who said that no, mad DDP. thing about Punk on Twitter? I don't. Want to, I don't want to say it was definitely Bix and Sparn because I'm wrong and he comes from. Nah, me. blame me. He doesn't listen to this podcast. How do but, you know? Because he told you. Yes, I don't listen to your podcast, Matthew. Yes. Um, as he laughed maniacally. But like, what, what someone did he say about said, Punk? Someone said, ironically, if Punk wasn't so clean living and did steroids, he'd probably not get injured. So uh, I oh did see it. Yes, God it was because it's funny. So like, because I thought it that would be hilarious if like the first drug he takes is steroids. <laughs> this is the accusations of Bixen Span, not us. Well, I don't know if it was Bixen Span. Nah, I'm blaming him. Okay. <laughs> We're good friends. But I thought okay. it's, it's a joke, Bix. It's just a joke. It's a joke in case it's What did you do in 2003, Matthew? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> hmm? It's about to get revealed. <laughs> oh, on yeah, Twitter. you're right. <laughs> He's like, Matthew um... and these library book finds. <laughs> oh, God, no. If, if Bix and Span and um, Ariel Helwani teamed up, oh, my God. They'd solve every crime in the history of humankind. Hello, it's Carl Jobst. <laughs> Today, we are. Oh, sorry. Oh, the this. YouTuber I, man. Yeah, sorry, mate. No, the, I like him, but the way he says hello does my head in. Hello, you absolute origin. It's good that. I didn't like him. I, I don't know. He's very good. He's very good. Because you're racist. 
He's Australian. He's Australian. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Punk was good at the end Aye. of the Rumble, though. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Oh, thank you. Hello, it's the wrestling. That when yeah. he hit the pedigree and looked at the curry table and says, I don't. What was he saying? I've, I've written it down. I don't there. know why he did I, the pedigree. I, can you believe I'm doing that poo, he says to the commentary table? Because he, cause he oh. gets the Pepsi plunge. Because yeah. that's the better one. I don't. I don't ugh, why are they doing that? The low angle Pepsi Punk's plunge. Always been oh, Cody does it as well. And this is why he lost at WrestleMania. <laughs> No, I like. I liked it, man. I liked the, the line. Like I didn't wait ten years to lose to Dusty's oh, kid. Oh, lots of talking and walking around. God forbid, oh, oh, wrestling has a bit of story, <laughs> man. Oh, oh, hi, I'm CM Punk, and he just reads his Wikipedia page. Jesus. No, I agree with Ross. Born in 1993, <laughs> no, CM no, no. Punk grew up on a farm with some sheep. No, he... Irish sheep. Wait, I can't work out if you like Punk in this match or not. No, I do. It's just this style of wrestling is very overdone. No, it's because it was four. It's because it was four. It was at four a.m. Like he throws someone out, and he's just like. Cody, remember when we first met no, in 20... That's uh, not what it was like. It wasn't... It was like two it, sentences. Mate. You're acting like it was before. Mate, are we all doing this? One, two, Hill three, high. four, five, oh, six, oh, seven. Look, eight, the eight, eight, nine, ten, point. eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Sixteen words. Yeah, it was Two very, sentences. And it was a crucial part of the match. <laughs> um, too, too much, much for Matthew. Too though. many sentences. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> but I like... Yeah, there was the Jimmy and Jay bit at the start sort of put my mind... No, put my outlook, whatever, shut me up so it did, because I was like, oh, they're going to lose all the heat, prolonging it that long until WrestleMania. Mm. But then when they got in the ring, there was loud crowd noises from a crowd that wasn't too loud when you're I, watching on the TV. I think people were saying, oh, the crowd wasn't, it's an open air stadium. It's got That's a roof. how on. it worked. What? It's got a roof. It's was the roof on? It's where the Thunderdome was. Yeah. I thought the yeah. roof wasn't on. No, it had like a... Oh, bollocks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, fair enough. <laughs> I mean, it's a massive one like the Tokyo Dome. Like, yeah, it's, it's a huge a wide dome, one. But it's yeah. a I thought the dome... Wait, is the dome closed? Indoors? Is it? Yeah. It's just, it's not, just, it's oh, just, oh no, yeah, I'm thinking of, oh, it wouldn't be a dub. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, I'm thinking of something. It's just <laughs> massive and huge, so the baseball Yeah, sorry, don't no, I'm thinking of the Kawasaki ceiling. Stadium because we've been watching FMW because I'm Kawasaki stupid. Kawasaki Stadium? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so where FMW would do their stuff. Ignore me, I'm talking rubbish. But yeah, and I like Jimmy staying in the Rumble and be like, hey, buddy, it's getting swacked like 20 times. Yeah. Um, Fantastic. He's such a good old donkey. I know it should, I know it should be, but I don't know if Jay and Jimmy are going to fight at WrestleMania. I think Jay's going to be the IC title match. That's what I was going to say as well. Because who did he. No, who did he get eliminated by? Was it Gunter? I think so. I, I hope so now. <laughs> That's remember. also good. <laughs> I'm happy with both of those. And also but... his whole thing's been like, I want to win a singles title in 2024. And he's loosely involved with the New Day and Imperium currently, isn't he? He brought loosely. ice for Yeah, he's like New a Day. friend of, because if it goes to the three on three, yeah. That was the one thing, bloody poor Kobe Kingston, he came out, but everyone lost their mind going, <gasps> is it? But, oh, it's, it's, it's um, that guy. Oh, is it Big E? Yeah. All oh, right. People were like, oh, oh, happy to see you. You're not winning and you're not going to do your cool Rumble stuff because you've messed it up twice in a row. Oh. Happy, we'll, we'll love you, but it's just like, oh, oh, yeah. I remember the one where the he... The grim um, reality of getting old. I remember the one where he couldn't quite cling onto the barricade, but the one that I'd forgotten about was the... When on he the chair. dove head first. And the, I was like, whoa. It looked horrible. It mm. did. In a, in a cool way. Still love him, but it's just like, oh, yeah. 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 Anyway... So that was the Rumble. Aye. Rumble of two halves. AEW Collision. Oh, wow. What well, a come down. You're such a bitch. John yeah. Moxley and Claudio <laughs> win a tag <laughs> match against Shane Taylor and Lee Moriarty. This seems like an AEW Collision that, I, if I had a guess, just looking at the card, that you would quite enjoy, Matthew, actually. Oh, there was some good stuff on here. Don't get me wrong. Ah. Um, this was a good match. It was, I. Taylor and Lee got lots of offense in, so it's strange to see the BCC fighting from underneath, so to speak. Mm. I don't know why I've written it like that, but there we go. Uh, they made a massive comeback, and the promotions lad didn't get too much in from that point. It was a match of two halves. Yeah, but at least hey. they didn't beat Taylor Swift, Lee. <sighs> Jesus Christ. NFL's all the work, isn't it? Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Fake, told, yeah. all predetermined. Yep. You'll be lifting that cup, and then they'll go and buy a, a what? Oh, I've forgotten the term. A franchise that isn't assigned oh, to someone, they'll course, go yeah. and buy one and call it the Swifties. I did see someone say on Twitter, <laughs> I, sorry, I can't remember your name, but they said, by the way, if people don't watch NFL, just wrestling fans, the current Super Bowl lineup is like if they did Batista versus Orton at WrestleMania 30, and there's no Danielson. <laughs> it's like, oh, that sounds great. Is Taylor Swift not the Danielson? Apparently, uh, yes. Yeah, she's going to run in the field and score the winning <laughs> touchdown. Whatever. If you know in that Super Bowl, if there's any potential dodgy decision made in favor of Taylor Swift's boyfriend's team, Everyone's going to go, it's rigged. They'll, they'll want Taylor Swift to win. That's the story. It'll be great if that's it. That's the news story. <sighs> and that's the wrestling news stories. Anyway, I don't know uh, why you show off Lee's cool map work and counters if Mock's just going to kick out and then Claudio beats a life out of them. Because it's just, again, thing of AW Collision is, hey, here's these dudes versus these other dudes. You're like, oh, they're going to look good and it's just going to be a match then, isn't it? After Lee Moriarty had that match last week and now he's uh, 
against Copeland, and now it's just like, okay, now you're going to lose this week. There is yeah. a lot of like, matches okay. in AEW. Yeah, so you're like, well, what was the point? Apart from, if he was just one in a match, then it was fine. He got to rub shoulders with Adam Copeland in the Cope Open. That's oh, yes. what it's all yes, about. that was it. Putting smile on the wrestlers' faces. <laughs> In the backstage interview, Roddy Strong and the Kingdom offered to help Commander win the international title tonight so he can hold it until Roddy wins it a revolution. Ah, thank you for clarifying. Because OC says he's going to defend it against Roddy, but he's also going to defend it against other people until then. So we went, yeah. well, what the hell? And Roddy said, no, no, I'm going to win. I'm going to have the title shot no matter who's got the title. So, oh, okay. Commander agrees, but he doesn't seem to understand. Did he agree? Yeah, well, he saw that. Roddy kind of Roddy kind of made him agree. Were they the Peyton Commander as the inferior wrestler at Orange Cassidy here? Because that felt weird to me. Because he's not that much worse. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> he's still good, good isn't he, oh, Commander? You, oh, you bitch! <laughs> um, uh, I, I didn't like this segment at all because Roddy's whole point in this feud with Cassidy was, "I'm going to challenge you at Revolution, but I'm going to make you wait until then because I want you to know for those next six weeks that that title's the time is ticking. I'm going to yeah. take your belt." Now he's like. Let's have him lose the belt this week. Uh, they're working around the booking, which is, you know, you're yeah, right. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. It's like what well, you said doesn't match, but it's not his fault. It's been booked like this. It's not Roddy's fault. I, I think Roddy's right. excellent. Yeah. OC beats Commander. After really, truly excellent. I <laughs> just sounded really serious when I said <laughs> Sorry. Roddy Strong goes to hand the belt to Cassidy, but drops it on the canvas instead. Oh, what a dick. So they, yeah. So they went, Commander, do it. Bloody dive on him. And he dived, and Orange Cassidy moved, and he hit. The kingdom instead, but was he always intending to hit the? I kingdom? thought he was doing it deliberately to dive to the UK. I thought that's, that's what I took it. Oh, the industry the kingdom. Because if he was trying to hit OC, it's like that wasn't going to work. Was yeah, it? it was contrived. It was very contrived. I thought they were like, "Come on, Commander," and he went, "No, I won't take your help. I'm a real luchador." So then he dove to the UK, and then Orange Cassidy pins him. And I put like a brave person. Yeah, <laughs> I said I don't know what the point of any of this was. And then they like just to avoid any doubt, they then like raised each other's hands after. Ah, oh, respect this blow. I put, who cares about Commander? He's got no character, no promo, no push, and now he's got no brain. <laughs> oh, God. You're such a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> this is a lack of story or reason to care about so much in AE Dub. The, the, match, the match quality, little issues apart from the finish of this, which was dumb. Oh, but like, no. it's just like the. I've just realized that on Dynamite, like four new CMLL lads came in. <laughs> <laughs> and they didn't talk about any of their characters. What do you mean? This is the stars of CMLL. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. The stars of. Mm. That's how you got introduced them. The stars of. Uh, backstage. It's so Shane McMahon <laughs> pointing at the boys. Yeah, <laughs> yeah them. Yeah. Backstage, we learn that Daniel Garcia has been beaten up. Daddy Magic calls for help. Help? Yeah. Oh, sorry, sound fine. Bloodied. <laughs> he looks deed. RVD, like how RVD looked. <laughs> the backstage at TNA. We get a Tony Storm vignette shot after Dynamite. Tony rants about Diona Perosa. Diona Perazzo. That's her. There's a lot of her in this. Tony rants about DP, we... but Mariah May interrupts and asks if she wants to watch her match on Collision. Tony agrees until she learns it's in Bozier City. I think so. Then she backs out. Because she needs to have a racehorse put down. Oh, she had a couple of racehorses put down. That's right. Yeah. Good story. Good quote there as well. Knuckle deep and there's no pulling out now. Tony on the feud with Diana. Gross. Yeah. It's just every British comedy from the 60s, isn't it? <laughs> it's Bloody fantastic, yeah. isn't it? Carry on, Tony. Mariah May beats Lady You can Boss. say that's what AEW is. In a singles match. How <laughs> so? Carry on, Tony Khan. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> hey, daughter Mariah May. Good. I thought they slapped each other really hard in this match. There was a spot where they were doing trade in Germans, which was very good indeed. Uh, the finish felt a bit flat. But I think Lady Frost, she impresses most of the time she's in AEW, but it's like once every however often, so you can't really get yeah. invested. Is she from the, lo the local area? Because She's from Iceland. That's why she's called Lady Frost. Is, That's right. is that true? That's how she gets into, yeah. introduced here. Well, it's just, I thought <laughs> she's by the Greg's Isle. I thought she might have been local because the crowd really liked her. Mm. Even oh, though yeah. it was clearly she was there to lose to Mariah May. I think Mariah May is very good, though, because I haven't seen any of her stardom stuff. So this is just her on AEW. She, she, she lays it in, brothers, mm. I think. I'd recommend seeing her on Hey E-Dub. Mm. Or Hey You. He won't do that. Say that. No, no, I watched, yeah. a bit, I watched a clip of her on Hey E-W, and, it, and I enjoyed how withering she was towards my yes. boy, RJ Sidney. <laughs> um, in stardom, it was a bit different, because she was, like, chucking these little Japanese women <laughs> <laughs> But here, she's, it's more, everyone's like the same height as her. Ah, so not only does she look like Charlotte Flair, she wrestles like her as well. Oh. She's a bit faster. That was supposed to get an ooh she's reaction. Bit, I'm not doing good here today. more indie than Charlotte Flair, oh, but more okay. faster. Fair enough, fair enough. She does have a Brit rest background, let's not forget. Oh, well, let's not hold that against her. I forgot <laughs> what you meant about chucking around the Japanese ladies like Charlotte does with Kairi oh, et al. Thank you. There you go. Sorry. It got the ooh reaction. Like, oh, that wasn't the one I was looking for. <laughs> I was thinking about, ah, good one. Very good. 
Swerve chooses Hangman Page's opponent for next week. For Toa Leona. You idiot. <laughs> no, I think the, the pick of Toa Leona is fine. Because Turlion is a big imposing boy. Hasn't been pinned in AW. Exactly. But it was the, the lack of stipulation that really let Swerve down. It made it like a bit of a tit. <laughs> yeah, it did when he said, all right, cool. Um, I'm going to keep your guy a secret. But <laughs> <laughs> I'll just have to say, you'll have to wait the whole effing show to find out. Oh, all right, then. Yes. What did they say about cowards, Matthew? Sh- you should have cut the strip and going, damn it, who is that? It could be anybody. <laughs> Eddie Kingston wins a singles match against Willie Mack. I said he leaves. Brian Daniels. Okay, you know what? Let's go to the match first because there's two bits here. Willie oh. Mack wrestled Eddie Kingston, land on his own head, doing a back sent on, mm. and then Eddie beat him. It was a bit more than that. There was a lovely brain buster straight away from Willie. He runs forwards while Eddie's in the air for extra bit of stank. Mm-hmm. Uh, Nigel lost his bananas at Brian being on the disciplinary, disciplinary committee oh, yeah. <laughs> and having no issue with Brian spitting on Eddie. Ooh, Brian, can I spit on Eddie Kingston? Yes, Brian, you can. <laughs> yeah. Again, Nigel, just staggeringly good on collusion. And then it just decided to a nice ding-dong battle where there was a lovely meaty huracan for the win. Mm. Where Eddie went, ah! Before to give it some extra stank, I assume. Yep. And um, then I'm just, oh, just Willie Max one of those people where, where whenever you watch him, you're like, oh, he's really good. I just can't believe he's never been pushed that much wherever he's been. Yep. Maybe Lucha Underground a bit, remember? Yeah, oh yeah. Love it. He was lovely on there. Apart and from PWG. that, he's never but, really yeah. yeah. You only see his promos getting shared, don't you? Like when he cuts yeah. a ring of on a promo and he says something weird. Mm. <laughs> oh, shout out to Johnny T V this week. Did you see his uh, exit scene from the scene he exited? <laughs> yes. Where he's like, I've got a split, and he goes on the floor in a split position. He's got a rope tied to his back leg, and someone just pulls him off screen. I did see <laughs> the game of that. What was that on? Ring of Honor, it must have been. Oh, right. Oh. I think Dalton walks in the shop right at the end, doesn't he? Maybe. Ah. That... It could have been on one of their vlogs or something, though. Oh, yeah. the Ring of Honor vlog. I don't know. They've all got vlogs. What are you they? smiling then... for, you evil man? I'll tell you something. <laughs> but then, that was just a match. It was like, okay, yeah, but it might look good. Okay, fine, whatever. Then, as Eddie leaves. A bit longer than usual, maybe just you know, grandstanding showing up the lovely titles he's got. Brian Danielson makes his entrance, does not wait for Eddie to leave, uh, or to finish leaving before he enters, he completely ignores him on the way down. Eddie decides, sod that, I'm gonna join the, uh, join the announce team for Brian's match against the gutter. And I thought it was fantastic. You love these two petty bitches, oh, don't these, you? They're just being fun. See, this is the story, this is what I mean. This is his story, his heat, he's a reason to watch collision, yeah. And then he decided to put Eugene Gutter the hell over. Nigel reminded us about Nagata fighting Crow Cop, whereas the closest Brian's clo- closest Brian's got to an MMA might <laughs> fight is braiding his hair. I couldn't even say it. Sorry, <laughs> that's good. Uh, Eddie loved that. Eddie bigs up Wolverhampton and the Wolves as Nagata kicks Brian. Do you uh, think he's a Wolves fan? I don't know why. I think he's like oh, he's been to Fight, fight Club Pro. Pro and stuff. So uh, Brian hurt his right arm earlier, according to Nigel. So when Nagata goes to put a hammerlock on his left arm, Nigel goes, "It's the other arm! It's the other arm!" <laughs> Fan F fantastic. Brian beats Nagata and shows some respect afterwards. Uh, and commentary, Eddie says he's being fake. He oh, is. Reason to watch his show. Yeah. I'm Team Eddie. Yeah, likewise. Yeah. I'll tell you what, though, when he was walking down that ramp, I had no confidence in this match being good. But then the bell rang. <laughs> I was oh, going to say, just look at it, you yeah. got it. Oh, you know, that was work. I can understand completely. And then yeah, the yeah. bell rang. And as I've written down here, thanks to you, Matthew, Corporal Cumface was unbelievable. Because yep. this, it was like a Butlins type of match. There was lots of holes and there was lots of posture yep. and whatnot. But it was the loudest the crowd were just about all night long, yep. um, which is a message for the kids in AEW. To stop doing your flips and to work on your character stuff. Or yeah. yeah, do the cum face. Like get the old, old people like to say, yeah. And just hit each other really hard. Just hit each other really hard. I have Eddie Kingston commentary for every match. Yeah. I uh, just yeah, didn't have it. Ross becoming a Eugene Gatta fan on my bingo card. <laughs> Corporal cum face. Corporal cum face. What, is he known as that in a wider circle? Or is that just you and your cool friends? <laughs> <laughs> the thing he did, he's been doing that for a while, though. Oh, no, he's got the, the arm. Like, and then he's doing that. He's, he's been doing that for a while. He, he leans into it. He's, he sold shirts with that on. So it, Is that the face? that? Because he used to do a gimmick where, this is brilliant, this, he had a T-shirt with his oh, face yes. on the inside of it, it so yes. he'd lift it up over his head, and it would be his face <laughs> on the shirt. Uh, he also wears blue. That's his gimmick as well. Yes. Always wore blue. Yeah. Vic, could, even when Crow Cop was kicking his head in. Mm. Vic Joseph's going mad at this news. That Miss Corporal Cumface wears blue. Why? See, he, did you hear the lad on commentary this week on NXT when he was like, Ooh, I do fancy myself in blue. Uh, Just, that was it. That's that's all he said on commentary. He's been hanging out with he's, Regal. He's tapping out a bit. So. <laughs> Vic? Vic, I, yeah, I think he's just... There's only water. so many times you can try and make a good point and just be met with, Oh, yeah. man! <laughs> just like, look, it's, it's Wednesday morning. It's when I watch it. So, uh, 
FDR give an update on Garcia's condition. He's effed. Uh, they're not sure if he'll be able to compete in the cage match, so Mark Briscoe tells them he's available if needed. I think that'll be all right, yeah. Yeah. yeah good substitute. I would have preferred Dax's daughter offering her services. Yeah. yeah. Aye, she'd have been hard and harder in that match. What I, am I trying to say? I would have Jesus enjoyed it Christ. if they'd not mentioned the Mark Briscoe thing. It reminded me of when, and he would just have been a nice surprise. Well, they did get rid of him straight away, didn't they? Um, yeah, I was going to say, yeah. It reminded me of when... <laughs> that, that would be funny. Yay, my bro... Oh, he's dead. Yeah. <laughs> it reminded me of a... The, I think it was a SmackDown where backstage it was like, oh, it's me, Jeff Jarrett, here I am. And they wasted the surprise back, in a backstage segment. I remember thinking, why have they done that? Anyway, it wasn't as bad as that, though. Because then the crowd were going to go, Jeff Jarrett. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm kidding, I love him. Don't yeah. non-stop assholes. Uh, Brian Cage doesn't understand the hype around Hook. Hook shows up and gives him an FTW title shot. This is the most enjoyable Brian Cage has ever been for me. <laughs> Hook, he's the size of my left leg, and that's my smaller leg. Oh, Classic. Mm. You know he's measured them as well, to yeah. the millimeter. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, in a comeback match, Serena Deeb beats Robin Renegade via submission. She cuts a promo afterwards and says she's back to elevate the women's division as well as winning the title. Yeah. I think Serene Deeb looked good, making a return from being married to a nonce. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Diddler. Where's the lie? Uh, she but... also had really serious health issues, and I'm glad that she... Yeah, I, I'd probably be sick <laughs> as well. No, no. I was <laughs> but on a more serious note, she did... Because I didn't know what it was they were referencing when they said the health issues, because I thought that was just a cover-up story for being married... To yeah. the nonce. Oh, was it not real health <laughs> No, it issues? was real. She went on Instagram back in November. Oh, both she, things. Yeah, she, right. she flew to Turkey to have a <laughs> nonce removal. No, she had uh, unprovoked seizures and declared she was uh, clear to wrestle back in November. So that was what they were referencing right. there. Uh, but I like the detox as a wrestler move. That's what it calls. It's a nice variation on the Styles Clash uh. before the Serenity Hold. Um, I thought the pressure was on for a promo after the match because she was good in the match, but we know that she's a good wrestler. Uh, just going back to that segment she had with Thunder Rosa, which felt flat in mm -hmm. the midst of their title God, feud. I, yeah, that was Do you remember that? Um, yeah. Vaguely. Yeah, yeah, it didn't work. It was uh, on the stage, wasn't it? Yeah. And the live crowd were like, oh. yeah. Yeah, it was mm. awful. Oh, what? She pretended to have one. Was like, what? No, she didn't. No, she got a promo saying. segment that fell flat. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, she's a good promo, she right? She didn't okay. do a Shawn Michaels. <laughs> yeah, genuine, genuine, because wrestling's wrestling, isn't it? So I'm like, no, oh, this was years ago when oh. she was feeding with Thunder Rosa and they had like a really awkward promo argument on the stage. Yeah. Thunder Rosa got quite emotional, was it that one? Where she's like, I no, so, yeah. I will defend this title and started crying a bit and everyone went, all right, Thunder Rosa. It's just Serena Deep. <laughs> But I thought, you're probably not going to lose the belt. <laughs> I thought a pro here was a lot better as I was going to get out because yeah. there was a lot of passion in what she was saying yeah. just back to elevate the women's division. Um, but it was weird that the, obviously the arena was as empty as it was because she kept like the hard cams over there where there's no fans. All the fans are behind her. So she kept going like, hello, I'm on her. But she had yeah. to be, address the hard cam, brother. Yeah. Wrestlers. Aye. Speaking of wrestlers, there's some in the main event. Mark Briscoe accompanies FTR for the cage match, but the House of Black immediately attack him during his entrance and throw him off the stage. Good strategy. That's what the issue was with this match, by the way. In Dax's promo last week, he said elimination cage match, which everyone took. Well, it was like, technically correct because everyone took it as like pinfall elimination, whatever. Yeah, I guess it yeah. did. You are eliminated from the match. The word elimination mm. doesn't make sense. It sounds yeah. like a bad thing, like pissing on someone who's allergic to piss. <laughs> When why really? would you do that? Yeah, That's why a silly thing. Right? <laughs> ridiculous thing to bring up. But I think Dax was obviously in the heat of a moment of a promo and maybe just said the wrong word and they kept it in there. I mean, you are not in the match anymore. I mean, well, we're semantics on a pole here. But Garcia arrives in time and ends up the last man in the cage with Malachi Black, who doesn't do jobs. He almost escapes, <laughs> but Julia Hart missed him. Malachi almost leaves the cage, but Garcia baits him into continuing the attack and turns... <laughs> Come on. <laughs> but turns to die in the match. A boat men try to escape simultaneously, but Mark Briscoe slams the cage door on Black's head, and Garcia escapes the, to win for his team. Yeah, like, a lovely feel-good ending. It was. This was a nice build-up. This is what this. It's so weird though, because I like this match and thought it was good. Good collision main event. Uh, it was hilarious that the main bit of heat in that terms of the storyline, in terms of crowd reactions, is Garcia. It's supposed to be between FDR and House of Black, but <laughs> Garcia's getting all the things by doing that. Um, yeah, I thought uh, there's maybe funny heat. They dump him off there. So, yeah, so FTR have to fight from underneath, which gets good. Garcia returns with his head bandage, and then Gun FTR dives off the cage. That's his name. I've never seen a more <laughs> dimly lit cage match in all my life. The right hand, the right side of the hard, hard cam, you could just see nothing. It was oh. just the abyss. 
Uh, and it he wasn't was done the... because it was a whole of, uh, house of Blackburn <laughs> as well. <laughs> they worked hard, but also felt rather perfunctionary as I wonder who will be the number two. The, the number one tag team of 2024 as FDR cannot do emotion at all, even in these blood feuds. What do you want about Dax it? Harwood can't do emotion. Come on now. Not only when he's driving. What do you... That was cash. That was cash. Oh, what do you mean they can't do emotion? <laughs> They're the same if they turn around. <laughs> they, they, they do it. They're emotional boys. Not when it. they hold their hands in the midst of a submission, you feel nothing there, do you, Matthew? Yeah. It was good. The action was good, but they're never getting above that. Ooh, what? Like, What's this take? It was good. Well, we were. I think it's way the best thing about the feud so far. But FTR can't do emotion. No. What? Not in this feud, they haven't. What's going on? Oh no! In the this crux feud. of the heat came from Briscoe getting dumped and doing the ah thing from Fresh Prince of Bel Air <laughs> off the apron <laughs> and Garcia. The huh. half done it's a crack. He's dirty dancing. And the crowd like, yeah. And then Malachi Black, I mean, that's been eliminated. And it cut to this is good like camera when, work. Malachi Black going, oh, yeah, I love you, mate. This is like when Haaland only scores one goal. <laughs> and everyone's going, oh, he's only scored the one. What's, I, I feel like it's in the, in the midst. I say it's a good match. What do you want? In the midst of a crap story, I agree that FTR haven't really done because it's a crap story. Like, oh, you want to join our house? Ooh, we're going to make you join our house. Uh, but oh, screw your family. To use that as a blanket <laughs> statement about family. FTR is a hard disagreement. No, this year, that I, I feel that FTR, February, FTR, February, FTR get the praise just because of their FTR. I do not believe in that. I'm wrestling on your laurels. Oh. It's a very hard thing. You're only as good as your last feud. Exactly. Wow. Very they're true. that good in the moment. Why were the crowd How good reacting was... when Garcia did his dancing? Right. He's, Not my fault, don't listen to me. A, a, listen to the 2,000 people at that giant arena. cute little boy. <laughs> Such a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say them when they're good. Like this, this wasn't a bad match. Do not listen to these naysayers who were talking about piss constantly for some reason. They're obsessed. <laughs> obsessed with it. This was a good match. I thought but again, the, the highlights were Garcia and Briscoe. The start was great, because that's what we were calling out for a couple of weeks ago, saying that like the... The heat at the start of matches wasn't there considering the feud, mm. but the fact they went on the ramp straight that. away. Uh, as you say, Gun FTR, whatever you called him. What do you call him? Call him Gun, Gun FTR. FTR. Gun FTR. Yeah. I, thought, I thought, what the hell are you doing doing a Jeff Hardy in the midst of a, like an escape the cage match? But the commentators to clarify that the match hadn't started yet. So I was like, fair enough. Fair enough there, pal. Yeah. There was the lots of stuff. Says, it's a cage match. Someone has to jump off it now. It's the yeah. law. Yeah. Cash also went also oh god. Cash also did the Shawn Michaels bump through the announce table on the side, which I thought was nice. It did. It was nice. Mm. There was a lovely Neetiora from Buddy on to Dan, who then fell on the Neetiora. Neetiora. I call it Neetiora. Neetiora's oh, lovely. Your knees. I like that. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know, like that. I know it's not bad idea. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, he did it to Buddy on to Dan, who then fell on to Cash and Malachi to break up a thing. It was good. Mm -hmm. um, and I just I like the ending with Mark coming down after being written off at the start. Yeah. It was nice. Mm. I like the little when Garcia's pulling him up with the chair and Malachi Black just goes bip and just kicks the chair away. That was proper good. If I had yeah. a move of the week, that would be mine. Yeah, so Malachi Black was able to do it. I can't have write it down. Oh. oh! We'll work it out on the fly, don't worry. I don't yeah. need a script. I can call it in the, I'll call it on the table, brothers. <laughs> we'll do it live. So yeah, good. Um, I think this was nice for Garcia and uh, the Briscoes and I um, can't wait for something else to happen. Julia needs a new mist dealer. Because <laughs> she oh, no. spaffed it right in the face of Dan, but it did nothing. Yeah. But as your research has <laughs> <laughs> led us to this point, some people are more naturally immune to the mist. Than Daniel others. Garcia, though, <clears throat> from you know, the no. streets of Brooklyn. Is it from Brazil? Buffalo? 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 I'm guessing Buffalo. Somewhere in, I feel in like America. The greater New York. They don't region. know where we are. <laughs> <laughs> from beautiful Buffalo, Washington. Where is that? Have you ever heard Washington. of that? I don't know. Well, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Ron Seal. Hey. Um, yeah, I liked it as well. Thought it was Good. fun. Um, just a shame that it was on the same night as the Royal Rumble. Yeah, I mean, I watched it like the day later, so yeah. I couldn't watch both. No, 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 no. At the same time. I saw a lot of people on Twitter, though. And fair enough, given the Vince allegations and that, sticking it to WWE and right. But I saw a lot of people very proudly tweeting about any other wrestling that they were watching at the time. Yeah, I saw some people going, if you don't, like... Uh, Withdraw from watching Rumble tonight, then you are part of the problem. I'm like, whoa, oh. whoa, whoa. I'm like, Excuse me, I'm a professional oh podcaster. God. Have you not seen my public? Let public's? me swear. <laughs> yeah. that, F reminds, off. that reminds me of Miss Jackson, my old primary whoa. school head teacher. Oh, she hated when we did that. She banned it from being played at the school disco. No, she did. Oh, really? <laughs> she was an awful head teacher, but I didn't realize until years later when I got a bit older. And my parents were like, oh, yeah, the, the parents hated her as well. We thought she was horrible. Oh. She was only there for a little while, maybe like one year or so. And someone's phone in the local area on Felgate Estate, this is before I went to Tory school. Okay. Um, someone's phone had gone missing and they complained to the school because they live near the playground. Yeah. They're like, one of the kids probably had my phone. Called an assembly and said to us, 
if no one hands in this phone, I'll consider all of you thieves. <laughs> I remember being like, even as like a That's year, shocking, even man. as a kid, I remember being like, oh. And then obviously went home, told my mum and dad, and they were like, what? And uh, then the woman found her phone and it had just been missing. <laughs> <laughs> And is it obviously she brought the gun? Well done, well done, thieves. Miss Jackson was a, was a heel head teacher, like yeah. hated children. Why are you head teacher of primary school? Are you for yeah. real? Uh, yeah, exactly. Miss Jackson did mean to make your kids cry. <laughs> Not gonna apologise. No. <sighs> Monday Night Raw. Pat McAfee joins Michael Cole to start the show, and Cole reveals they're the new regular announce team moving forward. Way bollocks. Oh, Ms. no, you didn't like this? Miss no. Jackson was like the people on Twitter saying that we're part of the problem if you watch WWE. Anyway, yeah. that was I thought it was just a good story, but oh. thank you for clarifying. Uh, yeah, I don't know about this part thing. <laughs> this guy. No, <laughs> oh, I'm a fan of part. <clears throat> it's just because I've done that WTF thing I do. I smack down Pat's one of my jingles and I can't use anymore because he's on Raw. Oh, what's the tune? It's got the modifier. Yeah. Pat, huh. what are you good for? Something. What's I'm putting so on what's the SmackDown on jingle? Raw. It's to, it's to Postman Pat there, Jack. It's um, Smackdown it's a, Pat. Yeah, exactly. Pat, the Raw one. Night Raw Pat. The Raw one could Raw be... Well, uh, I don't know. I have to I'll think. think of something. Mm. It's just throwing my life into disarray. That Pat. Ah. Uh, <laughs> commentator with, uh, with Cole. <laughs> <laughs> Monday, Monday. <laughs> Pat. We built uh, this Monday on Pat Sunday, Monday, Cole. McAfee. Tuesday. Yes. I thought that was a good one. Oh, was that? Well, well, we built Jack. this Monday on Pat and Cole. Oh. I learned that's widely regarded as one of the worst songs ever. Right. What's that about? That got like just trashed at the time. I'm like, Are you kidding? It's all right. It's, great. It's, yeah. it's pretty fun. Yeah. People don't know anything about taste. No. As, as Lad baby ruined it though. Mm. Uh, wait, well, glad he retired this year. Yeah. Gone, didn't he? Oh, good. <laughs> Ooh, donate to this because you'll be doing good. Yeah. Or just go straight to the charity and cut your cut out, yeah. you sausage Shut nuts. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> CM Punk arrives with You processed meat a file. Loves meat, that's what it means, probably. Mm. Punk arrives with Armour Sling and says he isn't mad at Cody for winning the Rumble. Well, you would say that, wouldn't you? He says maybe it's time to accept that his dream of main event in WrestleMania will not come true. But he doesn't want anyone to feel sorry for him and talks about a friend of his going through chemo. Compared to that, Punk's injury is minuscule. It's a positive outlook. WrestleMania 40 might not be in the cards for Punk, but as always next year. Drew McIntyre interrupts and says, I am not a religious man, Punk, <laughs> but I prayed to God that you would get injured. And look, it happened. <laughs> Implying that not only is Drew willing to resort to religion to hurt his enemies, but that God hates Punk. Uh... When he heard the news, he had an amazing night's sleep as well. Drew says he's going to find a way in the main event of Mania and live Punk's dream again. <laughs> Punk says his goal is still the main event Mania one day, but Drew is first to checklist where he turns from injury. Drew beats Punk down anyway and stomps his injured arm. <laughs> Sami Zayn makes a save. Oh, my God. Mm. I love you, Drew. It was very, very funny. And it the memes he'd been posting on his ex. Posing on Punk's, like, push grave. Punk... Yeah, yeah, it's no, that was the, it. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Um, Again, us saying it, it's like shocking. You can't make fun of someone who's injuring. You're quite right. Drew doing it though is part of his character. Oh, it was the setup though. Cause he's like, I can fully like you know relate to your troubles because yeah, yeah. obviously Drew's mom went through stuff when he was yeah. out and passed away, didn't yeah. she? And then just to lay that one on when he was quite subdued was fantastic delivery. <laughs> fantastic I, delivery. I pray to God, and I'm not even religious. <laughs> oh. What a line. But Punk's promo before that I thought was very, very good with the real oh, tears yeah. in his eyes. He put over Cody saying it's not what you deserve that you get, it's what you earn. And just, yeah. It was an unbelievable opening segment. Mm. For, a well, for a talking well segment. Well done on Triple H resisting the urge to come out and go, ha, 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 ha. Why would Triple H do that? It's just that nice bit spiteful. Of Punk? Yeah. How dare you do the pedigree? Ah. Uh, <laughs> Wait, 10 years just a laugh in your face? No, he didn't. No, surely. that's just a stupid thing. I, I wonder how back. much. I'm sorry. I wonder how. I'd be very eager to know a split percentage of how much bringing Punk back was Nick Khan's decision and how much was Triple H's decision. Yeah, hundred hmm. percent. Paul, I saw the picture. <laughs> They're best friends. Yeah. Yeah. Now I've got the photo. I don't need you now. <laughs> it's anyway. so funny that Punk hates the Young Bucks so much that he <laughs> oh. made friends with Triple H again. <laughs> right. <laughs> that's mint. You must have to hate someone a real lot to do that. Backstage, the JD are feeling confident. Rhea Ripley says if Bailey chooses her for WrestleMania, it's her funeral. Priest and Bala says there's no room for distractions anymore. People are starting to forget how vicious they really are. Mm. Elsewhere, DIY are optimistic for the tag title shot, which is up next. Big fan of the walking promos, I am. Mm. 
Even though J- D- J- yeah. DIY didn't say much, the fact they were walking and talking, it was really impressive. <laughs> <It's> really impressive. <laughs> Only the grades can really do that. Mm. Samoa Joe, yeah. LA Knight. LA Knight, The yeah. Rock was good at them as well, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 And then Priest and Balor beat DIY to retain their tag titles. And we should point out, probably point out this is a nice long tag match. This first hour of Raw was commercial free, which was already previously set up. It wasn't anything to do with anything currently to go uh. on with sponsors pulling out, out like that. Oh, yeah, good guy. Never yep. thought about that. Thank you. Um, it was one of those matches, again, where the crowd just wasn't with DIY at the start, but the longer yeah. it went on, the more they got with it. What did they need to do to get a, cr- a pop for that entrance? Because the pops only come when they've wrestled for 10 minutes, and they won't go, oh, they're quite good, these lads. I know. I don't know what... Yeah, people seem to remember them every week. You're like, do you not watch Raw? Yeah. yeah. And you find out, like, oh, wrestling fans don't always watch Raw. They listen to podcasts talking about it. <laughs> if, it was a, Hi. If, if it was a territory, they'd be over. If it was the same people every week. Well, uh, NXT. Yeah. They were over in uh, NXT, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Uh, By a simple match structure, the he- heels beat down the faces, the faces beat down the heels, and then... Cole wouldn't name the referee. He's just like, oh, that's the guy that looks like Eddie Munster. <laughs> yeah, that's the second time they've done that. Strange. Do people even know Eddie Munster? Cole needs that's a to... black and white TV reference. I used to watch it on BBC Two during the school really holidays. <laughs> I've never heard of Eddie Munster. Have you the Munsters? I've heard of the Munsters, yeah. yeah. Was he the main one? The little one. No, uh, there's, there's the Frankenstein dad, vampire mum, right? Yeah. Uncle Dracula. It sounds like the Adams family. It, is, it, is. it was like, <laughs> hang on, we have Adams family at home. Right. But it was also very good anyway for its own thing. But okay. yeah, it was a bit of a knockoff. But yeah, and Eddie Munster was the little kid who was a vampire went to school. He does look like the referee, to be fair. He does look like Eddie Munster. The one that I call eyebrows, I don't know his real name. Oh, right. <laughs> oh, the one who looks like a beautiful ancient Egyptian. Yeah. Like sculpture. Just looks really like sphinx. thick caterpillars on his <laughs> Is it forehead. Daniel someone? He looks like an ancient Egyptian sculpture. He's so like... Yeah, symmetrical and I don't know referees, Joe. Let's, very... let's find out the mystery of what this man is. He's the one who's pals with Sasha and Bailey. Yeah, he's, he's like oh. Darius. No, Darius. It's Darius Dinesh. It's Darius Dinesh. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> the Polish ref came up. Like, <laughs> oh, there he is. <laughs> he's really jacked, brother, as well. Yeah. Which I'd be annoyed about if I was a wrestler. Just go on the pictures and we'll pick the. He'll be, be on there. He's been, he's been around for years. Yeah. Everyone at home screaming his name. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's no, not, not that orange not nonsense in the top corner. Uh, <laughs> not Lil Nate, not Hebner. No, I no, can't say no, I'm going blind no, here. no. Which one is it? Oh, man. Darnell. Put, put, Eddie, call him Darnell. put Eddie Munster I think it's in. It's Daniel. If you put Daniel. This is. Nope. Damn it. <laughs> Daniel Cormier. Oh, he did referee, <laughs> didn't he? It's not Daniel Cormier. I forgot all about that. Hmm. Type in eyebrows. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is this Same even worth doing this. anymore? We'll take that. No. Uh, no, not Yoda. He's not. That, he's not even. Is he even a real boy? <laughs> yeah, we've not imagined He's been on the for like 10 years yeah. at this point. Is he, he was NXT we don't ages. know who he is. <laughs> then he was main roster. He's been main roster for ages as well now. It's nothing but Christ fired Jules. wrestlers. And I'm pretty sure he's not a book anymore. He's ref like main events of WrestleMania, I swear. Oh, he's a beautiful man. He is. He looks like the Sphinx. <laughs> Google hates him. He's got massive, beautiful caterpillar eyebrows. Wait, Random people just show. Wait. Herb Dean is showing up now. That's, That's not, not him. him. Oh, I've not got my lenses. <laughs> He's not even real. I'm doing he it for two blind people. <laughs> I'll work on it in the background. So no, I'm doing it, it now. I'll we do need to know, Joe. This is like a, an itch that needs to be I'll scratched. Look, every week, there's a bit that goes on too long and doesn't work. We argue, should we prolong it? Put any money. Danilo and Fibio. Right. Danilo. And Fibio. That's him. There Beautiful. he is. Uh, bouncing. That's of course, the best photos of him. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Danilo <laughs> and Fibio. What a name. What a great <laughs> name. <laughs> He's the real life Aquaman. Right. Mm. Was that <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, Fibio? Yeah. Oh, very good. Very Just to good. show Matthew which one he was. Yeah. Oh, he was a wrestler, was he? Ah, uh, of course. Who's that with it? Oh, you've lost it, Joel. It's gone. The, <laughs> the picture of the red boots on the. Oh, there he is. Bang. Oh, wow. Ah. Oh, you can see why. What a heartthrob. Ding yeah. dong. They are nice Hello. eyebrows, yeah. <laughs> well, that was exciting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyway, we're not saying them. Uh, this really is why they weren't popping for DIY. They were saying all their enthusiasm yeah. for the referee. Look, Bailey said they piss out his eyebrows. Look. Where? Second row. There you go. Tremendous. That's good stuff. Really top notch. I mean, those are real. Uh, yeah, but anyway. uh, the coup de gras at the end from Finn Balor was also worth noting as yes, being it was. proper matey. Yeah. Mm. Yes. I put crowd on it with DIY as much as they should be. I don't know. Maybe if they won some matches, that meant something. Uh, might they help. cheated to beat someone, Dom and uh, JD, that time recently. That's right. <laughs> Why did they Do that cheat? every week? That'll happen. Yeah. So, but anyway, uh, 
After the match, Priest brings out R Truth to thank him for everything he's done for the group. Truth arrives and says that JD is like a family. Priest is like his older brother. Finn's the weird uncle. <laughs> Everyone loves Tom <laughs> and Nick Mysterio. <laughs> <laughs> And JD is the stepbrother they don't want to admit is in the family. Oh, yeah, we've all got yep. one. Yeah. Priest says our truth isn't part of the group, but he likes him, which is why he hates to do this. Was it, did you say that? It's I said why like, I, I can't I, do this. Sorry, I'm yeah. not going to do yeah, this. Yeah. There you go. And then, yeah, and he orders uh, Finn to do it. JD. No, I, thought, I think he ordered someone else to do it, but then JD was just so mad he did it before. Right. That's, okay. why, that's, that's why the title was. Was it a dumb? It would make sense. Yeah, maybe use Dom. Like Dom attack him, but then JD's like, no, no, I want a bit of him. Fair. Uh, yeah, he gets beat down. The Miz tries to make the save, but gets beat down as well because it's the Miz. I yeah. hope we're all ready for an awesome Truth Tag Team title win at WrestleMania. Of course we are. I hope we're ready. No, people are ready for R-Truth to win the title, the <laughs> world title, not the tag ones. I just thought it was great when Truth... Oh, what happened? What? I heard some noise, sorry. I didn't hear anything. What noise did you hear, Matthew? Yeah, it sounded like, there. shh. So I thought you'd open a fizzy thing. Am I hallucinating? Ooh. Please carry on. Okay. <laughs> Shut up, Joel. <laughs> um, so sorry. I've rustled my coat. Ah, that's like that again. Sh- noise. I can't exactly read it. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's just my brain falling. It's all right. Okay. Carry on. When Truth ended the ring, Priest was just said in the, in the weirdest cadence, he was just like, you have my word, I will not attack you. <laughs> <laughs> and he was right. He's Saruman I'm from not. Lord of the Rings. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go, Gandalf, <laughs> you fool. I've not seen it for a long time. I don't know if that's what he said. <laughs> in the tower when they have the wizard fight. Oh, I have no idea. You're oh. wrong person to ask. Is there a yeah. bit in it that goes like this? Like that. You <laughs> thou shalt <laughs> thou shall oh, not pass. He doesn't see that. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo. <laughs> what? Wait. No, no. I was watching that. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> There's reason to this. There's reason. I was watching the Newcastle <laughs> match the other day, right? And Jacob Murphy shields the ball out from the attacker, so it goes out for a goal kick, and he oh. starts doing that. Uh-huh. And everyone was on Twitter. He's like, oh, it's like Lord of the Rings. He's doing, thou shall not pass. Oh, he goes, you shall not pass. And he strikes his stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That. No, no, but it would be so much better. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, get with me, mate. Getting off of his high vis, going, he can't park here, mate. The rest of the group are, like, running away, and he's sacrificing his life to hold off this massive yeah. beast. But he doesn't do that in no, but it would be so much better. <laughs> yeah. You shall I'll distract him. <laughs> you. <laughs> duh, duh. <laughs> da, 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 with dance. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Um, God, my cheeks hurt. Um, <laughs> do, do, do you need a wee? <laughs> no, I can hang on until the end of the oh, right, bless you. What was the... What were we talking about? Uh, priest and Truth and... Oh, this didn't do it for me. Because mm. haven't they beaten Truth up like twice already? Well, Truth cost them the main event last week, didn't he? Yeah. I think... But then like, no, but Truth kept on going, hey, you got some money. Sorry. I think second week after Truth was being their friend or third week in they beat him up then they did this yeah but Truth understood it's like Triple H is <laughs> yeah so that's the point isn't it he's yeah. too stupid to realise they keep beating him up yeah but Triple H realised how mint the Sami Zayn stuff was and he's trying to just he's doing it again and the crowd are reacting yeah but he's doing it every week I don't oh not every week but they've they, I swear they've beaten up Truth like two I was going to say times. it's a good job they've warmed up Truth as a backup in case anything happens and he's like well two things have happened are you saying one, that he's in the main event of Elimination Chamber could happen, mate. For the title. He could, could be happen. in one of the pods, to be <laughs> fair. Strike. We're watching SmackDown 02, right? And it's after Mania. And you can tell, like, well, we're going to do stuff with Undertaker, Triple H, maybe The Rock. Wait, what's that deafening reaction for Hogan? Right, we're going to strike while uh, the iron is red and yellow and get that guy the title. Because the reactions are on a completely different level than everybody else. I can't so. imagine how angry Triple H must have been. That was his big run. Uh, and to drop the title of Backlash. Aye. Yeah. Backlash? Mm. Backlash. It's garlic mm. bread. The team of Shayna Baszler and Zoe Stark win a tag match against Piper Niven and Chelsea Green. Uh, the main headline from this match was Chelsea Green. Yeah. Making her come back from announcer. Uh, good that they're letting her do unique things again when they didn't let her do it for a month or so. Yes. Um, there was nothing to the match. Chelsea had a good sell of the Z360. Mm-hmm. This was basically, it was Shayna and Zoe's regular match, but in a different portion of the night. Normally, it's the like the little lull before the main event. Yeah. And now it was the lull after the opening two segments. You, you tell, oh, <laughs> wait, wait, Punk, uh, Punk and Drew went over the thing. Oh, shock. Yeah. But the funniest thing was, like, Baszler, like, obviously tagged them in, and then Baszler was like, oh, it's over? Like, obviously, it must be like, all right, that, that's a pinfall. One, two, three. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay, cheers. No, I don't I know imagine. how you meant to get invested. Yeah, yeah. I guess this is firmly shoved Shayna and Zoe into title match contention. 
Oh boy. Maybe. Well That'll done. be good if they get time. Yeah. Down mm. versus well, the old Kabukis. Harry and uh, Shayna have had really good chemistry in the past. Yeah. yeah. But then Cody Rhodes comes out and celebrates winning the Rumble. Seth Rollins arrives and congratulates him. <sighs> but he thinks Cody <laughs> should challenge. Ch- should ah, start again, Matthew. Cody should challenge him instead of Roman Reigns at WrestleMania. Seth points out that he defends his title far more frequently than Roman Reigns, working injured and refusing to cheat to win. Does Cody want the Hulk Hogan title for people who politic their way at the top? Or does he want the Dusty Rhodes title? You know, the work rate belt. Don't you be nasty about Dusty Rhodes. Uh, work rate and Dusty hey. did not go to that. He ran around that ring like there was no tomorrow. Have you seen him doing that? On the basketball court. I was going to say, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. the footwork of that is amazing. Oh, it's crazy. For a man it? of his size. Aye. Proving that Cody Rhodes is black according to Dio Madden. <laughs> I'm so relieved that you finished <laughs> I'm the not sentence. touching that. Yeah, thank Christ, man. I saw that on Twitter and I chuckled. Hey, quoting, I quoting, didn't quoting, see his quoting. take on it. Or was it I don't know why I call him Dio Madden. What's his new name? Ma- 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 yeah, Mace. He's back to being Mace Maddox or something like that. Mm-hmm. Brother of Brad. I've seen footage. That's their entrance theme. And it's, it slaps. Yeah. Death grips where the, the cool kids like. That's it, yes. Cody says he respects <laughs> Seth. <laughs> that means he was caught off guard. He says, you'll think about it. Why didn't Cody turn around and go, aren't you injured? Yeah. <laughs> didn't last week, did that just, are you just not as injured now, now that Punk is proper injured? Like, I thought that was a bit weird. But... They've just, I didn't like this segment at all. It was pointless. We all know where Cody's going. He, it got off so, like, there were good start as well. It's clear that Cody saw CM Punk have a few tears. So when he was like, you'll never know how much I needed you, the fans with the tears streaming down his face. Mm. I thought it was a good start. And then Rollins, like, it was a pointless segment. What what was the point? It was just teasing a bit. But no one's believing. No one's buying it. They've got, so, they got six weeks. I'm all right with this segment. I'm no. Good. It was just funny. You know, they were a great title. The dusty title. You're like, what? what do you mean? Mm. And I didn't like the line of like, this is the title that came to be because people were sick of Roman Reigns never defending it. That's not, that was against the thing that he was said it. at the start, yeah? That's what I was going to say about the Michael Cole point. When he's slagging off. He, sorry, he's defending Roman. And then your big babyface champion comes out and goes, no, actually, Roman, you should hate Roman. He mm. is all the things that we've just been told by Michael Cole that he isn't. Mixed signals. Yeah. yeah. Robbie Williams. Yeah. Life through a lens? No, mixed signals. Oh, what is, is, is <laughs> lesser heralded hits, I, I would see. say. You are really good at the Robbie Williams disorder. Big fan of Robbie Williams, man. Yeah. yeah, big fan. I like his swing album. It's really good. <laughs> oh, I didn't. Oh, whoa. Nah, oh, it's mint. It. Oh, it's really good. His first one in, the, like, 2001. With the... Uh, his mate. Oh, he did it to everybody, didn't he? He did duets with like actors who don't sing. The uh, John Love Love it, some, someone Love it. God, really? Yeah, they do. What a swell party! That's a uh... oh god. Yeah, that's good. That sound like Josh Homme. Yeah, I wasn't really doing. <laughs> <laughs> Is it Homme or Homme? I don't know. The Queens of the Stone Age. Bro. I don't know. Hom- Joel, tell me. I don't know. <laughs> are you a fan of Queens of the Stone Age? Uh, not really. Uh, <laughs> why not? Yeah, they, they rock on. Yeah, they're, yeah, like they're top good. played artists last year. I, mm. I like them. On, uh, I liked them on Guitar Hero three, <laughs> threes and sevens. That's oh, what a tune though! Yeah. 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 Go begin to. He's excited at the prospect. Just turn into Wayne's well. Of being Gunther to add to his collection of title wins, puts a bracket silly Kofi. Later, Gunther cuts a promo in response. He says the day Gunther graced Kofi's village was the most important day of his life. <laughs> but for Gunther, it was Tuesday. Yes. That's right, he did say it like that. Mm. And then Jay Uso beats Bronson Reed in a singles match. I didn't know what else to say about that. Back to the New Day bit. I reckon we might have mapped out a storyline here. This is me jumping many guns too soon. But them being more serious, I reckon, could lead to a heel turn and then a certain man return and could bring them back to the, the good side. Ah, that would be nice. New Day. Imagine. It feels strange. That would change their name. Oh, whoa. Would they? No. Oh, where the new day. I think they'd be good Even at... newer day. I think they'd be good at being like, you know, like they were like oblivious heels who think they're still the good guys. Yeah. Like the Young Bucks. <laughs> oh. <Hey. laughs> uh, what was Jane Bronson about? Uh, eat, well, Jane... Versus, eat versus meat. Aye. Hey? Oh, hey? That's yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. I think that's from one of the commentators. Okay. Uh, I was shocked to see Jay get a clean win, though. Just because it's Bronson, he's been booked relatively strong on Raw for a while now. I don't know why I'm rubbing yep. my thighs. Just because those, <laughs> mm. those meat planets are back, mm. baby. Mm. Um, I like Jay selling the fight with his face before the bell had even rung. He was like, yeah. ee, ee, mm. ee. <laughs> 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 the microphone. Ee. Ee. He's big boy, him late, you know. 
Um, but it was it was all right. There's a big old DVD from Bronson. Massive it was. Huge. Mm. Mm. Fit the DVD player. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> this past few days has sort of yeah. been WWE saying like, no, we're still pushing Jay Honest because he was yeah. number one at the Rumble, was the longest one in the men's match, I think. Yeah, he was. He was the Iron Man of the men's mm. match. And now got, the, yeah, this big clean win over Bronson Reed. So I've had a little bit of faith restored in terms of Jay. Yep. Happy with this. Mm-hmm. And Pierce chats with Andrade, who's just signed a Raw contract. Uh, Nick Aldis congratulates Andrade, who asks him to say hello to Zelina Vega over on SmackDown. Ooh! Pierce and Aldis have a tense exchange, which ends when Aldis <laughs> receives a call from... Shut up. A call from Bron Breaker. <laughs> Ross is disappointed. Look after She's that. dying inside. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what was it? Uh, I'm glad that Andrade is on Raw. I think that keeping him away from the LWO is a good thing. Yes. Because that would have naturally, I think, come together had he gone to SmackDown. I like the continuing storyline between the general managers as well with uh, Nikki, Tricky Nikki, Tricky Nikki Aldis, to give him his proper gimmick. Yep. Um, said that he lent uh, Adam Pierce Bailey for the night, so Raw could be good as well. And then, yeah, Big Bron Break is going to SmackDown, apparently, because he was on the phone and Nick. Yep. Woo. I can't wait to choose on the next game if I play as Nick. Ava or Adam Pierce? <laughs> <laughs> no, it'll be it'll be Nick, Shane McMahon, or Adam Pierce. Oh yeah, she's the well, she's the GM, but he's the head still. It's something like that. He was Shane McMahon was one of the like general managers you could pick. Uh, I don't know why he was. Yeah, man, doesn't make any sense at all, does it? It was like two years ago, or like maybe a year ago, when they were like, you can pick any of the four brands. NXT UK is on there as well. I think I'm going to be NXT UK. <laughs> no, you're not. Do you know? I've always wanted to be. Johnny Snow. What was he called? Sydney. Aye. Sydney Poitier. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's go with that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Peggy is disappointed about not winning the Rumble, but staying down isn't in her nature. And why is that, Ross? Because she, she won't stop. She'll train a little harder, think a little more thinkier, fight a little more dirtier, and eat some chocolate. <laughs> there you go. He <laughs> said the thing. Yay. Yeah, Several good, t-shirts coming soon. Good, good promo for Peggy. It was a really good promo, uh, mm. but her and Rhea are still the still the match. Even yeah. though she's married to Seth Rollins, I'd compare her to as if a member of the Shield, John Moxley, in that even though she's lost or whenever she is like on a run out of momentum, her promos can always bring her back. That is a good thing. Thank you. It, it is a good thing. You've yeah. just given wrestling news now, the next video there. Oh, yeah. Becky Lynch, Becky Lynch. <laughs> was believed to have been married to <laughs> Seth Rollins, but now... She is married to John Marksley. She, she can only marry people who are in the Shield. <laughs> yeah. So Kurt Angle, Triple H, still there. Are they yeah. still going WNN? I haven't checked them out for a while. The I hope horrible so. bastards. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> they would just make up. Oh, things. they were the brilliant. worst. No, they would. Yes, they would. Yeah. Yes, they would. <laughs> Gunther beats Kofi to retain the IC title. Xavier gets in the ring to check on Kofi afterwards, but Imperium beat them both down. <sighs> it gets. Although it was just the underlings, wasn't it? Gunter was too big for that. He was like, ah, oh, you can take care of that. Yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Nine. Looking forward to the blow-off tag match. Yeah. Like it was, I... That ending bit was screaming for Big E, though. Imagine if his oh. music hit. You want to go big? Ah, I, I forgot what the opening line was. Is that singles theme now? You, you want a singles big? theme? Well, it made it. Oh, God, he did. Yeah. You want to go big? Hey, buddy. Yep. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> a sick trap. No, no, he's he goes, in. Big E mode. <laughs> ba, 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 ba. Yeah, it took a while for the crowd to get into it, as no one bought Kofi a chance here, but they Gunther always is that. the ring general. Stoonzy starts selling. Had to like, act like he was on defense, like rolling the outside after Kofi hit him hard. He's like, no, I don't want any of this. Complete with a giant boom, boom drop. Got the crowd believing. Gunther Hell of a boom good. drop. Mm. Rest of the year, 2024, January. Gunther. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you should have like a like a player of the, like a man of the month. Well, it doesn't <laughs> I agree to, with that. doesn't have to be a man. Damn it, no, what have I done? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, wrestler wait. of the month it's wrestler be, of the month oh wait I've done a very similar thing in the past um, <laughs> it'll be so we'll put up a graphic at the end of the Matthews yeah. wrestler of the month so it's Gunter it's Gunter. just Gunter. Gunter every month it's going to be 12 Gunters yeah 12 Gunters let's have a look yeah it's Gunther okay, make a we'll Christmas see. song out of that 12 yeah. Gunters chopping 10 11, 11. Oh, I can't all, I can't all <laughs> of his moves um, but I move over Roddy Strong and a chop on your little nipple eating no, <laughs> Yeah. Sorry, Ross. We're really good on this podcast. Like, oh, yeah. We are. Lyricists. We're like a really good trio's lucha tag team, just in and out. Oh, well, we're going, 
We wrestle Lars Sullivan. <laughs> <laughs> what a reference. Cultaholic Wrestling Podcast rules. Hey, Lindsay Dorado. Yes, it does. <laughs> Lindsay Dorado made Bailey's I gear. I yeah. No, it wasn't. I forgot to say it. But yeah, thank you for bringing yeah. it back up. Yeah. Dreadnought means he's like uh, Catwoman. You know, he's a cat. <laughs> He's a link. You know, makes Michelle gear. Pfeiffer yes. makes her own Catwoman costume. Oh. Wow. Good push him. Hey, we need to push him out a window. And see if he lands. See if he lands. And then if he survives and walks away with a little, yeah. little cut on his head, we'll yeah. know he's a cat. Accompanied to the ring by Christopher Walken. <laughs> <laughs> that used to give me the willies, that when he gets electrocuted at the end. Oh, he, he, oh when he gans in for a little neck on with Michelle yeah. Pfeiffer. And she, but she's wearing the, uh, the leather, so it doesn't... Michelle Pfeiffer's Catwoman. Killer. In the 1992 classic. Oh, I was thinking of the Halle Berry. <laughs> yeah, right, 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 right. Um, I was going to say, good work, move over Roddy Strong, because <laughs> Gunter is now the master of the backbreaker. He is. He does this tilt a whirl backbreaker, followed by a catching backbreaker, mm. and they were both fantastic. Gunter's yeah. pretty good at the backbreaker. I'd still give that thrown to Roderick Strong, <laughs> personally. <laughs> Uh, there was a throw into the apron, back of the head first, that looked proper dangerous from Gunter on Kofi. Mm. I don't know how. I assume it's quite. Is the apron actually the hardest part of the ring? That's what they tell us. Because when we used to, no one lied to us. help in building the rings back in the day, there was a hell of a lot of like overlay mm. of the padding on the apron. Oh, which... but it's still got a bit. I, I always assumed it's because the angle makes it harder to disperse your weight because you're on yeah. a small. Right. We'll have to ask a wrestler. Drake told me, HT Drake told me that it's not the hardest part of the ring. And then he went, the ring post is. And I was like, ah, oh, go on, HT Drake. <sighs> Thank you, Drake. He builds the rings as well. Yeah, he knew. He had a feud with Angelico where he used his knowledge of the ring to beat him. That was good. Yeah, yeah, it was clever. What did he read? The ring general. He would like unscrew a bit of the turnbuckle and choke him with the rope and stuff. Uh, he had his tools with him. His tools. Get general of the actual ring. Howard Drake. Yeah. Uh, HT Drake. I always call him oh. by his real name. Sammy Zayn. Sorry about that. I was going to say, I got to use my drill in front of my girlfriend yesterday for the first time. Oh, what drill you got? Just a little one off Amazon. It's, really oh, okay. <laughs> it's not as cool. Uh, <laughs> and what do you use it for? Uh, putting screws on the, bed. on the bed, yeah. Oh, okay, right. So Bollocks you... using your Allen key, hey? What sort of a mug do you think I am? Oh, I'd, I'd use my little screw because I realized how long it's going to take us. <laughs> so I looked like I was being on the cross because I had a little a Sigmata. After oh, doing wow. It for... like Comparing, yourself... Yes. <laughs> Comparing yourself to Christ on the podcast. No. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> and Lord said, down, I would not piss on him. <laughs> Matthew is the sort of person who. Oh, no, you're not. No, no, no. Go on, go I just on. mean the sort of level of. Like, what was that? Was He'd it? drink his own cummy no. bath water, wouldn't he? Who's, who's the goalkeeper who thought he was Jesus? David Ick. Ike, sorry. Yes. David Ick. You're the sort of person who, if sorry. you disappeared from no. the Come public on, eye for no. like 20 years, is that what you're thinking about? and then came back on the news <laughs> saying, like, eh, I'm probably <laughs> Jesus, yeah. I'd be like, ah. Okay. You think I'm a David Icke type? No. <laughs> Just in terms of that level of, I don't know what I'm saying here. I'm sorry. I don't know. No, you're, you're, not, us, no, you're not at all. No, I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't know why I've said that. <laughs> Are there lizard people? <laughs> oh no, let's ask a former goalkeeper. <laughs> sorry, I, I, that's a really insulting thing I've just said there. I'm so that's sorry. That's all the bit I'm going to hear on Twitch. Now. Although I would, I'm going to look like a right mug if David does turn out to be Jesus. I'll have to cancel that Terry Wogan appearance then. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, was it with Terry? He oh, would have just mocked him. Rock, yeah. Oh, oh you'll see. So they did that interview, mm. and obviously that got replayed endlessly because I saw it like decades after it happened. Then Wogan did that anniversary thing like in the 2000s where he went, I'm going to have people, famous people about on. And that guy, David, he came prepared. <laughs> Except for the rematch. So oh. I was like, so yeah, it was great. I've been on walk down the street for the rest of my life. People were bringing up the fact that he took the piss out of us. And Wogan's like, oh, sorry about that. What he bet that sounded really bet, good. Bet, bet Harry's just like, oh no. <laughs> well, he oh, shouldn't have no. said that he, th he thought himself he was Jesus. That's the, he that's said the, it. It's not Terry's fault. That's what Terry's trying to say. Mm. But he's, Terry is he, clearly not up for a hard hitting affair. He's just like, it's just plain defense. Wow. <laughs> the entire time. Anyway, the Kabuki Warriors won a non title match against Italia and Tiga Knox. Yeah. The crowd did not give a damn about it. Oh, this. yeah. We're going to pretend that spot in the Rumble was nothing. Because uh, Tegan went to eliminate, eliminate Natty. Oh. And then Natty got the Tegan out. And then... Uh, uh, yeah. And now and they're then just they're fine, yeah. And there was no... Like... Commentary said that Natalia was happy that Tegan tried that. Because that's what someone should do. But it's not going to be carried forward anymore. Carried forward Natalia anymore. <laughs> 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 Like, no one cares, Ross. No, it's all right. Yeah. Natalia's got no right to be happy about it. She started it. Ross, yeah. can you talk about your drill some more? Oh, it's only a little. No, I do need a wee by the end of the It takes two oh, hours okay. to charge no. to full. 
Um, <laughs> <laughs> but I, I just don't understand. Can we not say this team's not working? Tegan and Natty, they get less than no reactions every single week. Yeah. I guess they're going to start doing a breakup angle now because Natty was asking for a tag, but then Tegan ignored it to do a sick flip off the apron because yeah. she's punk rock, baby. Yeah. No, you're not the boss of me now. And then they lost. <laughs> and it's like if it reminds it's like if Tegan was having a team with her mom. That's the vibe I'm getting mm. here. But she's not allowed to be stroppy about it. She's got to pretend you're having a good time. Mom, stop being weird with your, me auntie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bailey joins the rest of Damage Catal in the ring and brags about winning the most stacked women's Royal Rumble match ever, as well as beating Ripley's longevity record. Rhea interrupts and starts to cut promo on Bailey, but gets ambushed and beaten down by Nia Jax. Nia stares down Damage Catal, who all leave Bailey by herself in the ring. Nia says she can pick whichever title she wants at Mania, but Rhea won't be making it there. Bailey says she'll make a choice on this week's SmackDown. Mm. I liked the visual of all of Damage Control running away that was great. slowly and leaving Bailey in the ring. Yeah. And I felt really sorry for Bailey. She looked scared. We were, yeah. I was like, oh. That was the point, I think. Yes. Yes. Good. Mm. It looks how dare like... you react how you're supposed to react <laughs> for a wrestling show, you weird. No, that's right. So I, after Nia speaking a lot about WrestleMania last week, it looks like it will be her at Elimination Chamber yep. and then Becky at yeah, WrestleMania. Um, and then I don't know. I just, it was a seal, a, a, a seal that happened. Yes, that's what I was about to say there. A, it's seal, a seal. I've run out of puff here. I'm God enjoying. Me. I'm enjoying the title scenes in the women's divisions mm. now. Mm. Just it's just the tags and stuff. Exactly. Right. Same as it ever was. Yeah. Uh, Drew McIntyre is interviewed before the main event and says his actions have always been justified, which is the best thing about him right mm. now. Sammy has never beaten him, and that isn't going to change tonight. It turned out to be true as McIntyre wins their match after an accidental low blow. Oopsie whoopsie. <laughs> really good. Hey, it wasn't deliberate. Prove it was. He evaded the hel- halluva kick in doing so as well, which is yeah. what you'd think a wrestler would have done that by now. But no, he's the first one. So good good on him. Pure mm. accident. And I like the Claymore counter into a blue thunder bomb. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh, that was nice. And yeah, you can always get a good match out of these two. Yeah. yeah. Funny and true. There was a common theme on this week's Raw, though, I tell you, Lance, because it was another Make bigger man versus little man match. We had Jane Bronson, Gunter and Kofi, mm. and now Drew versus Sammy here. And they all had similar kavorkas about them. Ah. Yes. I thought I'd seen well the same observed. match three times on Raw this week. With I hadn't men. realized that until you pointed out. You're exactly right. Yes. You're right was, as always, Ross. I we was, love you. I thought it was nice as well. I always get a bit sad when Sammy <laughs> loses, but that's the point. He's a good baby face. So We'll miss the big scoop for next week, though. That left Jackie Redmond going, Wow, if that's not a scoop, I don't know what is. What was oh, the big we'll scoop? Ben and Jerry. Tag Team Championship match next week. Oh, God. <laughs> what? Oh, well, Shana and... Uh, the Cowies going back for the title. Oh, oh, I, oh yeah, that. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. yeah. yeah, yeah. So, oh, that is good. That's not what happened like that. They've, they've let Jackie speak more after interviews happen now. I'm going to try and go quick so Jackie can go and piss. No, don't worry. I can, you can finish your point. No. But they're just letting Jackie say words that like other broadcasters can't do in backstage interviews, which I find a bit weird. Yeah. But she seems very nice. Kelly's fuming. Kelly Clancid. Yeah. She's rancid. <laughs> <laughs> she seems like a lovely woman. She does, yeah. 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 And it's Kincaid. It is Kincaid. I've, I've learned from my mistake. It's a Cajun surname, I believe. Delicious. What occasion? The, the surname Kincaid <laughs> is, a, is a Cajun surname. Oh. <laughs> but then I made a joke. Oh, you want to do a joke? Oh, I love you, mate. I'm gonna, love you. I'm going to go for oh, a whole It's an occasion. That was genuine. genuine. What occasion? Oh, oh like a, occasion. It's, a, it's an afternoon. Ah, <laughs> it's uh, for Bob Mitchell. It's break time. It's break time. <laughs> ah, NXT. And after oh, that? no, Ross, no. Don't. All right, all right. That's one good big word. Is it? Okay. <laughs> Yeah, oh, audio oh, listeners oh, will oh. say, all right, what's wrong? I just want to watch this. What you want to I'm doing the ooh, ooh, ooh noises like I'm watching a live event. It's actually what have you done? It's a broken can. <laughs> oh, oh, Ross no. attempted to dramatically open. Look at that. The tango can. <laughs> oh, what's seen happened the like there? That the lid broke. The, the popper thing? The popper thing. Hey. 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 Hey, he's a little bit of finger there, Matthew. Yeah. For, oh, um, for audio listeners, Ross has punched it. Um, <laughs> the, last week's NXT disappointed me by not being very NXT. This week's oh. NXT. Oh, yeah. This yeah. NXT was like an episode of AEW in the <laughs> sense that there was that much going on and they had to squeeze in that much within the two hours. Nothing had room to break. Sorry. You all right, Joe? <laughs> I just punched the table by accident. <laughs> Do you disagree with my opinion? Joe, I, <laughs> oh, I hate Ross's so takes. <laughs> Carmelo Hayes and Trick Willie beat the LWO to advance the finals of the Dusty Classic. Uh, no, Obafemi attacks the LWO after the match. Trick wants to make the save, but Melo convinces him to stay back. Dragon Lee runs out instead, but Oma beats up all three men down. Wow, what a lad. 
Yeah. He swatted him out of the air, Dragon Lee. Mm. He's so big, though, isn't he? Mm-hmm. Over Femi. Oof. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, imagine him versus Gunter. The ring general. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what do you think of the match was? I could watch Mello and Joaquin Wilde do arm drags until the cows come home because they were fantastic arm drags. It's interesting now the trick is getting like the definitively louder reactions than Mello. Uh, from the shoot audience in the shed. Not plans at all, not plans at all, not plans at all. Mm-hmm. Uh, Cruz del Toro, I thought was clever because he was being a noticeable dick. Even though he's a baby face, he put a dickish... I think he said a dickish taint on his performance. <laughs> <laughs> a dickish feeling on his performance uh, with the shoot chops and little heelish stuff on Trick. And I just thought there was a hell of a long blow from Mello, and that was just about it. That's all that needs to be said. I don't know. I liked that... I think Trick's... He's got it made because out of the four lads in the match, he's the one who can do the least moves, but he's the most popular one because he's got that. He's a star. He's got that je ne sais quoi. An Irish star. Yeah, and yeah. French because he's got that je ne sais quoi. Oh, okay. He's a French Irish superstar. A little bag of Irish stars. <laughs> <laughs> magic. Those cho- magic those chocolate stars you yeah. oh, ma- magic, magic stars. stars. Oh, a, little, a little bag of magic stars. Who makes Milky Ways? Because that's that was there. Nestle? Is it Nestle? I don't know. So they won't have been made in Ireland then. Unless Nestle's got an Irish farm. Oh, maybe. Farm? I find a out chocolate so much farm. About it. Yes. <laughs> 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 Where they farm the chocolate cows and the chocolate pigs. That wouldn't have been as good, Charlie, in the chocolate farm. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie just goes off chocolate forever after he watches the abattoir. <laughs> it's for the halal uh, chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I'm done. Done here. Like, Do you know anyway, what? Haribo is from where I'm from. Well, here he comes the, again with his one <laughs> fact of a pun. We've got a Haribo factory in Pontefract. So oh, if you've got you? a bag of Haribo, they'll be made I learned this uh, just the other week, I think, from Owen. I think he told me. All oh, right, yeah. I'll talk I always about. assumed Haribo was like Scandinavian or something. Well, I think it's originally from like Germany. Well, then get but out. No, no, what, but what, what do you mean? Because the, the, the ones that you'll get here were made in Pontefract. Okay. okay. Rule Britain. <laughs> <laughs> we've got our own Brexit Haribo. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, fair enough then. Yeah. I'm sorry. What for? I'm sorry for. There's a little shop next to it. You can buy massive like boxes of Haribo. Oh, I, yeah. I used to sell them in school. Oh, you, you were that, you were that oh. kid. Made loads of money. Oh, but then you got were the banned. Apprentice yes. contestant. Oh, right. Oh, okay. You got banned though. Yeah, of course it did. Of course it did. Well, I'm being an entrepreneur. Oh, you Makes it more liberal. What, what were the profit margins there, Joel? <laughs> like thirty quid per box. <laughs> like, and how much like, would you make? Like thirty quid. Oh, profit. how much was a the box then? Uh, like a fiver. Wow, yeah, well it was done. Big, big I've magical. never met anyone who was the kid who used to sell sweets at school who was trustworthy. So this bodes <laughs> badly for you. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> always that an agenda. That's the happiest part of Cultaholic, Joel. <laughs> <laughs> always. Oh, they always had some other agenda going on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Money. One time, <laughs> in, in my first year of uni, Everyone in my flat was a bit tired, but I hadn't been out for a couple of weeks. I was like, I really want to go out. I really want to go out. Come on, everyone. And everyone was like, yeah, we'll go out. It was like a big night as well for some reason, but none of my flat wanted to go. And I was like, no, come on, guys. Went down to the college bar to start pre-drinks. Because they, they didn't want to do it in the flat. So I went down to the college bar. And then the lad who was in our flat, who was the lad who used to sell sweets at school, convinced everyone else one by one, like on the traders. He went, we could just go back and all watch a film in the living room, in the kitchen, like in the shared area. And I was like, what? And then we didn't go out. I think I latched onto a different group, though. Sensible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, guys. <laughs> that was me. <laughs> Can I be your friend? But why did you bring them back to the flat to, to sell them Haribo? It was just that <laughs> he, he couldn't was... do it at the club because he won't allow them to bring it in. So, so let's, hey, guys, let's go home. <laughs> Think of someone on the surf, didn't he? That's all he wanted to do. <laughs> so, Not him, game. no. He was a proper, like, uh, anyway. <laughs> he was a proper what? Well, he just, he was more about, he was more about, he was a, he was an odd he, he was more about... I don't know how to say this. <laughs> he was more about... He's remembering about the monetization of YouTube. He was more Go about... On. He never really tried. I think all three years of uni, I think he only pulled once. <laughs> and I don't think it was ever a priority of his. He was more about politicking and, yeah, trying to advance up the college ladder. And Was it Roman Reigns? Yeah. Huh? yeah was that right. belt of yeah. the politicking? Mm. <laughs> oh, that sounds like an ace friend. Uh, this was good, but the match I'm referring to... Uh, not the the mega banger I was hoping because there was no way Elder Bill were winning. It's just not part of the thing, isn't it? Mm-hmm. So, but still very good for what we got. Mm-hmm. Good opener. Uh, backstage, Arvorain denies Ridge Holland's request for a three on match against Gallus. Lexus King interrupts with a gift basket for Ava, full of his own merch and bits of Haribo. And there was a cup that had the letter A on it, which stands 
for Ava. Nice. That's oh. good. I didn't see that bit. Detective work, that. My well, well done. Yeah. You watch the show and everything. That's actually thoughtful of him. The it rest a, of it, yeah. It was yeah. written in pen, I think. Like, uh, <laughs> Lexus wants a meeting with Ava to discuss his big plans for 2024, but Ava said books him in a match against Ridge. She also gives Ridge the gift basket, and he gives it back to Lexus. God. Reverse gift. No Harry Bo in that. <laughs> Where in Yorkshire is he from? Uh, Ridge. Yeah. Uh, Sheffield, I think. Oh, okay. Oh, the steel city. Mm. Snooker. Yeah. Arctic monkeys. <laughs> um, Prince what Nassim else? Ahmed. Yeah, that actor, uh, Sean. Bean. Bean. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that actor, Sean. <laughs> the forgot, sheep. Forgot his name. Yeah, Sean Bean. The full Monty. Is that Sheffield? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sheffield, yeah. yeah. Right, we've covered all wow, bases. Yeah, yeah. Crucible. Sheffield. To add to his snooker yes. Crucible. Yes. Oh, right, right. Yes, that, that the one. Crucible. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Backstage, Tatum Paxley talks to a photo of, of Lyra Valkyria and says she'll always be here for her. Lyra arrives and asks why Paxley attacked Roxanne Perez last week. She doesn't need Tatum to fight her battles for her. Mm. With Lyra on commentary, Tatum then loses to Roxanne. Lyra is a terrible human being. <laughs> Tatum <laughs> Paxley beat up Lyra Valkyria's biggest foe in life last week. And Lyra Valkyria not only ignored all of her text messages and emails, but then came back to have a go at Tate and Paxley, who's only been on her side the entire way through. Yeah, I agree with you. Uh, Perez stares Lyra down afterwards, so Tatum grabs her, but Roxanne beats her down. Lyra gets in the ring and drags Perez off. They have a tense face-off. Vic, who we said previously established, is phoning it in more and more, <laughs> says Lyra's moral compass is spinning. No, it isn't. She just made it clear she doesn't want Tatum's help, you idiot. Booker understands it. No, hang on. I'm on Vic's side here. Oh, God. Who because... Is... I'm gonna... Go on. <laughs> because she... No, she stopped <laughs> Perez from beating up Tatum. Not the other way around. Mm. So she's actually being nice to Tatum now. Oh. Yeah, good point. <laughs> I'll Bollocks. I'll st hashtag stand up for Vic. Not doing that much. Sorry. He, has, he has changed oh. since his... He's not from Sheffield. I got it wrong. Oh, oh, oh no. Sure. Well, we take back all those things you said about those nice people from not Sheffield. Not the Crucible. It's from Todd Morden. Where's that? <laughs> That's not real. <laughs> Todd yeah, Morden, he's of BCW. It's in West Yorkshire, <laughs> but I've never heard of it either. Oh, I wonder which bit of Yorkshire it is. West Yorkshire. Oh, it's your ends. Yeah, but I, I've never heard oh, of it. That's just made me think of Jim off Friday night dinner. You know, he gets a new dog. He used to have Wilson. Yeah, Wilson the, the guy I look like, yes. And he gets Milton. <laughs> 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 Maybe if you grew your tash out a bit more and have the glass. Oh, yeah, yeah. That could be arranged. Just your Todd Morton thing there made me think of like Jim having Todd Gordon as a pet. Todd Gordon dying <laughs> and Todd Morton being his replacement. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Todd, your voice is far too deep, though, to be him. He's all, oh, oh Jackie. Mm. You look nice. <laughs> is it dinner, is it? Yeah. Pubs. I watched Why that. is he so scared oh, wow. of his own dog as well? <laughs> Joel, Joel did an oh, wow. Oh. Harold, <laughs> Harold Shipman is from there. <laughs> From oh, where? No. Todd Morton? Yeah. What a shout. So Todd Morton, Ridge Holland. <laughs> I'm the shipper. No, 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 no. I'd like to rotate back giving a nickname yeah, to Britain's most prolific suit. Anyway. Ah, yeah. Big shippers. Mmm, the ship dog. <laughs> <laughs> I called the ship doctor. He was in. Oh, bop, bop, no, bop, bop. No. Not the ship doctor. <laughs> Brett the ship man harp. Backstage. <laughs> Ariana the Grace. The, no, no, no. Tells Ren Sinclair. Tub boat. Mm. That, yes. The that, shipman. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there was a lovely double underhook mm. suplex from Tate and Paxi, by the way. Oh, yeah, right. Mm. Which, mm. Uh, it's not my move of the week, but it was good. Have you got one in mind? Nah, nah. We'll oh. see what happens. We'll see what happens. Ariana tells Ren she's an inspirational leader and can help her fit in. Fallon interrupts and tells Ariana to stop filling Ren's head with nonsense. She challenges Ariana to a match and goes off to find Ava. She tells Ren to come with her too, and they walk off in opposite directions. <laughs> what was that? Did you see that? <laughs> come on. And then they go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I hate the character of Ren Sinclair. I, I put, I hate you, Ren Sinclair. In my notes to myself. At the start, she's like, I want to fit in more than you could ever imagine. Yeah, how is this going to get her Flip over? off, fit, woman. <laughs> fit in a large parcel and send yourself someplace. <laughs> she's quite... She's like the the girl Riley Osborne. Yeah. They're both... Oh, they should end up together. He was winding me up during that Chase Youth segment. He's so insincere mm. in everything that Maybe he does. Maybe that's the point. Even breathing. No, I, if that turns out to be deliberate, though... You're right. Though, I don't believe him when he's breathing. No. That's fake Is air. it corpse? Wait a minute. 
you you suspected every member of Chase U by this stage, apart from Andre, of who's, who's admitted several times that it's all his fault. It's leader. all my fault. I was about to make a comparison between Andre and Jesus, oh. and Jesus Christ. Oh, I thought he was going to be a different leader <laughs> <laughs> through history. <No. laughs> Which one? There's so many to Similar head, Andre Chase, actually, but anyway. Oh. Oh, God. Let that one linger. Please there. hurry, please. <laughs> Lola Vice beats her former friend, Electro Lopez. That's the feud over then. This was like the house of Black and FTR in the sense that Lola was not shaking her Instagram famous ass at the start of the match. She just walked down and got in and they threw hands. Mm-hmm. And they should. Not Blood good, feud. Yeah, was good uh, but it was a short match. It was symptomat- feud. symptomatic oh. of this week's show. As I say, like an old episode of AEW, trying to cram so much into two hours. Um, I was shocked that the main roster lady got beaten so easily. But then again, she has to, because of the traditions of the business, lose on her way out. Yeah. They've yes. clearly got big designs for Lola if she's winning this feud so comprehensively, but they're keeping her in NXT. That would imply to me that they wanted to improve, but she's got that star quality that they want. Yeah. <laughs> Don't laugh at that. that was no, 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 I agree. You went like, oh, uh, <laughs> star quality. I was just, I was just sprinkling stardust. <laughs> some of those magic yeah, chocolate what am I stars. Doing? Why am I some sort of film critic? <laughs> like, oh, yeah, she's got that. Hmm. Speak films, that's the magic word. What have you watched this week? Uh, El Conde on Netflix. What's and that? Society of the Snow, also on Netflix. Oh, I've not heard of either of them. Society of the Snow was my favorite of the two. It's about a real-life incident in the 70s where a plane crashed over the Andes in South America, and they had to survive and, like, eat each other, and it was really Oh, sad. like the really. film Alive was based on... Uh, yeah, 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 this yeah, must yeah. be, like, a modern... Yeah, it was yeah. really, really, oh, okay. really grim watch, but really good. Yeah. And El Conde I didn't get at all. I, I, I felt stupid for not enjoying it, but I didn't enjoy it. It's a, a satire, a political horror satire of the uh, old Chilean dictator Pinochet. Oh. And it's pretending that he is actually a vampire who faked his own death and continues to live God. on. God. And is drinking the blood of, like, it's all a metaphor for what he did to the yeah, country, yeah, I think. Yeah. But, like, and then, spoilers, um, Thatcher shows up, also yes, a vampire. Yeah, because they were big uh, friends. Right. She shows up and is his mum. She was his mother <laughs> That's vampire. Not true. No, she's actually younger than him. I Googled it. I was like, hang on. Um, it was mad. And I didn't quite enjoy it, sadly. You have to go really hard to do a parody of Pinochet, like. Apparently, this director, his past like four films have all been about Pinochet. <laughs> so he's just got a very niche. He is Chilean wow. as well. Yeah, I know. Pinochet away. Mm. Mm. No way. Pinochet. <laughs> Pinochet, you stay. <laughs> no way. It's his fun baby face gimmick. No way. Pinochet. <laughs> oh my god. Right. Oh. The three people that know what this is about, like, can you stop talking about it? I know, yeah. In Sex a, dungeon time. You think, yeah, you think <laughs> what we just discussed was bad. Just oh. you wait. In a dark backstage area, Jack is watching footage of himself and taking notes. <laughs> <laughs> On his little tablet. It made yeah, him look yes. really not intimidating. Ooh, yeah, so I put him through the table. Tiny little tablet. Mm. Joe Gacy arrives and annoys Jack, who tells him, go away. Gacy tells Jack he will never get rid of him and presses play in a tape recorder... <laughs> which somehow finishes, finishes his sentence for him. Yeah. Dijak attacks and they brawl around the room. Very understandable reaction here. Right. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Get, get down, the, the, the verbals in this scene were tremendous. When Joe Gacy arrives on the scene, he's greeted with the sentence, what do you want, you unhinged piece of trash? Yeah. Like all humans would speak. <laughs> and they speak about splinters in the arse of Joe Gacy. Which I he's... did get them all out, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> all the splinters out his arse from the table bit last week. I thought that uh, the pre-taped on the tape recorder was inspired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Obviously means that Joe Gacy broke in there when Dijak wasn't there. <laughs> Dijak whapped his truncheon on the table. Ooh, uh, <laughs> misses, eh? And, and I think did, Gacy's didn't, like, didn't that's impressive. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. did he make a willy joke? That's impressive, that's wow. Like your man from Salt, though. Mm. Just been speaking about fluffing outside the office. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. What was there fluffing in Saltburn? We were speculating because he's quite impressive when he's dancing around in the new. He's oh, a shower, Matthew, I in the see. final scene. Yeah. Yes, um, I remember the final scene. And we were all like, "Huh, that must have been CGI." <laughs> <laughs> this CGI. That's what I was saying to Kayla. <laughs> oh, it was you said something. Like, what the, a dancing. They're not all like that, honestly. Yeah, <laughs> that's CGI. He's that. some sort of freak. <laughs> like the Avengers. I hate watching naked attraction for the same reason. <laughs> There's always some bloke. For the, the, the core reason for the show. There's always some bloke with a massive one who's just stood there all proud. I'm like, I hate you. Anyway. Imagine being born well endowed, though, lads. Eh? Be, <laughs> I have be... to imagine, Ross, because I, I can't. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I'm, dear. What a tremendous privilege that must be in life. Maybe they're all just showers and it doesn't get any longer. <laughs> you know? 
Mm. Why did you give me such a, you give me such an intense stare there? <laughs> How dare you say such a thing? Joel's like, can't relate. Oh. Uh, Lexus oh, my, King, mine's, speaking mine's of massive noise. Oh, Lexus, oh, 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 damn it. Oh, Come on, man. Scoops <laughs> from the corner. Oh, it's like, good line. Joel? I would just say mine's microscopic. Okay. Oh. Yeah, fair enough, yeah. It's so, a microwave. Wow, it's massive, that. I wonder who's got the biggest in the it's office. Oh, we never Do you really think that? Let's deduce this. Who do you reckon's got the biggest knob in Goldaholic? All right. No way, we shouldn't. We should do move this. on. Yeah, we think. shouldn't do this. Yeah, me and Jack are shareholders, shouldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not, so I'm kind of not. I don't yeah, know what yeah. like. Who do you reckon, Matthew? I reckon the, the biggest knob in Colaholic is Alexis King, who <laughs> no. beats Ridge Holland after lots of interference from Gallus. Yes, I said it twice. They beat Ridge Holland uh, down afterwards and pilmanize his leg. He's called oh. Rich Holland, but he's from uh, Tom Holland. And, and <laughs> <laughs> Tom, 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 Tom Holland. Holland. <laughs> I've already got the name. Yeah, that's not his name, is it? But they pilmanized him. And it was Lexus. God, I only just got that. Oh. I don't know if it was deliberate. Or they Lexus thinking. kinged him. They did. <laughs> really worked, that, it? They did. The subtext in this match was off the page. <laughs> Ridge was subtext. wearing the colours of Gallus. The Gallus... <laughs> <laughs> oh, screw it. Goodness me. The Gallus <laughs> no green. No this bit anyway. They do. I don't know why I said that like that, no, but they, they, do, do. They, do, they do. Sorry, they, yes, they do. Of the course, Gallus they. Green he had on. What does it mean? He's yeah. fighting all three members of Gallus, but he's wearing their colours. Even they had the gold trim. Does he want to be one of them? <laughs> hmm. We can't rule out that this That would surely stage. be a boon to the strength of their group if they enticed Ridge Holland into joining. That would be. Uh, after I realised that Ridge was wearing green tights, I felt nothing about the remainder of this <laughs> match. Lexus had a long bore and beat down. Ridge didn't really do what Ridge normally does. It was... And Joe Coffey came down wearing a weird coat. Fred, well, Perry, Fred Perry, though. He's going, he's on the way day, isn't he? looked it? like a straight jacket, didn't it? It was strange. But a long straight jacket. He loves the casual football hooligan attire. Yes. But again, even the beatdown at the end felt rushed. Symptomatic of this week's episode. Yeah. Mm. Oh, like like what you say, like like AW. Yeah, cramming right. it all in. It, it does appear that we've abandoned the Ridge injury thing, which I think is for the best. I no, don't know, he's got a new injury. Booker T said at the start on commentary, he was like, ah, people talk around the locker room about Ridge. Because ah. mm. he's now Kane from... He's got no friends. Yeah, shoot it right. <laughs> <laughs> that would be an improvement. <laughs> um, no, the injury theme's continuing in a way because they've injured his leg. All right, but I mean, mm. Ridge injured <clears throat> the people, I should say. Tom was speculating, could this have written him off TV for a while? But I don't know about that. I don't know. I mean, technically, it should do. It yeah, get filmized. That's the idea of it. But... Didn't Triple H come back from being dropped from a forklift? And... Yeah, I'm right. Yeah. <laughs> Dressed in all black, Andre Chase, Delightful Hudson, and Riley Osborne prepare to say goodbye to Chase U. Elsewhere, Trick Willie says it was a surprise to Camillo in the Rumble on Saturday. Camillo warns Trick about Ilya's mind games, but Trick says he's ready. Camillo says Trick will realize he's at his back from the beginning, which then <laughs> sets up Andre, Duke, and Riley in the ring, oh. ready to say their goodbyes. Mr. Chase says Chase U became one of NXT's biggest success stories, and the memories they made will stand the test of time. He says there's nobody to blame but himself for the university closing, but he's grateful that he was able to live his dream. Delightful Hudson says he was a different man when he joined Chase U, but it changed his life. He plays an emotional video tribute at the university set to Tell Me a Lie. The Shawn yeah. Michaels go away song from 97. Mm -hmm. I realize. This is like Chris Jericho. I have to go away. No more yesterday. David Bowie, what are you doing here? <laughs> uh, anyway, Andre's moved to tears. Lots of crying this week. Mm. Um, he says the whole experience has been a teachable moment, but now it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye. That's only because <clears throat> he's an emo. <laughs> 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 so I'm to say goodbye. Jack went, bah. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to do. I was trying to do his lovely southern twang, but... Oh. I was going to say he was only... going to try that again. Goodbye. That's nice. Uh, Thank you. Bye. He was only crying because he's like a twink from 2006 with that new haircut of his. I know he's mm. meant to look disheveled and whatnot, but I thought he looked saucy. He looked like a MySpace icon. We'll love you when you're sad. <laughs> he looked like Dan from Dan and Phil. Mm. That's how some people Oh, get. wow. <laughs> wow. I had, I had to load that up from my memory bank. <laughs> yep, good one. JC Jane and Thea Hale interrupt. And so shut up, Yemo. Put down Panic at the Disco and listen. JC says Chase U changed her ways, so she knew she had to help. So she organized the 2024 ladies, sorry, ladies, of Chase U calendar. I have to say it like Ross. It was kind of like OnlyFans in the end. It, yeah, it was. Yeah, right, yeah. yeah. But I think they realized we can't actually do OnlyFans, can we? The calendars. Imagine yeah. <laughs> if they did actually launch it. They could if they wanted to. Well, the OnlyFans or the, the calendar? The no, end. because they know people be like, where can I sign up? I think like, they actually are doing the calendar. Right. It's on sale from this Sunday. Ah. Yeah. 
Will you be buying one? We can't get one. I was going to say we should have it there, <laughs> but we, not? We, can't, we can't get one. Why not? Because it's crap. Look at that space on the wall behind us, too. Yeah. Uh, that could be filled with the, the ladies of NXT no, calendar do. for 2024. You could take that to the Italian restaurant. If laptops are banned. <laughs> Just sit browsing. Ooh. Browsing the calendar. March is looking good. <laughs> I hope it's yeah, one drink, please. <laughs> I hope it's discounted, by the way. We're already lost a month. Mm, that's true. Releasing at the yeah, start who of does, February. Who does a calendar in Feb? NXT does. Oh, of course, mm. yes. That's, that's why they're different. <laughs> January can be Bodie Hayward. <laughs> <laughs> he featured a lot in the video package, by it the way. It was nice to see him remember. Yeah, yeah, he, d- he did well. He yeah. served his time. Uh, JC says, the estimated sales will save the university <laughs> and launch it the next decade... Now let's work this out, fellas. How much money do they owe? Like ten pounds? No, they owe. It was in the hundreds of thousands of dollars. <laughs> what they owe. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, so they had all the stuff repossessed last week, which <laughs> would have paid a, a chunk of that, but not <laughs> much. Just the tables and chairs and the plinth. Mm. How much is the plinth? Do you reckon? Mm. The 50, trophy. 50, um, 60 the trophy. Grand? Yeah, yeah. yeah the trophy. Well, yeah, there's, there's two that's million. Ninety-nine grand there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I, th- th- we could be looking at a calendar that needs to sell upwards of eight hundred, nine hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> Wow. To get them into the... Mm. Oh, I always forget this. Is it the red or the black? In the God black. Get them in the black. In the in black, the black. Yeah. 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 Uh, so they're back. This but was, not yet. This was wank. I was so... <laughs> I was so disappointed. All the months of build-up and Andre, what's he done? The mafia Ooh. dealings... The what's JC got planned? What's going on? Is she really got the university's best intentions at heart? And then it's just... Oh, we've done a calendar. That's so bad. It's He's so... changed a toxic lady, shown her her toxicity cannot continue. No. Made her a better human being, like he does to all of us who are part yes. of Chase. The, the calendar is the vinegar that has neutralized <laughs> her toxicity. It was a great segment. Just, <laughs> it wasn't, it wasn't. just <laughs> only it. you would say this. No, just because Chase U is not dead. JC Jane is in <sighs> fact helping the uni, not killing it from within, which is what I've been saying for the longest time. Duke will get his trophy back next week, which would be one hell of a moment, which I'm looking forward to. Yeah, be good. Riley's there, but we can't have everything being perfect. I think, <laughs> I, think it's, I think it's insane that this is how Shawn Michaels' brain works. The, Barely. <laughs> how did this not end with them having to wrestle a wrestling match to save the university on a wrestling right. show how did that not end oh like them that? having to work for the mafia like yeah. oh yeah we owe us some money so you are you have to beat up these dudes or yeah. whatever and they go no Sean was in a similar storyline with JBL yeah. once because if the it's signing getting, right, yeah. right. it gets pointed out on Twitter every single time a new like batch of like ladies get shown in NXT Shawn Michaels is a pervert I hear all these women <laughs> <laughs> Everyone he signs these days is like a 10 out of 10, and he, fi- he finds them everywhere to Shawn Michaels. There's no stopping the guy. So no, the fact yeah. that he would do a calendar makes It doesn't matter sense. if they can wrestle or not. Um, <laughs> oh, well, no, that's not true. Come on. <laughs> I shouldn't have said that. I'm so sorry. Mm-hmm. Good. This was awful. I hated it. What were you going to say about Riley Osborne? Um, uh, just everything. Like his. My eye kept catching him all the way through the segment, <laughs> pulling these faces and whatnot, just so insincere. The only good thing he did was taking a bump off a chest bump from Duke. Mm-hmm. That was quite a funny moment, but uh, he, he needs he needs gone. Oh, he's gone. He needs gone. From the he university gone. or from the roster? Kill him. Right. <laughs> it's NXT, that could happen. I know, yeah. yeah. What if he breaks Thea's heart, which could well happen? That would be remotely funny. They're not funny. <laughs> we are making the biggest heel in NXT. <laughs> what it? Yeah. Yeah. She, she did drop a clang earlier in the show. Oh. Like, oh, so do you think they go, well, we've got this much money for the calendar. It goes, all right, it wasn't enough. So we have sold Riley Osborne's body parts. <laughs> but I'm still using them. Doesn't matter. And we never see him <laughs> again. Is that the meaning of life when they turn up to yes. collect the organs? <laughs> Grab your liver. You are an organ donor. <laughs> yeah, you did sign this card saying we can have it. To yeah. be fair, Bodhi here was like arm, probably played for the camera. They took the pictures with the calendar. That's calendars. true. Yeah. How is this calendar going to... It doesn't matter. Are they actually going to sell a calendar? Of scantily clad ladies. And how I many not, are we I buying? Not, I bet they're not yeah, scantily please clad. Please check. I'll, I'll, for research. Well, I'll, Jack, <laughs> well, Jack <laughs> checks and ruins his algorithm. We will move on. We get vignettes featuring Tony D and the family. They again talk about how Rizzo is really tough and pure hard in that. OTM don't stand a chance at V-Day. Later, OTM get a vignette of their own. They talk about how they look, act, and hit different. When you do that, people realize they don't like things that are different. Jada Parker says they all come from nothing. So they're not slowing down for anyone. That could have just been anything. I can't I find the there. calendar, by the way. It goes on sale on Sunday. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Go on pre-order. So we'll have to see. <laughs> I couldn't see it anywhere. I could just find news articles saying, Chase, you saved by calendar. One was ours. News articles. Oh, his news being news. Yeah. It's mass- That's one of the four pillars mm. of NXT, having his university saved. Mm. No comeuppance for him. 
though. He did. Yeah, what, 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 what? He, he said it was his fault. <laughs> I'm fuming. We all need a lead like Mr. Chase. That's why I'm loyal to the guy. Okay. What, what, what lessons did you learn here, Andrew Chase? Whoopsie daisy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what was going to say? The, the Rizzo thing annoyed me a bit because the past sort of three times she's been in a vignette, it's been all about how it's, they've told the same stories. Yeah. She used to beat people up on the playground. Right. Nobody has been able to show. Wow, wow, we are. Nobody has been able to shut me up. <laughs> that was like the accent of like an alien, alien ambassador on Star Trek. Oh, the ambassador is here. Yeah, you mash. <laughs> I'm Adriana Rizzo. <laughs> I come from Kazakhstan. <laughs> but anyway, on a more serious note about these two promo segments, they both mentioned streets. Yeah. <laughs> Tony was where, like... Where the, we should be working. <laughs> to be honest with you. Tony was like, they're going to learn about the streets belonging to Tony. And then the OTM lads were like, they're going to find out they should have stayed on the sidewalk mm. because the streets aren't for everyone. If this isn't a street fight at the Payerimi uh. live event... I'll be disappointed. It should be a street fight, yes. At the P-Remium life it, event. It should, be a straight, it should be a street fight and no one's filming it. <laughs> <laughs> just tell us, oh yeah, I won, I right, cheers. That'd be good seeing, like, I think I'm Reggie there, sorry, scripts mm. well doing the parkour down the streets. That'd mm. be good. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I'm um, looking forward to nothing else. Is he in the match, though? Or you will interfere, won't you, Cosimo? Yeah, it will be. I think it's gonna you be... don't know that. Oh yeah, because there's three men and one lady, isn't there, an OTM? Yeah, so Scripps will have to sit out. Yeah. It'd be funny if they didn't choose one of the massive lads. <laughs> <laughs> it's you and Script. Sorry, Bronco. Yeah. <laughs> on the side. Alan Henley is getting ready for a match when Brooks Jensen arrives to reminisce about the good old days. What good old days? <laughs> what do you mean, what good old days? When we went to London and won the NXT UK Tag Team titles. Down at the pub. Oh, yeah. uh, you mentioned that as well. <laughs> <laughs> as we all know. What was it? I've forgotten the quote now. Drinking whiskey is great, but <laughs> as, as we no, all know, so like there's that, no right. thrill like riding a horse. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. you remember all the good stuff. <laughs> Ren Sinclair, boo, interrupts and asks Fallon if she can accompany her at ringside. Fallon says yes and asks BJ if they can talk later. She leaves and BJ is sad. So I've, I've worded that a bit wrong. She didn't say, can we talk later? She was like, sorry, can this wait until later? She really pied him off. She yeah. pied him off, yeah. yeah. She's, yeah. she's stolen this lady from Ariana Grace. Yep. And then all of a sudden, BJ doesn't matter. He, she wasn't interested. What he was saying at all? BJ's the most obvious heel ter- mid-heel turn person <laughs> I've ever seen, by the way, when he turned up looking like a vampire. <laughs> Remember the good old days, Valor? Look, yeah. Looking like Ross's <laughs> accent a few seconds ago. <laughs> no, he looked like the evil, um, the, the evil perfume slinging cowboy from Friends when Joey's on the floor. Oh, is it El Hombre? No, 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 no. Yeah, no. I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah. He did, did oh, he Joel with the yeah. save. Oh, well, Joel hasn't seen NXT, has he? Oh, he was dressed <laughs> head to toe in black, so he was like right. a cowboy. Yeah, sounds like him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> good one, Joel. Uh, JC, you are celebrating backstage, but Lexus King ruins it by arriving to flirt with the women in the same thing he just did like half an hour ago. Yeah, you can't stop him. How about wow. a signed copy of that spicy calendar for the king? He says, mm. What a line! That's oh, the best Lola. thing he's done in NXT so far. Uh, Riley Osborne tells him to back off, and Lexus says, This is why nobody likes him. Thea says, He's wrong because she likes Riley, and then she goes, Oh, yeah. what you like me? Yeah. It's like it's <laughs> children's films. What's this about? Uh, yeah. Suddenly, die Jack and Could Casey. Could it be? You, you like oh, me? I, I hope th- something comes along and s- d- breaks the tension here. Ah. Die Jack and Gacy burst into the scene, still having their brawl. Referees are unable to break them apart because that's all they ever do on NXT. You think they'd know by now? I feel like you two have lost the whimsy and magic of NXT. <laughs> yeah. The whimsy. I don't think I've ever had it. I'm You're just very skeptical about these times in NXT. No, no, I'm Some of this the, is good. I'm liking the die Jack and Gacy stuff. I've, I've done a full 180 on Joe Gacy. Think Why? He's, what I've, is he? I've done a 360 on him. Since he, <laughs> since he stopped being in the schism, and now he's just a crazy man. He's just I, a man if if you look back, I was more in favour of him popping up at random places than you two were at first. I was always on board. I was always on the Gacy train. <laughs> now, in the case of... <laughs> on the Gacy train. In the case of Chase U, I am losing faith slightly. Apart from with Duke, who's my favourite wrestler on NXT. Well, I've just remembered there, a week or two ago, Riley went, Thea, can I speak to you later on in private, please? And she went, Yeah. What happened? We've never... That never got paid off. Sean, tie up the loose ends, man. He went, I've got these horrible. <laughs> Are you from Cumbria, isn't he? Not Yorkshire, damn it. They shagged. Maybe they did. No, because then when... For horrible. <laughs> I mean, they're nice and everything. You've I mean, been there, Matthew. Maybe We've all they, been maybe there. We, in, I was a... Maybe, tang fasting. Maybe in Haribo, in a shower of it. 
What am I talking about here? Like and American uh, Beauty, uh, but we're a little late. Yeah. <laughs> One hits them in the eye. Ah! <laughs> it was one of the fried eggs. <laughs> All right, Grace, please follow and have the interference from Lash Legend and Jakara Jackson. Jack's old teacher. Yeah, yes, that was her. The bitch. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what bit are we up to? Oh, yeah. Was, um, <laughs> exactly. Uh, where are we? There was some Ariana stuff. Grace being fun and Henley. Have I missed something? Grace beating Fallon Henley. Did you have no notes? Oh, there we are. Uh, I was a big fan of Ariana <laughs> screaming and pointing at something that wasn't there just to distract That's Fallon. That's a good distraction. That's yeah. a good heel tactic. It yeah. didn't work, but it was fine. Works on dogs. Uh, mm. Yeah. Uh, it, this was the match that they gave the most time to. It felt like, I've not checked this, but it felt like this got more time than other matches mm. on the card. Especially the matches. 8, 8.41. Especially the matches that happened before it. Do you time the matches? No, you know Ridge it? went 9.38. No, he didn't. Of course, the Lexus King matches always feel twice at length anyway. So. Oh, well, I'm talking bollocks then. Did, Matthew, you, the journal. And also, the, the start match was 12.33. That's I get all, I get the match oh, you're I don't like, time it myself. You're like but, yeah, melting. I come online, you know. Wow. Tick, 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 tick. Oh. <laughs> Such an old school print sort of journalist. That was a good hives hit that. Tick, tick, mm. tick, tick. Yeah. yeah. Was that Christy Hemmings? No, she had walkie walk. Ah, yeah. of course, yes. Which was, it had to be a rib. Yeah. Here come the divas. See the idiot walk. Oh, I thought it's because she was a bit be. rock and roll. I mean, it is a good song, but idiot uh, walk and they all came out together. Yeah. I mean, it turned out to be true because oof, some of those segments. I saw yeah. it. Like, My ass is hungry. It needs to eat pie. Oh, yeah. There's some a quote that. by Matthew. Uh, Damn it. Greg. <laughs> Damn it. I forget we record a podcast every week with these exact same scenes. Harry Bo. So what did you think of this? It was fine. Yes. I don't know what else to say. I like the heelishness of Ariana Grace. I think she's a character that's got legs. Mm-hmm. Not in knows the how to use Stacey Keegler way, yeah. yeah okay. um, but yeah, Fallon's just a terrible friend, and I hope she perishes. <laughs> I don't hope she perishes. Perishes. <laughs> That's the second wrestling <laughs> right, death upon her. Perishes. I hope that Ariana Grace pushes her in a horse trough. Ah, that like would... Tiffy Strats. I because that we... apparently removes people from brands. It so does, yeah. yeah. Well, I thought we'd seen a perishing on this week's NXT, but we'll get to that. Oh, yes. Um, yes. Sadly, we didn't. No, no. It's excellent. Anyway, um, I think... I'm, I'm looking forward to Ariana Grace getting... Give her some stipulation matches where she can be more funny. Because the singles match is cool and everything, but she's a really good character, but she, she can't do... She can do the little things, but not the, the big thing. It's yeah. the little things. And it is the little things. So she's she's probably a bit of an Elias, as Ross said earlier. <laughs> the metaphor arrived for the next match, but Vic Joseph gets an urgent message from outside. He does that. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. We have to go back. I'll leave that little bit of acting mm. from the contest. We see Dijak throwing Joe Gacy off a roof. <laughs> He's dead! I've just remembered the bit where they're teetering yeah. and you hear Joe Gacy in the proper high-pitched voice for some reason going, No, Dijak, it's too high! <laughs> <laughs> oh, was that supposed to be Gacy? Gacy? Oh, I thought it was going to be Ava. <clears throat> I thought it was Gacy. I hope it was Gacy. <laughs> Gacy for some reason. <laughs> oh, I also loved his... Gacy just shouted, My dad's the rock! <laughs> <laughs> I also loved his really restless swanton... So he gets kicked happy. in the face, and then somehow that makes him turn around yeah, yeah, yeah. and then do a flip. Wow. As he shouts, CZ Dub! <laughs> yeah. It just was not realistic enough for me, unfortunately. Yeah, I know. Mm-hmm. But even by the sounds of NXT. But he kicked him in a bin. In a way, he got to live his, <laughs> he got to live his dream yeah, from the first week of the weird Gacy stuff, because he got to fall off a high thing. He did. Yeah, yeah. that is true. So good, good for him. Yes. Yeah. Backstage, Baron Corbin is annoyed. Brom Breaker didn't tell him he was going to be in the Rumble. The Wolf Dogs are better than that. And he goes, what? what, what? The who? The wolf dogs, you know. Arr, arr. He goes, actually, I think you're fine with that. Redacted. Bron is pleased mm-hmm. that he likes the name after all. Assholes. Yeah, oh, that, yes, there yes, yes. There's the joke. Baron Corbin was sensational in this segment, he I thought. Was. This is the best Baron Corbin's ever been, just him being a massive fanboy of Bron and dropping the wolf dogs thing in it. Mm-hmm. When he bursts back on at the end and does something, I can't <laughs> remember what he says. He did the they fist say they're going to beat yeah. Trick Mellow Gang in the Dusty Cup before having a big wolf dog fist bump. Arr, mm. arr. Arr, arr. It's going to be heartbreaking when Bron batters him and turns on him. Or the other way round. Um, yeah. Oh, you got to get him on the main roster together, I think. Oh, no. Nah. Oh, the arseholes oh, on no. the main roster. No, no, don't give Bron an anchor. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> no. Uh, him yeah. a, a propeller. No. <laughs> and that's no slight on Baron Corbin. I just think he'll shine as a star more if he's on his own running through people. Oh, I love the arseholes. Okay. Ron is due to be on SmackDown tonight. Yeah. Which they did say. Is Baron as well? Mm, don't think so. <laughs> Bron, Trick Williams, and Carmelo Hayes are going to be on SmackDown tonight. Ooh. It's basically the go-home show for Vengeance Day. Mm. Mm. Ah, that'll be why. Because it's not oh, an NXT. It's a it's an actual pay-per-view. Of course, yeah. yes. Or a Oh, by the way, 
I'll ask you to shoot on the stream, Jack. Okay. Would you like to join me for a live stream on the YouTube channel for Vengeance Day? What day is on Saturday or Sunday? I can't Sunday. remember. Is it Sunday? Yeah. Go on then. <laughs> oh. Join us live can on I, the YouTube can channel. Can I get the time back? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> You'll get precisely half a day's holiday, Jack, for I'll participating do. in this stream, which you can watch live. YouTube.com forward slash cultaholic forward slash live. But of course, Jack, we've done it for nothing because he loves the show. I do. Sunday. Sun. I don't Sunday. know. <laughs> it's a Saturday or Sunday? It's Sunday. Sunday. It's you. still Sunday. I'll do it. By Jove, I'll be there. By Jove. 6 start time, so that'll be... Oh, no. What time? Half 11 UK? That's yeah. Time. Half 11, I think. I'll take it. I'll need to find someone to cover me for news, or so will you. So will I. Yeah, we'll need to find someone to cover us for Tom's news. Tom's getting extra work. <laughs> oh, he might be away. It was his birthday recently. Happy birthday to Tom. Fraser's getting shift. Fraser and work Mondays. No one is doing news on yeah, Monday. Yeah, what the hell? We'll need to sort that out. Ah, oh, well. <laughs> Ora Mensa in the face of Noam Dar's Heritage Cup against Von Wagner, allowing Dar to win the first fall. Jakari Jackson, Lash Legend, also tried to get involved, but Van Henley and Ren Sinclair ugh, cut them off and brawl <laughs> on the outside. Dar- Wretch Sinclair. Wretch Sinclair. Thank you. I feel bad for the woman behind the character of Ren Sinclair, <laughs> I've got to be honest. Get in the bin like Gacy. <laughs> Dar still ends up winning 2-0. He and Mensa talk <laughs> Robert Stone's kids in the I... front row, so Vaughn attacks. Dar gets away, but Vaughn puts Oro through the announce table. You beat him! Now, now, can we just... I hated this match. No, I'm Dar beat Vaughn <laughs> Wagner 2-0. That's mad. The story of the match was it... horrible. Yes, that's mad. It was How horrible, it? right? It's Fair wild. enough. No, I'm Dar goes 1 0 up. That's fine. Then comes Fair making enough. this big comeback. No pun intended. Uh, we'll do it anyway. I hate and when then, you get coming your back. With the trainers, Cash and Carter, the Bash brothers, in attendance, watching their student wrestle the against Noam Dar. He loses the match does come by getting out wrestled by Noam Dar mm. in the midst of his comeback. What a load of nonsense. Yeah, this was This was bad. I can't believe I can't believe you're not liking it. I can't believe he the first the second pinfall fair enough was a roll up, I think. Yeah. First pinfall was his kick that he does that doesn't finish normal people, not giant men, mm. even. I've seen him in WCPW not beat so many wrestlers with that kick. <laughs> He's gotten better. Yeah, he has. Lena yeah, and Nina. Yeah. I thought it was weird, but I did find it funny. Uh, I like the fact that at the start, Vic says Wagner needs to watch out that he doesn't get his back blown out in this match. Booker T does not rise to that, but I did. <laughs> oh, was, do you think he was dangling a, a smutty bit of smut? I think Vic's just seen. go on, can I get fired? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what happens. Uh, but I thought this was exactly what it was going to be. Dar said, no. oh, I've got more friends than you, and Wagner's way of preparing was training with kids. D- Why would that make it prepared Not to take on the kids. numbers game? Not with kids. At the behest of the children. Yeah. At the they, behest of kids. The children were the trainers. <laughs> yes, it was the behest of the, the behest. The Bash brothers. I, I don't think <laughs> this did go the way I thought. I didn't think Vaughn would win, but I, I didn't think Dar would beat him. I know it wasn't clean, but like... 2-0? It got off to a wonderful start because it was clear the Bash brothers had been having an effect on Combs wrestling because that wrist lock spot. <laughs> I always picture Braun Strowman and Big Show whapping out on Raw just to yeah. show they were good at wrestling. Mm. He was doing that and he never does that, Come, He was doing the kip-ups and all that sort of stuff. Mm. He was toying with his prey in the first round. Then after the first bell in the, the, the bell in the end of the first round, um, he attacks Noam Dar. He didn't know the him, rules. Yeah. I like that. Or he was given Noam a slice of his own medicine because mm. he's a clever boy. He does maths, just yeah. come. But then it all went wrong. I like, didn't like it. In it. Yeah, of course. Don't like it. So he's better than Solo. That's a feud for the future, yeah. Mm. yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I thought, like, well. I love math. <laughs> I hate math. Yeah, you've been table. That's the feud. <laughs> <laughs> do you know your tables? Of course I do. <laughs> oh, time's time's table. Table. The terms table. Oh, that would be great. That would be great if come to, couldn't do math and, like, if you get one table, time to buy. <laughs> oh, shut up, man. <laughs> No, he majored in it or something. He was good at maths. Major math. Major, yeah. I mean, that's his Misfits in Action yeah. character. Yeah, this was exactly what I thought it was going to be. <laughs> yeah. crowd, crowd, I don't know, that's me just giving up. Um, crowd were like, all right, whatever. Uh, what? But they did like Wagner. A big pun. There was from Wagner from, chance. Wagner. From the kids. Wagner. No, the, no. It was deep. Yeah. Like Got her old Dudley Boys pop from 2001. Mm. Yeah. Wagner. <laughs> all the blokes wanted Von to win how long all is this show going on for all the women wanted also Von to win because he's a hunk mm. yeah yeah. it was funny when Noam and Oro were taunting the children that was a funny bit of wrestling <laughs> yes just don't bring your kids to wrestling shows no Robert okay. yeah what are you well. doing although they would maybe have been giving advice to Von and where was actually the... yeah he needed it mm. where was the mother in all of this 
He might be a single father. Oh no, she was there. She's a character. She made pasta. Ah, with the tartar th- 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 <laughs> <laughs> There she is. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> That's it. Like, I can't wait. Comes about to tap out. I, I brought wait. you the. Th- 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 <laughs> <laughs> like spinach. Like pop. Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait for the return next week of Kazakh Rizzo. It's going to be so good. Kazakhstani Rizzo. <laughs> Hello. Hello, no Sony. No one can get me to shut up. I am from Sicily, <laughs> the mafia. Yes. <laughs> Maybe Robert Stone was going to pick up his wife, but he drove straight past her. Hey! Uh, <laughs> yes. Come on, then. Yes. <laughs> she makes pasta. Hey, come on, then. <laughs> Let's be having it. What does he do when he can't get all the stacks? Ring it, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> Don't grow. No, no, I was impressed. All oh, right, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, and this NXT is rubbish. <laughs> Ava threatens to suspend Die Jack. He demands a no DQ match against Gacy at Vengeance Day, but Ava's like, what, what are you on about his deed? Then Gacy goes, no, I'm not. No DQ sounds like fun. Great and, spot. And she goes, oh, all right. And he dies in the bin? <laughs> and then he dies. Yeah, Gacy's now Kenny from South Park. He just <laughs> dies every episode and he's fine. Yeah. Brilliant. Okay, I like that bit. Gacy going, I'm not dead, I'll wrestle you. Oh, Did be... you like the cartoon? Ever go... oh, oh. What's that lad off Sesame Street called in the bin? Grab Oscar. Oscar, 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 Oscar yeah. That's Joe Gacy. <laughs> the doesn't matter. <laughs> game no, up there. I'm trying man. to find a rhyme for Gacy. <laughs> yeah. Um, Racy Joe Gacy, but yeah. he's in a bin. Doesn't work. Tracy, Gacy. Yeah. Tracy. <laughs> Tracy. Maybe the New York it's version so of Joe Gacy. <laughs> I'm Tracy Joe Gacy. <laughs> that was Jungle Boy. <laughs> Crammy. I'm now a 1950s detective novel. <laughs> the bit that I found weird in this promo wasn't the fact that Joe Gacy survived death. It was in response to seeing him attempt to murder a man, Ava went, I might think about suspending you. Like, what? She's a lenient GM. Well, yeah, dad did hire people to take out other people, didn't you? Didn't oh, he? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Rikishi. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. Yeah, Unless you're thinking point. of something else. <laughs> Is there a more sinister real life story about The Rock hiring a hitman? <laughs> wait, <the laughs> Not rock, yet. Wait a minute, he didn't hire Rikishi. He did it for The Rock. Rikishi just yeah, did no, no, yeah, that's what he confused me. Yeah, Rikishi did not do it because Rock told him. The to. Rock was mortified that he did that. I believe Rikishi. It is funny going back and thinking about it would have been cool if they did a bloodline with Rock and Rikishi. Just be like, you know what? I was happy you did that. Mm. But it's, it wouldn't have worked at all. And Rock had to do with that. I can't believe in like hindsight. That, just him turning heel and be like, you know what? Yeah, screw this. We just realized we're Simone and family. I'm going to beat everybody up. When Afro and Seeker are gone, that's the natural two successes mm. there. Rock and Rikishi. <laughs> is it? Yeah. <laughs> 2014 <laughs> tag team name of Rocky Ishii. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I can't believe, looking back, that of all the baby faces to turn heel, they went for Rikishi. He was so it, over. It made sense at the time. And then went from so over to so not. Yeah. Anyway. <clears throat> Trick Willie heads to the ring and calls out, Ilya Dragunov. Oh, boy, this is going to be fun. Dragunov offers a handshake, but Trick says, not right now. He accuses Ilya of playing mind games. Ilya says he only played mind games with Baron Corbin because he insulted his family. <laughs> but he respects Trick. Williams doesn't believe him. But Ilya says maybe he should be more worried about Carmelo Hayes. Willie says he's going to win the Dusty Classic and take the NXT title. Dragunov says their rivalry has done more to make Trick who he is than his friendship with Melo ever did. They argue about who's going to win on Saturday before shaking hands. Ilya unnerves Trick with a hug before the pair are attacked by the wolf dogs. Woof, woof. Melo runs out to make the save. Trick and Dragunov have a stare down in the show while Melo looks annoyed at being left out. Well... Okay. This was convoluted. Well, no, because Trick trusts Mello. Yes. But Trick doesn't trust Elia. Mello has got it in for Trick. I'm going to sneeze at the wrong time here. You got this one. That's go on, why go Mello was looking at Trick in that way, Elephant, Elephant, Elephant. Elephant. How did money go is that? Gone. <laughs> Jesus <Christ>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, at, that, at that point, I would just let myself sneeze. Right? Oh. <laughs> right, it's gone. But yeah, that's that's where we are now. <laughs> Trick, <laughs> Trick seems to think it's a master plan that Elia wanted to double book Trick for mm. this vengeance day, yeah. but Elia was like, no, I wanted to, to, to uh, play the mind games <laughs> with Baron Corbin. Mm. Yes. The best part of the segment, though, was Trick having to sell the hug. Mm. <laughs> uh-huh. It's look on his face when the camera's So why is Elia's thing now he hugs everybody? It made sense for Baron Corbin, but it didn't work at all. But now it's like, all right. So I found it quite interesting. Because Ilya had just stood there and lied to his face and went, I don't play mind games with you, Trick, and then did a mind game right at the end. So there's a bit there. Or he's just really lonely because his family's back in wherever oh, aye, they Germany. were. It's Germany. Where, yeah, where, where Rizzo lives, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I was going to say, wait, hang on. Oh, wasn't there the thing about teasing that Ilya was the person who attacked 
trick. Did that have a resolution, or have they just moved on from that? No, no, that'll come. That'll be on Sunday. Come yeah. Sunday. But like, it wasn't. Uh, but it wasn't mentioned. Well, this would be the time to mention it. No, oh, let us this is like, eternally heal. This is like Seth Rollins at WrestleMania 31. I was signed out of mind, <laughs> and then it comes back and bang, bang. Yeah, heist of the century. It mm. was me. I'm not sure how Melo knew that. Mm. Mm -hmm. So Trick's like, "Wow, Melo, you won't tell the truth." And I was like. Yes, I was. No way. No, it's got to be. It's got to be mellow. It's too silly of him to make it Ilya. I was like the idea of Ilya not doing what he's doing now because he's too over the top. Shawn Michaels seems to skip the foundations of a story and just go to the details and not establish what's actually going on. Yeah, and I'm sick of it. It's abstract. It's all right because if he loses the title, they just do a calendar. I also had a. <laughs> I had a. I had a pun, and then the week when I was ill, I didn't get to say it. But I had a oh, pun, another term for one of Shawn Michaels' booking techniques. So we've got the bait and bait. Yes. Where there's no switch. There's also things like like dangling a bit of plot that just never gets followed up on next week. I'm calling that a fed herring. So that's what Sean oh. did. Yeah, because the, the, the fed oh, I like yeah, that. I, 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 yeah, yeah. Thanks, everyone. Well done. I've saved that for about three weeks. <laughs> well done for sitting on that. Aye, cheers. Yeah, yeah. So we'll have to look out for those. Could this Ilya hug be a fed herring? Maybe. Hmm. Hmm. Or it could be a bait and bait. Oh, it could be a bait and bait. They're opposites, aren't they? Mm. Really? The Fed mm. Herring and the Bait and Bait? But also one and the same at the same time. Yeah. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> this is the sort of poignant, <laughs> thought-provoking storytelling that Shawn Michaels likes to do. If we had loads of time and stuff, I'd like to write the Shawn Michaels Guide to Booking, like a parody book that you can get in Waterstones and it's full of quirky choice quips at Shawn Michaels Booking style. <laughs> <laughs> and with the money we get from that... <laughs> We can save Cultaholic. Yeah, in the next decade. <laughs> AE Dub Dynamite. Aye. John Moxley beats Jeff Hardy in the opening match. Moxley tries to shake his hand, but Jeff flips him off and leaves. What's the, that the about? The best way, by the way. He gave it one of them and then yeah. gave it the finger. Oh, well. the double. <laughs> the bait and bait. Cancels it out. A Power Ranger. Ranger. Means you respect him. No, yeah, it doesn't. Yeah. Why has Jeff done that? Did that feel out of character? Has he been doing that recently? Well, he's because been... he's been losing matches. He's asked for uh... him and Matt bitched about not getting matches on Dynamite, and then Jeff Hardy's proceeded to lose his matches on Dynamite. Mm -hmm. That's fair. I'm, I'm on board with it then. Yep. Although Is Matt not... Hardy injured at the minute? What's going on? I don't know, because, like I said, uh, Bloody Revy Sky did the thing where uh -huh. GT's that... that, and then people said it to work, and then I went, I'm not sure. But then he has been on TV since, and I'm like, but he's worky, been... shooty, shooty, worky. He's been on the socials, though. It's confirmed it's a work. Like, off that. We were on it the other day, me and Caleb just having a look, because we'd be quite interested to see if it was real, and it is... A fakey, this split up of those two. It Damn looks it. like anyway from the outside looking in. Mm. I'm gonna I'm gonna stand my ground. <laughs> <laughs> and then when I'm proven right in like three years' time, it's alright. Uh -huh. I like that for this match though, the rules were officially laxed, as Excalibur put it, because the people uh -huh. were gagging to see this match. They want to just let it go a bit further. I mean, yeah. Two legends. Mm. Icons. And I thought it was nice to see Jeff um just be Jeff. He didn't look knackered, he didn't look in pain. Because mm. in his entrance he's like doing the bits on the turn, but he's and he's grimacing. It looks like he's grimacing, so I'm like, oh dear. He Give him the night like off. That. Yeah. But he, he moved well around the ring and did all of his stuff. I like the um the pen being used to to stretch Jeff Hardy's holes in his ears. Oh. Yeah, oh. In his ears. Like that when is... the ladder got used and down the cell. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's so good. That is a real relaxing of the rules, actually, now you mention it. Yes. Oh well. That yeah. it was I was not expecting this to be as Decent as it was. Mm. Yeah, it, it, it's good. I'm not really wanting to see it, but it's still good for what it is. I'll, it's weird that um, with people like Joe and Moxley and stuff all having sleeper hold finishes, it's strange that that seems to be the new way of putting someone over without taking the pinfall. I'll pass out from the sleeper, but I, right. won't, I won't be pinned or something. Yeah, it's not, there's, <clears throat> there's dignity in that, I mm. guess, which is like, yeah, okay. But yeah, it's with Jeff Hardy matches, it's like, okay, you'll do your stuff. You'll hit your highlights and send the people happy because you're really over still. But then you have matches that are working around your negatives just to make you look good rather than having a proper match. Mm. But, eh, whatever. Maybe I'm just bitching too much. I think I am. Moxie then <laughs> taunts the CMLL wrestlers and they jump the barricade and beat him down. You're the members of the BCC aren't here tonight. So of all people to save him, Matt Menard, <laughs> Angelo Parker, Crystal Daniels and Matt Seidel, Chase Smell. What? What the hell was this? It's real. This wasn't going to happen. That's why it was such a strange collection of baby faces coming to save the day. Those four were just loitering around backstage and had nothing better to do, but a monitor was nearby. Yeah. Imagine if you're Moxie going, it's all right, I can talk to these lads. I've got, you know, Danielson and Claude. Oh, God, they're not here tonight. Oh, no, I made a grave error. It was Mystico, Mascara Dorada, Volador Jr., and then one that I'm not familiar with. I'm not familiar with my but Dave Luchador. Yes. 
That's Dave it. Dave the Luchador. Dave. Yes. David. L. L David. David. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and in his dealer's choice match, Hangman Page beat Swerve's hand-picked opponent, Toa Leona. Yes. Good pick. Big boy. Hasn't been pinned or submitted in AW. Fantastic. Well done. Toa tries to attack Hangman afterwards, but gets sent out the, uh, the ring. For his first pinfall of loss. Yes. Well done. He did, I. I was... Do you any moves of the week moves? Potentially. We're running yeah. out of time. Oh, we are running out of time. It might have to be a retroactive one, Joel. Make you earn oh, your money. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, uh, I was a big fan of the pounce from Turley owner where got Handman tied up in the ropes. That was a good spot. Um, I thought he did really well, Turley owner, just in the match generally because he would wrestle so differently to most of the people on the roster. It took me on a journey. Mm I don't know what I'm saying now. Um, I thought there would have been more underhanded stuff with it being a dealer's choice match and the whole thing being a swerve hiring this hitman, just like The Rock hired <laughs> Ricky uh, to take out Hangman, but there wasn't much. It was just a straight-up match, which then later in the night made uh, Swerve look a bit of a tit. Um, and I thought there was a nice finish as well because it looked like Toa was unbeatable, but he got a whistle-wazzle and mm. wee-wee-wee. Yes. Yeah, a yeah. whistle-wazzle and a wee-wee-wee. Oh, yes, yeah, very nice. <laughs> ah. The young books oh, arrived. It was a very... Oh, it doesn't matter. Outside the arena, and they find a crew member five hundred dollar dudes for not using their full names. And it turns it's out funny. That Matthew's middle name is actually Ron John. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was a joke. R O N J O N. Ron John. He's Matthew Ron John. Jackson. Matthew Ram Jam. <laughs> <laughs> Book. I thought it was very interesting timing that the books have both shaved their or changed their mustaches into goatees. Yeah. Almost as if they were parodying someone, thinking people would. So laugh. yeah, that clarifies. <laughs> that was what they were doing. Yeah. For. Also All right. Saw great. A tweet or a. Reddit post, not sure which one, which mentioned that they'd grown out the rest of their beard. To and also, they said that last week they were doing like a gruff, deep voice as well, which they've stopped doing. And I was like, I don't remember that, but maybe they were. I don't, I don't remember know. the gruff voice. No. But yeah, no one was laughing at the mustaches before the no. the poo hit the fans. So Do you get it? We're being like dubbed, but we don't care. Yeah. Uh, Wardlow beats Commander in a singles match, but it looks like he may have gotten injured towards the end. Yeah. Uh, Wardlow, I thought looked. Fine and dandy, just throwing Commander around, going yeah. like the last scene of Goldfinger, Rod Job and uh, Connery. Yes. And then, bless him, Commander does a Phoenix Splash, lands with all his knees and all the face of poor Wardlow. Wardlow does that thing the corner that used to look really cool with Jobbers, he used to do on like Dark when he put them in the corner, then kick them and they die. Uh, the camera and, angle for that was weird. Yeah, yeah. The way they shot it, like, just he thrusted his hips at them. Like It didn't look oh, great. I'll yeah. hump you out the air. Yeah. <laughs> so they did that, and then he went for the powerbomb, and it didn't look great, and he pinned him. And then afterwards, Wardlow got up and was just like, eh, you know. So I'll, I'll be like, oh, he looked crap here. Is he injured? I'm like, probably just because that bloody Luchador well, sat on his face. I thought he was limping a bit when I he got to the limping, outside. Yeah. And he wasn't in the ring for the stare down that happened after. And on commentary, they were like, Wardlow standing guard over Adam Cole here. And then it cut to Adam Cole with Wardlow not near yeah, him. And I was right. like, this is bad. It's got to feel bad for him if it is an injury because it certainly looked like it was not planned for him to be hobbling just yeah. after his power bomb there. Because the, the way the commentators were mentioning knockouts, it felt like they were going to go for another knockout win for him. Mm. Then he went for a pinfall straight off the powerbomb because it was it seemed like he was knackered, but it's another thing that's potentially hamstrung him Yeah, in AEW. Yeah. Uh, very strong tells Commander he should, be, he should have accepted his deal on collision. The UK were prepared to beat Commander down. The OC, Trent Beretta, and Rocky Romero make the, the save. O, not the OC. It was Orange Stop Cassidy. <laughs> bad guys leave instead of fighting. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not on board with the Undisputed Kingdom. Well, it feels like they've lost a lot of their momentum and reasoning because it was all about MJF and turning on him, and he's not here now. So now Joe's like, well, I'm going to concentrate on Swerve Strickland and Hangman Page and maybe Hook, uh, and you guys can just funny about with Orange Cassidy. Yeah, I mean... I, okay, great. That was definitely worth the months they're of killing, and nothing. They're killing time to get Roddy the IC belt, which I guess makes sense, but as you say, the momentum is just slipping away week after week, and Roddy's my favourite thing about it at the minute. Yeah. Adam Cole, I don't... Plus, Adam Cole was back to being a bit silly on commentary. Like, hee, hee, hee. I wasn't sure yeah. if that was him just being him. It's just weird that, like, their main, the hook of their, like, announcement promo, so to speak, was like, we want all of the gold, but we're currently challenging for some of the gold. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> we're waiting patiently <laughs> for the others. Tony Schiavone hosts a sit down interview between Darby Allen, Sting, Ricky Starks, and Big Bill. A guarantee of no physicality has been agreed. Ooh. Ricky Starks is still angry about Sting beating him when he first came to AE Dub. Mm. Darby accuses Ricky of seeing Sting as a stepping stone. Well, duh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ricky says next week he and Bill will retain the tag titles and make sure Sting doesn't even make it to his retirement match. Bill says he and Starks are being overlooked because everybody assumes Darby and Sting will head into revolution as tag champs. Well, that's not going to happen. Sting says Ricky has yet to earn his respect 
and he's still not sure Big Bill is the killer he claims to be. Darby says Ricky's the only person to blame for his own problems. Starks throws water in Darby's face and dares him to attack. Sting stops him from doing so. I'm really glad that they clarified that when Sting says, are you all in? And the guy showed the graphic for all in at Wembley. <laughs> that was just, no, 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 no. Mm-hmm. It's not all in. That's a different event entirely. It, they meant I'm all in and getting the tag titles. Right. Thank you for clarifying that. Yeah. This, this was a good segment. Oh, uh, it had the, it was good, but it had kind of the opposite effect than intended on me. Oh, really? Whereas I really want Ricky and Bill to win now. Because Darby was a bit of a dick. <laughs> he didn't just take issue with Ricky saying Sting is a stepping stone, which as Ross said, is that's wrestling. But also, he invented that, that as well. He went, I bet you see him as a stepping stone. Well, how dare you? And I thought, he never said he was, didn't hmm. do that. I'll tell you, don't respect my dad. Yeah. Um, and then I thought Ricky and Bill had good points. Everyone thinks we're going to lose. Yeah, I think that was a nice bit. It's just like, we're okay, we're the champions. Get Darby and Sting ready for this. And you're like, nah, I, I like Big Bill and Ricky. Because yeah. Ricky's so good on the microphone. He's great in these segments. And yeah. I just desperately want them to win, even though they won't, because then it means that the Bucks won't end up winning the belts, but they're going to win the belts from Sting, <laughs> aren't they? Yeah, they are. Yeah. But, nah, I, I like this. Mm. Despite appearance from Powerhouse Hobbs, Chris Jericho beats Carl Fletcher. Takeshita comes out in the stage and stares Jericho down ahead of their match next week. Turnbuckle spot was a bit scary. Oh, God. Was Jer- that meant to be Jericho getting out of a superplex? I or was don't it meant know. to be working out. Yeah. They were like, wow, what a cool brain buster. Like, I'm just glad that they nailed something resembling a wrestling Because didn't Sammy say, oh, El Generico used to do this on the indies, like a brain buster on yeah, the top. Yeah, but it looked like he meant to do it. Yeah, Not, yeah. Not, uh, oh, Christ, oh, brain buster. Yeah. yeah. Uh, then he gave him the, the modified code breaker to Kyle's face. Uh, which I, I assume Kyle's just like, I'm, I'm, I'm polite enough to take this. Not his beautiful face. I know, right? It's the <laughs> best uh-huh. feature. Yeah, no. So he did that and it looked stunning in fairness, but like, that's not how the move is supposed to look. Yeah, Jericho looked like he needed a few more days to recover after the cruise. I mean, he would have been partying all night, wouldn't he? It, yeah. Still gas from Rock and roll all day. Um, uh, every day, whatever the lyric is. Mm. But yeah, so bless Kyle Fletcher. Uh, I don't know why they booked the Ring of Honor TV champion to lose clean to Jericho. Oh, God, he is. I don't oh. get this. With Hobbs and Callus at ringside. Well, then Jericho should be the TV champion. You defend that belt only on TV. It was on title. You're like... That's a TV belt. All right. Mm. Uh, highlight was Fletcher getting the ropes to escape the walls of Jericho and powerhouse Hobbs ruffling Kyle's hair for support. Yes. <laughs> that was nice. Not the sick Mich- Michinoku driver they did right at the start? No, no. no? What are you talking about? I'm not here for the wrestling. Uh, crowd was so into smash they chanted, where's your socks at dawn? <laughs> I've written down here, all of Kyle's offense was so prone cocktail. Go on. So crisp. Oh, so overrated. Hey. <laughs> so overrated. Oh, no. Prone cocktail's not over. It's underrated. Everyone craps on it because it my, stinks. My favorite flavor. Don't like it. Um, oh, prone cocktail. Yeah. yeah, they did the bit if where... If you were it... prone, I'd dip you in a cocktail. <laughs> Thank you. Ding dong. Yeah. Uh, there was a kick in the corner followed by a brain buster. Ooh la la. Um, Chris Jericho's flying Judas effects didn't really... Uh, I don't know why he was winning. I know they're telling the story of them getting to Takeshita. Why was Takeshita not a ringside? He's part of the boys, isn't he? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Why does he get the big entrance at the end? Wrestling, eh? If, so if, they can <laughs> point at him and go, you. I, I know that most people watching the uh, watching Dynamite will have known this, but some will, and I did, is that Jericho beat Takeshita clean over in DDT like a few months yeah. ago. He mentioned it, didn't he? Did he? Yeah. Oh, he, made, yeah, he brought up in a promo course. And I remember thinking, well, that's really cut this big feud short and made Takeshita look crap. And if he beats him again, he surely he can't beat him again. Takeshita has to win now. I'm, I'm so scared. No, they're setting up Jericho versus Callus at the pay per view, surely. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. The only person he hasn't beaten yet in this team. Mm. There was no boost for Jericho this week, though. No, I noticed that. I bet he was bu- it, hey, buzzing the, last The Thursday. benefit of the, uh, the yeah. very, very fast moving news cycle of wrestling. Uh. <laughs> in a video package, Deona, sorry, I'll call it DP. No, you got it right. Yeah. Oh, did I? Yeah. Oh, I can't do that. Oh. <laughs> Dean. Explains that the matching <laughs> tattoo she shares with Tony represents their friendship and they their journey that they have taken together in the world of wrestling. But what does it mean to Tony now? Mm. It just it doesn't give a duck about it. Because that's uh, a duck tattoo. That's a duck. <laughs> she started by going, all my tattoos mean something or represent a part of my life. This duck's just a random one that me and Tony got. But I get it because it, it represents their friendship, I suppose. Yes. Okay. We flock together like ducks. We were mighty like ducks. I've never seen The Mighty Ducks. <laughs> I don't, is that from The Mighty it's Ducks? It's a film I watched as a kid. Yeah. I'm sure it's awful now, but I liked it as a kid. I've seen one of the sequels. Have you? Yeah, but not the first one. Yeah. Oh, were you like, who's this? What's happening? They disguise... Like Bully Ray watching wrestling. I, I, just going, remember... I don't know, where's the story? <laughs> I, I just they, they disguise one of the outfield players as the keeper, and then he takes his helmet off 
and it's this lad who's got a really powerful shot, and all the other team are like, that's not the keeper, it's him, and he scores. That's illegal. Surely that's not allowed. Yeah. Anyway. Sounds great, though. Yeah. Um, all right. The Bang Bang Scissor Gang come out and do their catchphrases and stuff. I'm not sure what the point of this was. Yeah. You could, that could be like the last three months. That's all they've done, the acclaimed, the acclaimed. especially. Because um, I thought they were throwing up a, a, like a, a bit of a, not a fed herring, an AEW oh. herring. Yeah. Because uh, they were like, oh, well, there's one thing missing here. And they whapped out a uh, card blade. And I was like, well, no, it's got to be juice. I was like, oh, they're going to forget about juice. But no, then they whapped out a cardboard juice as well. Tony Cerrone sarcastically then saying, boy, AEW is fun, isn't it? <laughs> it was a pointless segment. <clears throat> there's no substance to it. Just say your catchphrase and get out of the ring. Yeah. 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 Accompanied by Johnny TV. Hey, Valkyrie. Oh, you idiot. Ah, uh, you see see what's happened. I see, I understand. Lyra's confused you now. TV. <laughs> oh, that's why he's Johnny TV. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, 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 let's go there. Ah. The two TVs take on DP. TS is on commentary. <laughs> oh. DP sends TV into her. She had to win via TKO. <laughs> no, she pinned her. She pinned her. <laughs> yeah, she pinned her sorry. And someone PP'd mm. on her seat. Yes. Yeah, apparently. Shocking, mm. that. This, it feels harsh to say during this match Logan because this, this, <laughs> this match got time and it was a good ding-dong battle. They were both gave as good as they got. But it was all distracted by commentary. Yeah. Tony Storm was on fire saying we all know Excalibur is Sean Mooney anyway. Then Excalibur, I don't know if, what happened during commercial breaks on fight and what happened during the live broadcast. So if you missed it, it was during a commercial break. Excalibur then mentions Jeff Harvey. Taz is like, oh, that means you might get away. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's references. Um, slap to the titties. That's a move out of my playbook. Is a great quote from Toti. Uh, Tony. Toti. Mm-hmm. Toti. Come on, the man, I get the names wrong. Right? Um, uh, the then Tony said, "Ah, she's a virtuosa. A vir- oh my god, she's a virtuosa. <laughs> I know she's a good pianist, but that doesn't mean she can have a shot at my title." Mm. Hey. Um That doesn't matter. It was all just Tony's lines on commentary. I've got a few more written she's down. She's like but- the lad in Mary Poppins of all the instruments because she's such a one-person show. Yeah. She's a maniac, maniac. I've no idea what the, she's playing that thing. But, like, yeah, she does too much. <laughs> she went doing that in Mary Poppins. I know, I can't remember that. She's a maniac, maniac what, what on song, the phone. What song did the, the guy from Mary Poppins I've never seen say? Mary Poppins. Is he the blue guy? You see Mary Poppins? Is he the blue guy up to the Chim- ceiling? Chimney? No, no, that, that's, that's Dick Van Dyke who's <laughs> on the rooftop. laughing on the ceiling? That one? Super califragilistic. Does it? Yeah. See, that's the thing. You can't remember what he's actually. Um, ba, ba, um, ba, something like that. That's how. No, that's from uh, Oliver Twist, that man. All right, then. <laughs> <laughs> it's a long way to February. I have no idea. I have no idea. So, anyway, the point was. was man just, okay. The point was. <laughs> free piss, free piss. Uh, the point was, she's doing all the stuff. It's great, but no one can. Do anything around her. No. Yeah. Without thinking, well, there's Tony. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Which is very good for Tony. It's not good for everybody else. Agreed. Uh, but Able. I also like what she does. Yeah. yeah. It's so. a weird f- position to be in, yeah. isn't it? Especially when she's been given a pair of anal beads. Sorry. Upon arriving in New Orleans. That's the, the one of the lines I didn't read out there. She's happy to be in New Orleans. She said anal beads. She said I was given not a lovely beads. She was given a lovely pair of beads, but they weren't for my neck. Ah, so where else could they be for? You get through those little doorways, you see? Yeah. A pair? Uh. Well, that's a start. Oh, well, man, she's <laughs> got here. <laughs> Honestly, you get a gift for someone, I don't think it was bitch. Tony Storm is unbelievable. Yes, yeah, she is. Yes. That's some analysis. Yeah, yes. I haven't had that in a while. Yeah. Uh, the Young Bucks interrupt a backstage interview with Darby Allen. Oh, good, I can't stand him either. Uh, they ask why he's letting Sting leech off his popularity. Once Sting's gone, the book suggests making a trio with Darby. He replies that the only thing on his mind is winning the tag titles. And Everest. Oh, well. I like the setup for the interview, because all of a sudden, Rene just goes, uh, would you like to talk to me about your admiration for the Young Bucks? And then we're like, oh, what? And then they come yeah, slinking yeah. on camera. That's good, that. Yeah, that's all right. But your friend trying to tell you, like, don't say, don't say that. that. You've got the person you bought slag off right behind you. Oh, no, had... I thought it was like they'd encourage Renee to yeah. just stage oh, okay. yeah. They should have had like both young guns like comedy guns. Like just say it, Renee. Yeah. Just uh, comedy guns though. <laughs> say it. Rather. Do you like the the different characters slightly now? Matt's the fake friendly one. And Nick's the boring one. <laughs> Nick's, <laughs> no. Nick, Nick's had plastic surgery, you know. Has he? His face. Or either just lots of makeup. Probably lots of makeup. But his face was like creaseless. Oh, like that referee. <laughs> yeah. A creaseless face. Huh. It's a fantastic face. I was creaseless watching them try and be funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey. 
Samoa Joe joins commentary for the main event. Swerve Strickland's dealer's choice opponent is revealed to be... Wow, I can't believe this. It's Rob Van Dam. Oh, oh his catchphrase is the whole... Ah, get it. Hey. Freeceless. Hangman appears on the Tron, reveals that he was allowed to pick the stipulation. And Swerve's like, oh, really? I would have done a better match than mine then if I knew that. That's shock. Can't go back. So he's chosen a hardcore match because what else could RVD do with this 2024? Swerve wins and Hangman comes to the ring afterwards to confront him. Page says he'll never let Swerve be champ. Swerve laughs. Ha! And says he's already beaten Hangman twice. Why would he have another match? Which is a good point. Hangman provokes Swerve into accepting by saying he'll always beat him in a pure one-on-one bout. The match is set for next week with the winner facing Joe at Revolution. <sighs> and Swerve should have pointed out, no, I beat you in a one-on-one normal match. Do you not remember? Ah, uh, with interference, though. A pure one-on-one bout. <laughs> there was All a right. lot I like about this after the initial, like, what? what's he picked RVD for to hurt his blood foe? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I don't um, people to come to these shows. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, but they the brought it around a bit with a hardcore stipulation. I thought RVD was ageless again. In the ring, like, when he walks down, you think, oh, he looks a bit bit packed, but then he starts wrestling, and it's like it's 2002 again. For me, anyway. He looks way better than he did in five-star wrestling. <laughs> no, no, he, like, that's why, uh, like, what happened in the past sort of Seven years to make him good again. I don't Money. know. Money. Oh, yeah. Oh, being in a polyamorous relationship, Bob. Yeah. A what? A polyamorous relationship. He's been very happy about the fact that, hey, yeah. here's my girlfriend and here's her girlfriend. Yeah, I remember you really enjoyed that when it first... Uh, Rob Van Dad, I called that an <laughs> impact. He had a run on impact where he wouldn't wrestle and it was hilarious because you go, no, I'm too busy. I'm too tired from me and my girlfriend and my girlfriend's girlfriend. No, it's, it's good. And he was just like, he's not doing anything. He's, he's amazing. He's the best <laughs> run he's had in ages. <laughs> That's the best and, like, run. <laughs> five people saw it. It was so, honestly, genuinely fantastic. It was Katie Forbes, wasn't it? Is that what she's called? Sure. No idea. Okay. Uh, with the calendar. Um, <laughs> uh, that's a reference to something earlier, whatever. So, uh, yeah, the match was, I'm not as much as, in, in, I am not as pro this type of thing as you seem to be, but again, it wasn't bad either, so I'll take it. It's RBD. People just want to see him play the hits. Yeah, Somebody Pan- go see an old band. Yeah, Pantera as well. Yeah. Who are also touring. They're doing download. Hey. Yeah. So busted. It, yeah, busted a download. People have been kicking off. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, mean, I only found out about download because one of my mates, probably mutual friends, went, busted! <laughs> oh, cool, the lineup's been announced. Yeah, it's busted. Probably mutual friends. Do you see me as a, a, a mosher? You know, you're a thrasher. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but I turned to Tony Storm. <laughs> yes, we did. Yeah. So, yeah, so this match was, you know, it was good for what it was. It's fine. It's, it's it's going someplace. It's the important thing. It's got direction. People are wanting to see this feud, mm-hmm. uh, which is the important thing. Is one of the positives of AEW. I think we've we'll been a bit negative this week, but I'm going to focus on the fact that I am looking forward to seeing Swerve and Hangman go at it again. So Swerve can beat him a third time. Well, I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm intrigued about what's going to happen here because if Swerve wins, he's beat him three times, and he goes on to face Joe, is that too soon? Because he, he's then got no. to beat Joe, surely. He's no, got to become strike champion. Strike while the iron's hot. Do you reckon? Yeah. Fair. Go on, man. Hmm. Hmm. Then when it gets hook. I liked his appearance in the match as well, helping his family associate RVD. Is that the line he used a few weeks ago? He's like, my yeah. someone in my... Uh, ah, whatever he said. I, I try to imagine ECW is just one big family. It's like, RVD used to babysit me when, <laughs> when Taz was away. It's like, that's not... God, I hope not. Clouds everywhere. <laughs> it's baby hook. Where's my kid? He's like, I was babysitting. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, AE dub, some highlights here. I was going to try and make a pun about Ganja there. Can, catch a Ganja May. Mm. They, they, it's there somewhere. <sighs> no, you can. That's probably the best pronunciation you've done of that move. What the Kajimajime? I can't remember. <laughs> it's mad that like ah, ah, ah. Kajimajime. Me, me and Ross can say like Lyra Valkyria, but we can't say it. And the, you the nail it. Kajimajime. Kajimajime. Kamehameha. Because I would watch Taz and he'd still be going. When I lock in the Kajimajime, uh. you Van Dam, you'll tap out. Do you reckon you've watched more episodes of NXT in your life now than ECW? Oh so? uh, yeah. Mm. How many years is NXT? Oh, God, yeah. Is NXT 2.0 then. Sh- NXT 2.0 2. 2. then. 2. Autumn 21 is when that change was made. God. Oh, yeah, easily. <sighs> That's coming up for three years of our lives. But you know what? <laughs> is it going to be like in 10 years' time, come to the NXT arena, see all the NXT favorites. Now they're old and crap looking. It's not, is it? I hope so. <laughs> who's, we'll who's, be organizing it. Who's the, who's the Tommy Dreamer of the piece? <laughs> Lexus King. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> It's probably Chase, you know. Oh, never. Yeah. Yeah. He's the, oh, well, God, he is. He's the heart and soul. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's had the exact same gear on. It's all torn. 
Hey, you just save the chase, you. Come on, buddy. It's like an old, yeah, it looks like a little can that's open. <laughs> He's like, that was years ago, man. <laughs> This segment's going nowhere. Aye. I'm sorry. We've Wrestling's great. We've done it. You oh, got to move we've... the week, Ross? Why did you have to say that, Joel? <laughs> I will give it. I will give my move of the week, the prestigious move of the week. Joel, I wish you didn't bring it up. I'm sorry. I'm Jade sorry. I, could, I, could cut I will this out. give it to Jade Cargill slamming Nia Jax in the Women's Rumble, which yeah. we didn't make a point of saying in full. Front row. So there'll be no space to put the little jingle in that's but that's right, fine for this week yeah it's good choice long like enough that. thank you Joe the compliments <laughs> let's have a rummage in our mail bags <laughs> ah, oh. mail bag time number one Cody's Rumble win saw Michael Lauriston Thomas claim a bright yellow beanie with an old school Royal Rumble logo on it after drawing random numbers for entrance while watching with his pals ah. however his email was longer than one of Andrew's pictures, and this video is long enough. It does oh. prove that sidekicks are real, and Ross's video wasn't a total waste of time. Way! I thought I had to put it in there because the email was so long and detailed, but I don't know how long we've already been going for. It's quarter past five. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll say quickly, I know what's going on, but like somebody at the, the Rumble said, I'm really sorry, by the way. I sent in an email ages ago when I was drunk. It didn't go anywhere. And you read it on the thing, and I'd forgotten I typed it. And he was just like, oh, no. And we were like, what the hell is this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we trashed it. We're like, oh, this is awful, this. This guy oh. must have been drunk. And he was just like, yeah, I was. I'm really sorry. <laughs> I'm like, oh, bless you. So there you go. Prove you're listening. Didn't know mm. Tugboat watch the podcast? Nah. <laughs> Evening Squires. With hello. Recent, hello. The recent talk and possibly justified fear of the stinger proclaiming the Young Bucks will be the final opponents in his illustrious career. I find myself feeling more emotional over the fact that it could be the last time we hear a commentator call out, It's Sting! However, like Pavlov's dog, whenever I hear that line or even see Sting appear on screen, I always think of JBL yelling, That's not Sting, that's a picture of Sting! Mm. During one of Sting's first appearances in the WWE. John's philosophical pondering of what is and isn't a human being, <laughs> when and if they appear in the Titan Tron, has lived with me forever. My question is this. What's the worst commentary call ever? Hmm. Or perhaps more specifically, a terrible error in the presentation of a great wrestler that has damaged them a little bit. The podcast has given me many a hearty chuckle on several boring night shifts and a much chirpier alternative to the big you-know-whos. Long live the diddlers. <laughs> <laughs> Yours sincerely, former Shamrock Rovers and uh, Airdrie. Airdrie United uh, striker, Gary Twig, a.k.a. Tommy from Greenock, Scotland. Tommy! Thank you, Tommy. Thank you, Gary. Ah, <laughs> oh, fantastic. I've got one. Go on, then. Set the scene. Just... A little bit of silence. I've got a text from a man. Oh, go on. She's worried because there's been an acid, acid attack in London. <laughs> Why is she warning <laughs> me about that? <laughs> oh, I'll beat you. Sorry. I'm no, I, I, I do like, I'm better than that. My mum... Oh, my mum rang me on the Friday. Say, you all right, son? I thought I'd give you a ring. Me mate has just told us that it's... Apparently, World War Three is imminent. So I was just going to let you know, uh, you know, don't bother the life insurance. <laughs> and uh, just saying, if you have a nice time in London, you know, it's been great. It's been emotional. <laughs> I went, Mum, I'm on Sky News now that you've said this. It's all about Klopp leaving. <laughs> 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 like, I don't think... Uh, look, I said, I'll tell, tell her, look, Mum, they, they have to say something interesting in the news or you won't click or pay attention. So I think we're all right for now. Um, I did read it. But thing. I had to tell my mum was like, I don't know, as you've been told, and I guess that she gets a bit panicky. He's like, oh, that is it, it's happening. Like, okay, well, sure. How are you anyway? I did read a thing from an expert, not to worry everybody. What's saying, an expert? I don't know, saying that we're now living in a, a pre world, pre See, that was, that war world, world thing. rather than a post one. Yeah. Yeah, I've been worried about a new war for a while now, and I'm worried that the signs are all there. I'm not I, well, I was the ex country. I hate living here. It's yeah, just, I'm not. I'm not. I don't enough. feel any ties to this nation. I'll run I away. don't think any of us three sterling athletes. Oh, we we'll get be... conscripted. Oh, of course. It's up to the we age will. of 41 in World War Two. If it's know? against China, there's was no... it up to 41? Uh, oh, there's so many, so many other people in the world. We they need to conscript everyone from blighty. <laughs> oh. to... um, my mum's text was. Jack, there's a madman on the loose. He's thrown a corrosive substance on a woman and two children in London, but he's from Newcastle and could apparently be coming back here. Oh, my God. His name is Abdul, and he's got significant injuries to the right side of his face. <laughs> 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 Why is she telling me this? Please stay safe. Be careful. <laughs> 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 oh, 
Thanks, Mum. Mums are great, aren't they? God, it make, it makes me that? terrified in case I ever have children. The fact that you... Oh, I'm, I'm exactly the same. You like, must yeah, yeah. care and worry about something so much that you you yeah. get driven mad by that. Yeah. By someone in London. Oh, he's coming back up here. When I say to my mum in London, she was so great. She was like, well, Matthew, we live in a bit of a rough area right now. It's literally... Oh, is that your mum? It, 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 actually, it's not. Who's this? Hello? Abdul? To finally answer this lovely person's question, mine is... Let's give it three seconds of silence. It's Christian. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long, yes, been a long day. Yes, that was Todd Grissom <laughs> on ECB on Sci-Fi. Christian made his big debut, return, whatever you want to call it, uh, after being speculated that he was going to be making an appearance at the Rumble and to help Edge retain the title. He didn't because I guess they thought it was too obvious, so he just appeared on ECW instead and uh, had a great run. Obviously, he made it back up, giggling, screaming, but it was funny just the... It's Christian. Why did he do that? I don't know, because he's Todd. He's trying to bury you. I mean, it, you know, look, I have no idea. I don't mm. like to think of how Todd thinks. Uh, what about yourself, Ross? I remember Triple H's entrance at WrestleMania 35 <clears throat> when he's facing Batista. <clears throat> and he's got oh. whatever's happened. He's gone down the ramp, you know, cerebral dad ass and all that sort of stuff. It was like the Mad Max one. Yeah. 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 And the dust settles, the smoke's disappearing out the roofless arena. And silence on commentary before Michael Cole just goes, that's so cool, guys. I remember this. Immediately yes. make in that moment mm. anything but cool because this was pre-Vinceless Michael Cole when he wasn't cool. He was a he was a nerd. Yeah. Um, also, Batista's entrance was cool, but then he slipped. <laughs> and it would have been cool. Yeah. yeah. And then he laughed about it. So <clears> he, he, he. Yeah. It happens. All right. What about yours? My answer to this one always used to be, but I've had my opinion changed on it. It used to be Heenan. In the, who, who's the, who, which side is he on? Because it telegraphs Hogan's turn. But, it, yeah. but I think it might be you who said, no, nah, he should be doubting him because he hates Hogan. He's it probably made he's sense the heel. at yeah. the time. He spent his entire career hating Hogan. So, so and then I'm, people have gone, but yeah, but without that context, it does. Anyway, sorry, I'm defending Heenan. I beg uh, uh, fair enough. But uh, no, yeah, I agree with you now. Uh, but my new answer for this, unfortunately, is a Vince one, because of timing wise and everything, but it's not praising him. So there we go. Um, the first ever Royal Rumble, 1988. And um, I'm sure when it gets down to the final two, Hacksaw and One Man Gang, I'm sure Vince just starts spoiling the finish. He's like, well, the only way he could get him out would be to pull the top rope down. He just describes the finishing spot. And then One Man Gang charges a Hacksaw who does exactly that. <laughs> and Vince is like, oh my goodness. The Vince... thing I said would happen, happened. Yeah. I was going to say, was Vince in the earshot of the ring? Was he just saying... The only way you could <laughs> if they were running out of time quickly on TV. That is, oh, do you remember the first big YouTube boxing thing? It was KSI and the other lad. Joe Weller. Yes. And True Geordie was the commentator and really favoured, he really wanted Joe Weller to win. But Joe Weller came out and forgot how to, his head felt, he just didn't know how to box. Yeah. He was just like, oh, he just was stood there. And True Geordie goes, you see, I've seen a clip of him on comedy going like, Joe needs to throw a punch here. Joe needs to throw... Throw a punch! <laughs> <laughs> Good day, all you wonderful fatty McNasties. <laughs> I hope you're all doing well. Last week, you discussed the possibility of a Heart family movie and how mm. there will be so much to cover. It would be pretty depressing as well, having to cover topics such as the tragic, tragic passing of Owen and Brett's untimely retirement. But it could be coupled with the good old family fun of Brett shagging anything that moved. <laughs> yes. With so many wrestling movies focusing on sad or real life stories, do you think there are any wrestler lives or stories that could be turned into a happy, positive movie? My first thought was of Kofi Kingston. I'm about to say this. Rising through the ranks and do we become the first African born WWE champion? Just make sure that the credits roll after the Mania win. They know the fact that he would lose the title a few months later in a match lasting only a few seconds to a man who would then dethrone the next two black WWE champions. Oh. Love to hear your thoughts on this. Joe from Wexford, Ireland. Thank you, Joe. I think you've said stuff to us before. Yeah. Mm. Well, Cody Rhodes is the first one, eh? Yeah, it's feel good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you wrote Rhodes <laughs> in that. Drew McIntyre? Oh, this is an, a one that oh, came my yeah, really. Because yeah. it's just the stuff about him reading a book for the first time fairly recently. Yeah. yeah. The struggles that'll come along with that. Yeah, Maybe. like some people will be trying to do like the sort of dark side of the ring. It's like the light side of the ring. Like, what are the good stories in wrestling? Mm. Maybe. I can't believe I was about to suggest that. I'm not being serious. Maybe the story of the NXT brand, just the plucky upstart. <laughs> now they've managed to yeah, overcome. Yeah. The upstart company with only the support of the biggest wrestling <laughs> yeah. company in the world to help them. Yeah. No. Um, Danielson? Yeah. Danielson's a good yeah. shot. Becky Lynch? Yes. I don't know much of a story, but yeah, yeah, yeah. sure. 
CM Punk. Well. <laughs> <laughs> the most universally yeah, likable yeah, yeah. man. If you do the first half of his life, yeah, sure. Maybe someone um, like... I don't want to sound too cliche or whatever, but someone like Zach Gowan or someone who had advantage or like yeah. who had no advantages and just managed to still become a wrestler yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. More positivity. I like that. Mm. How are you doing, pal? Someone's typed here. BBC's <laughs> That's your the, it's, yeah, I literally <laughs> typed that like that. BBC's The Traders recently came up on the podcast and you guys highlighted the Scottish guy who had a bit of a breakdown and essentially eliminated himself mm. when he had absolutely no suspicion on himself. That was my good friend, Brian. <laughs> and it was the most Brian thing I've ever seen. There's a photo oh on that video. Oh, my God. <laughs> he doesn't follow wrestling, but has supported both myself and my friend who have started it's wrestling oh my God. ourselves by coming to our respective shows in companies across Scotland. Here is a photo of us on our way to uh, up to Thursday from Dundee to watch our pal Albion De, De Quincey is that right? wrestle for Combat League Wrestling. If they crash. As you can see, Brian had a slight crash, to oh. say the least, but we were both okay. It was his first time driving out of town since passing his test two weeks before. Uh. He also recently came and watched me win a rumble from number one in my training schools, which is the Dundee Academy of Professional Wrestling. Student showcased the day after he attended a party in London for the final of his series of The Traders. He was out until 4 a.m., but still managed to make it back from London in time to see the show. He's a true friend. But enough of that soppy bollocks. Which person do you think would make the best trader if there was to be a special series of the show containing only wrestlers? There's so much, uh, sorry, thanks for so much for entertaining us all every week. From Patrick Petersky of Fair City Wrestling. P.S. Matthew, I'd like to apologize again on behalf of my friend Hunter Redwood, also of Fair City Wrestling. We bumped into you on the way out of Wembley at All In last year. I was fanboying pretty hard, but managed to contain myself to just giving you a handshake and thanking you. <laughs> What's happening? I thought you were going to say hand job with the oh. cue in mind. <laughs> just giving you a quick hand job <laughs> and skipping <laughs> merrily. I think you got your mouth full, so I'll just... <laughs> but Hunter ran towards you, picked you up, and spun you around like uh, Swatowski did to Chris Rock in the longest yard. What a reference. So sorry about that. We also bumped into Jack. I remember that. We, we also bumped into Jack in Box Park before the show, and we really appreciated that you gave us all a handshake. And <laughs> That's not like such a day. Oh, yes, of course. Nice to meet you. And a quick hello, even though you were in a rush to get somewhere for your work. That's when we all lost each other in Box Park, and yeah. I was looking for Pierce. And oh, my God. I just kept bumming into people I hadn't yeah. seen for about five years, and I was like, oh, Jesus. It was lovely. Yes. I've not had the pleasure of meeting you yet, Ross, but you're honestly a massive inspiration for me and make me piss myself laughing every week. Watch out for Logan. Uh, thank you for always <laughs> being you. Fantastic bloody message. And yet there is indeed a bloody photo. There's Brian. Unbelievable scenes. Now, first of all, he's right. Brian is he a good... He on his own car. Brian is a good friend by the sounds of it because he said he wasn't a wrestling fan at the start, but he's gone to these shows yeah. and stuff. That's fair. Good on Brian. What a good lad. I feel bad for mocking him. Yeah, I wonder what happened to Brian in that, on that table, around he, that table. He did say it was the most Brian thing he'd ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Brian, man. Yeah. Joel, you can chime in. You watch the trailers. Yeah, I feel sorry for Brian. Yeah? He took real offence because they called him the biggest sheep, didn't they? They've already yeah. been biggest sheep. Yeah, that's not very nice. But it was early in the show. They didn't all know each other. Yeah, that's true. But all Brian had to do was just not say anything. I know. And he would have got through the next round. I know. He lost his head, did Brian? He mm. made great telly, though. It did make good telly. That was important, isn't I it? I think Claudia Winkleman since said that that was her least favourite round table because it made her feel very sad for him and oh. really uncomfortable. Yeah. Oh. So at least you've got Claudia's back in Brian. <laughs> But who would make the best traitor? Who's essentially the biggest liar, but also the most convincing liar? Andre Chase. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I was thinking when the question was read out, Hulk Hogan, but then everyone just knows he's lying. Now. Yeah, yeah, he's not a, not a convincing liar at all. Uh, who would be out though. early? Who's the most wholesome man in rest or person in wrestling? Danielson's a good liar. Yeah, Danielson's a good oh, show. Imagine if it came out he was a diddler. Oh my God. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Where did that come from? It would, be, it would be it would be, horrible. It would. Yeah, it would be very horrible. Yeah. It would if any wrestling. But, <laughs> yeah. but especially lovely Daniel Bryan. I think Bryan could be the trainer. <laughs> no, no. I, was, I think Bryan... Oh, is this the name of the show? I got you. Yeah, can't call it The Traders because that's trademark. The Diddlers. Yeah. <laughs> that's what Ross is going for. Bryan could be the trader who everyone trusts. And then I think Eddie Kingston's the one faithful who's like, no, I think he's the... That would work for the show, I think. If that's we're... Eddie's the die on. I don't know why I'm pitching this to Matthew because he's not watched it. But yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I can picture it though. Brian, I think it's you. Yo. Yo. Yeah. Brian, it's you. Eddie, grab the microphone. You've talked enough, diddler. <laughs> That's not Eddie's accent. He's like, hello, my I, name's I... Eddie Kingston. He's got that <laughs> East Coast. 
New oh, York. Oh, I'm very sorry, Jack. Thank you for yeah. correcting me. Yeah, <laughs> um, I'm going to go for Tyson Kidd. Oh, okay. I'm just the thought process is one of the. You never hear a bad word about Tyson mm. Kidd. Everyone's always yeah. very glowing of how he works and whatnot. So if he came out to have been whizzling, wazzling folk out of ninety five thousand pounds, that's good. <laughs> that would be yeah. That's good. But I've got a better one. Cool. Lance Storm. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot lie. My tone is the same for everything I say, be it false or true. I think you get voted out quite early just because no, he's stoic. Vote me. I <laughs> drove all the way from Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Early in the season, they just vote out the people they don't like. They don't care who's I'm the very likable. I'm, <laughs> I'm huggable Lance Storm. Do you remember Lance Storm went for like a 40-mile walk? It was updated with on Twitter. <laughs> it, was, I, it was just a straight... <laughs> let me tell you about my walk. You will not vote me off. <laughs> that is so good. I put my left foot in front of my oh. right foot and this carried on for several hours. <laughs> so good. <laughs> Why are you voting me off? I can't believe this has happened again. Oh, Christ. <laughs> well. Well, what a, we, wow. Uh, we'll definitely finish on that one. What a bloody, lovely, lovely letter from a trader. Yes. Uh, if you have any... Friend of... Sorry, friend of a trader. Friend of one of the faithful. F- one of the faithful traders. No, he's not faithful. <laughs> Come on now. If you have any thoughts or queries, please send them to mailbag at cultaholic.com. Ah, Reese's Pieces. But before we do that, let's have a quick look and see if we've got any of the numbers right from our stupid check last time. Uh, doodaloo-loo. Boodaloo-loo. Okay, Chad Gable. Do we have to get the numbers? Do we have to get the numbers actually dead on? No, just people who were in the match. Oh, okay. How many correct predictions did we get? Did you get any numbers? That'd be impressive. Oh, yeah, you're right. It's the people who think. One, Gunther. Check. Two, Cody. Check. Yeah. Three, CM Punk. Check. Yeah. Four, Brock. No. No. Drew. Yeah. Nakamura. Yeah. That was number six. Yeah. Hey! Hey! Smartest man on wrestling. (laughs) Seven, Kofi Kingston. Ooh. Uh, he was in the match, though. Yeah, it wasn't there. Hang on. <laughs> Sheamus. Ah, no. damn it. Damien Priest. Yeah. OTs. No, oh, no, no. no. Oh, he got it. announced, but not yeah. in the match. Yeah. Yeah. You, thank you to the comments. There. Screwed the video yeah. the day. Chad Gable, likewise. Uh, Tazawa, likewise. Same. Lashley. Yep. Oh, one off. Oh, oh damn it. Santos. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait, was he? It wasn't yeah, he, he was, was in the yeah, yeah, yeah. bit with Andrade. Theory. One off again. Whoa. Oh. Waller. Yes, he was, was in number three. He yeah. got a promo, didn't he? Dom. Yeah. yeah. Baller. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Truth. Yeah. 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 Yes. We'll, we'll get two for that. Uh-huh. Andrade. Hey. Hey. Carrying Cross. Yeah. 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 Whose music's that? <laughs> <laughs> Sammy Zayn. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Jay Uso. Mm hmm. Jimmy Uso. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Solo. No. No, no. no. <laughs> Champa. We'll put the winner, smiley face. <laughs> no. Gargano, also. No. no. Kaiser? Yeah. Terry Balea. <laughs> <laughs> and number 30, Andre Chase. <laughs> we got 20. We got two thirds right. Oh, not that bad. That would have been a much yeah. better number 30 than Sammy, though. I think yeah, we can all accept bad. that one. Yeah, it would have been. Well, well <clears> done <throat> us. Wrist piss on us. Uh, diddle me this, diddlerinos. <laughs> Forget 100, 200, and 300. My friends. You've gotten to episode 316. And we all know what that means. A Steve Austin theme gauntlet match. The rules are simple. We start off with two versions of Mr. Steve Williams. Vote on who wins. Winner advances in the gauntlet match. Oh, okay, winner stays on. Now, I've just realized I didn't read the entries here, so apologies if there's an inappropriate one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, F and C word, Steve Austin. Uh, <laughs> they're all in chronological order. Oh. Oh, okay, that's really easy then. So... Number one, Steve Austin from WCCW. I don't, I've never, I don't think I've ever, I don't know. Dallas, <laughs> Dallas, Texas, yeah. the, the Spartatorium. <laughs> Stunning, Steve Austin from the WCW. I'll go, I'll keep him in. Stunning. Yeah. Dangerous Alliance, Steve Austin. I'll keep him in. Dangerous Alliance. Hollywood Blondes, Steve Austin. I like the Hollywood, I'll keep him I in. I like the Hollywood yeah, Blondes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I thought yeah, you were going to. Yeah, baby. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were going to go the other way. No, no, no. <laughs> Uh, no, I love Hollywood <laughs> Blondes. Uh, Steve Austin, WWE Singles Post Hollywood Blondes. Don't no. know. Lose, losing a Duggan in seconds. Keep the time. Hollywood Blonde, uh, baby. Steve Austin, ECW career. Yep. No. I love to tell you something. No, he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's me. <laughs> he just needed... That was my Steve Austin Hulk Hogan impersonation. I'll go Hollywood Blondes, but I think I've been outvoted there. Oh, yeah, ECW. Okay. The Ringmaster. 
Boo. Probably ECW. ECW. Yeah. Stone Cold Steve Austin pre King of the Ring. So was, was that he, Ringmaster? Was he Stone Cold? Oh, yeah. Was yeah. He, yeah, yeah. Sorry, big one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Go on then. Yeah. yeah. Then Austin 316 era. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Austin versus Vince era Steve is that, Austin. That's the same as Austin 316. Well, once he became. It's like two years later, but still in the well, same Well, that thing, is peak it? Austin, isn't it? So, yeah, that yeah. one. I'd still pick 316 era. Ah. Because he's the rest of the show sucks so much. Because he, he, he stands ma- out even more. He's having matches with Brett His and promos stuff. were yeah. different as well. I right? think you're yeah. nothing but crap. So, that 316 is kind of heel Austin and then. There you go. Yeah. Still doing the same like thing, one. but yeah. getting cheered. Yeah, yeah. You know what? You know what? No, I can't. I'm going to go for the baby face. 316 for me, Jeff. Oh, well done, Ross. <laughs> Judge Stone Cold Steve Austin from the TV show Dilbert. I don't know. I've got no idea. Dilbert was the newspaper comic that had a very brief cartoon oh. that was a bit weird. And to make fun of the fact that there were a lot of celebrity judges on TV, still is, up the rhino, uh, they had Stone Cold Steve Austin show up, and it was him. Right. Fascinating, huh? I'll stick yeah. with uh, 316. I thought you might. <laughs> Claymation Steve Austin from MTV's Celebrity Death Match. Oh, I remember staying up and watching oh, yeah. that on 4 Music. Was it? Uh, on, was free, MTV... on Freeview. I was on Freeview as well. Oh, sweet. Later on, like after it. Yeah, yeah after it. Yeah, 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 oh, after, yeah. Right. yeah after. I'll go for the 316 still, probably. Yeah, 316. Yeah. 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 Seeking Vince McMahon's approval, Steve Austin. Yes, oh, him and Kurt oh. Angle, baby. This is my winner so far. I'm still going 316. Oh. Kumbaya. I'm keeping that. Uh, 316. Team Alliance, Steve Austin. Very funny stuff. The sing along, the birthday, and everything, but I'm sticking with 316. Kumbaya. Yeah, I might pick Steve. Team Alliance. Oh, have I got my. What? I think I've picked, like, gone a bit early, haven't I, with my. Seeking Vince approval came slightly before the stuff with Kurt, or was it the same? I can picture Kurt being there when he's yeah. playing the guitar and that, yeah. yeah. The yeah. cowboy hats. Yeah. 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 That one then. Team Alliance is when he goes full what all the time. Oh, uh, yeah. Mm. Co is that general one manager now? Steve. Oh, sorry. Is that one winning now? Oh, we still got 316. Come by, I still winning for me. I'm picking Team Alliance. Oh. Because me and Tom are watching it. Uh, Co general manager Steve Austin. No. Three, Come by, I. No. Stone Cold Ice Creamery from the Smosh movie. Don't know. No idea. What? Is this real? What are you talking about? He's in the Smosh movie? What's the oh. Smosh movie? I don't know. <laughs> Continue doing the amazing work you do. Love oh. listening to you guys week in and week out. I'm coming out on a Saturday morning in Australia. Hey. Helps me start my weekend strong. Former Paris Saint Germain goalkeeper uh, Gianluigi Buffon. Yes. I don't oh. know anything about football, so I had, to the, I had the internet pick a random one for me. More associated with Juventus, I would oh, say. Oh, God. A.K. Brad from Australia. We're having a look Thank now. You, Thank you very much for your lovely Reese's Pieces. We're all just distressed at the fact that Austin was in the, the Steve Austin. What a Smosh, Smosh. Smosh, Smosh was a YouTuber. YouTube uh I have no idea if he's still around or if he's still alive. I don't think it's one person. I think it's like a channel. It's come Oh, you know what? I'm getting recently. confused with the little lad. I had John Cena in his film. Fred. <laughs> Fred. So smart. Oh, <laughs> so the joke is, I already know what it is, because he's doing Stone Cold Creamery. Stone Cold's a brand of... Or Cold Stone. Is yeah, 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 yeah. So I've got Stone Cold. It writes itself. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, he's not won my Royal Rumble. I went for 316, Steve Austin. Vince Approval, <clears> Austin. <throat> Smosh Cold 317, whatever. Nice. Uh, yeah. Thank you very much, that Reese's Pieces. <laughs> Thank you, you Gianluigi. Patreon.com. No, mailbag at coldhoik.com. I'm tired. I'm sorry, man. Nearly done. Come on. Don't send us anything, actually. Yeah. <laughs> no, please do. <laughs> please do. It's Coldaholics. The question. We just had a wee giggle <laughs> off camera, everyone. Ah, uh, what a lovely podcast. And it's still time for just a bit more. But first of all, thank you to the amazing, sexy producers. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Said their name yet. Reno, 2200. He's from the future! Yeah, what he did, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> Noah Anderson. Anderson! And Tear of Grace. Thank Ooh, you. Thank with you. the tears of joy! Oh, Best there ever, because he's called oh, Brett, yeah, Brett. Uh, Brett. Best there ever was, best there ever. So on, uh, <laughs> so on social media recently, he's got 10 cats. That's a Ooh, lot of cats. Grace. Yeah, that's a lot of cats. Wow. That'd be nice, that. Imagine being home alone with 10 cats. He lives with someone. You wouldn't be alone, yeah, would yeah. you? In fact, I saw it on her Twitter, yeah. the 10 cats. Imagine when she pops out, then it's just you're alone with 10 cats. Mm. Well, I think that's too many. I feel like they gang up on me. Like they're going to plot against me. No, you say that, but when a burglar breaks in and you go, 
Get him. <laughs> yeah. Cats wouldn't do that. Hey. No. Played by Michelle Pfeiffer. All oh, right, the cat yeah. burglar. Yeah. Chemistry. So you now so tired, we right? come to... Oh, no. <laughs> it was your eyebrow. Your hair made it look like your eyebrow was brought up. Like, oh. <laughs> now, now, now we come to the big, <laughs> lovely section of the podcast, the big question. Who should replace CM Punk at WrestleMania? Mm. Because you can't do it now. Because Drew McIntyre prayed to Thor <laughs> and the lightning bolt hit him right in the tricep. Um... I mean, we're all assuming that Punk and Rollins was going to be the match. Yes, I think so. Right. So yeah. who's who's gonna face Rollins at WrestleMania? And you can't say Cody. No, no, he's definitely going oh, to choose. Face Ro- he's got to choose Roman. Yeah. But, um, but Raw. I'm gonna go. <laughs> this is quite an unoriginal one. I think I talked about it earlier, or we all did. But I'm gonna say Gunter. Damn it. The trick would be, or the but but the the question there would be because I definitely think Gunter should win as well if he was against Seth. But would he carry the IC title in like Warrior did, or would he drop it before then? How do you get him to drop it? So I'm proposing Just him. Oh, sorry, back. a WrestleMania 10. He gets upset for the IC belt <clears> on night one or earlier in the night or whatever and then wins the big one at the end of the night. Oh. 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 Maybe yeah. esteemed gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't know who should beat him for the IC belt. Gable, finally. Gable. Oh, yeah, of course. Mm. Stevenson. No, yes. Not him. Who? Chad Gable. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I've got one if you're still thinking. You go, Matthew. Oh, thank you, Val. Uh, Drew McIntyre. Mm. Oh, look, not only have I got all these grievances, I've clearly got religion behind me. I uh, <laughs> give us a title shot or I'll pray to another god. God's favorite wrestler, Drew McIntyre. Yeah. <laughs> Drew really confident and cocky and go, I want the title shot. And I think Rollins can go, nah, you should prove it. I think the build-up can be beating people, but for your like, screw, screw finishes, like hitting people in the balls or whatever, and be like, that's not a true champ, because what do you mean? Could give him just enough reason for him to go, no, I did the thing you wanted me to do, but done it a dickhead way, mm. all like while that. cursing him out. You could have Punk in, like, on the card as well with that match, I think. Have him get involved in the finish somehow. Mm, nah. All right, then. That's <laughs> nah, I think Sam Punk, you sit it out, get paid lots to do nothing. I think as is the as he's had two years worth so far. <laughs> when you said the Drew thing, I thought at first you were going to suggest having God behind him and stuff. Like he wins a match because a plague of locusts distracts <laughs> his opponent and stuff like that. He wins... Saw turns in it was snake. He's like, ah, oh! <laughs> and then everyone gets rolled up. You've turned <laughs> you've turned Tazawa into a pillar of salt. What are you doing? <laughs> That's a biblical thing, isn't it? A pillar of salt. He's saltier than I was when I won the title in front of nobody because of the <laughs> pandemic. <laughs> Drew's a good shout. He's never mentioned that before. I didn't. He wasn't one of the first ones in my mind just because he's wrestled Rollins a lot. But if it had this new Drew character and he won, then it would be fresh and new. So yeah. I like that as well. Oh, you've picked the two obvious ones. Oh. So I'll just say LA Knight for the crack. Oh. For the thumbnail, just put him in there. It'll be a crowd popping victory for LA Knight. When he Rhea Ripley, s- maybe? <laughs> what a good idea, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> maybe CM Punk. Oh, no, we can't use CM Punk. Can't use CM Punk. Well, we can, can you we can use CM Punk? Yeah. CM yeah. Punk should be replaced by CM <laughs> yeah, the, Punk. Yeah. Mm. Just have him on one side and all the others on the other side. Okay. Oh, you know what? Oh, oh pa- Michael Thomas. <laughs> oh. oh well in that case then if we're going to say Michael Thomas his rival Fatty McNasty <laughs> don't put them in the thumbnail so you got to I just for the crack just for the crack mm. in fact a lovely man sized bar of Irish chocolate that's what should win the match <laughs> we've said the two obvious ones it's got to be either Drew or I'll throw Sammy Zayn in as well because I like him just kind of like him I think we've got a way to go for Sammy now he needs to beat the heel that beats Seth yeah. surely well I'd like for that I don't think it will but I'd like mm. for that to happen yeah. Now it'd be good then because if Drew's the champ, it means, oh boy, Sammy can challenge and Cruz like, all right, fine. You've yeah. never beaten me. But and he can't. El Idolo. Oh, and he is on Raw now. He's on Raw now. Mm. I assume he'll, he'll get a bit of a push. Bron Breaker. Straight away. he calls it a push. A push. I'll get him in the thumbnail. I know, better than that. <laughs> Bron, get, get Bron in. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> good shout. A bit too soon for him, but yeah. Yeah. Dwayne The Rock Johnson. <laughs> uh, he didn't show up at the Rumble, but many people seem to think he might do something. He'll sing. Maybe Barack Obama. Get him in the, in the <laughs> thumbnail as well. Okay, it's one of those thumbnails, is it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Barack Obama. If you want to throw Princess Diana, <laughs> okay, specifically yeah. that picture where she's ho- holding a little vape pen. <laughs> Because they're both okay. going to rest in heaven now together. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you meant like... Do you want to see that picture on X.com? Yeah. Uh, yes. No, when I'm on X.com, I'm looking for Diana. She's in a separate website. 
Huh? What on earth did you buy? <laughs> Where are just bombing left and right? Joe Drag, that's the end of that joke. I don't care. Okay. No, princess that's, Diana that's pornography. People, that's the people's princess you're talking My about. God. Well, that's what she tells you. The nation's sweetheart. <laughs> Dirty Diana is right, she is did. it? Oh, that's She's an Irish bad. sweet. What are we? Heart. Oh, she's definitely not Irish. Anyway. Oh. What's happening now? <laughs> now end. it's the end. <laughs> the end of it all. It's like the start of Apocalypse Now. This is the yeah. end. <laughs> Joel, anything to plug? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> I'm laughing because we went, should we do a plug? No, nothing to plug. And oh, The Twitch stream. The YouTube stream. The YouTube stream. <laughs> what time's that on, Joel? I, I, you'll have to double check. Me and Ross, <laughs> me and Ross will be <laughs> reacting to NXT TakeOver. No, not TakeOver. NXT Vengeance Day. Do you want to do this again? Yeah. No. No, we're not doing it again. I don't know what I'm doing. Ross, <laughs> Ross, have you got anything to plug? Uh, bugger all. I've been recording a 49-page voiceover this week. Jesus Christ, really? Uh, size 11 font as well, so that's what I've been Bloody doing. Bloody hell. That'll be out sometime in 2026. That's right. Ross has been commentating the yellow pages. <laughs> uh, well, comment for that. God, same. It's going to be a long time. Oh. Um, so, yeah, there's not much to plug apart from the YouTube stream on Sunday evening come Monday morning. And it will be if he makes an appearance. Yee. Bloody well, the yeah. eye. Sticky ceilings and everything. <laughs> Let the podcast there. Sticky ceilings and hairy uh, wrists. It's been great talking to you guys. This yes. has been Jack. This has been Ross. This has been Joel. Uh, Mailbag at cultaholic.com. Patreon.com. For all the Hall of Fame needs. Ho, ho, ho. But now we're going to point at the screen. And we are going to say... Ooh, what should we say? I don't know. Matthew, what would you like to say? Uh, Joel sells Haribo. Three, two, one. Joel, Joel sells Haribo. And he is a nonce. <laughs> <laughs>